Slam, flip, flop, glim, glorm, ding, dong, flingle, dang, lang. Here's the live option. What a nice surprise for the Lego fans out there. Oh, oh Lego. Boy. Are you building a uh, building a Lego set live? Yeah. You're gonna try and do it before the 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 the, the, the episode's done, had, the mini's done. I had one block for every question we answer. All right, so you should be you should finish the Death Star then. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, that's all good. Actually, um, Legos, Indiana Joneses, and the fucker doesn't function properly in terms of getting it, like, on screen in a windowed mm. format that I require, so it was a nightmare getting it working, but I I have it working now. Yes, bitch! Yes. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful about that fucking copyright shit. You never know with Lego games. My finger on the proverbial mixer button. Um, mixer. More of a slider, but you know. Like Hello, my fellow gamers. Yes. Your chat is not on the. the uh, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, it says flea. What? Start at the top where mine started. So did count. <laughs> So we'll we'll start with catching up them uh, streamlabs. That seems like the easiest one to tackle first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I have a look here. In Wolf's favorite book series, The Wheel of Time, there's a mage who's totally worthless at everything except portals. He becomes the VIP of the good guys in the last battle. Uh, portal one above enemy army. Portal two inside volcano. Portals are insanely OP. I mean, yeah. Gracious. It's um, a little bit annoying that they don't seem to take advantage of them in a lot of the content where they pop up in like superhero stuff. Probably because it's a fact. conspiracy theory I've heard um, that volcanoes aren't real. Oh. So what, if you wait, were, what, if you were, what? yeah, I've heard that before from <laughs> one of the, the crazy YouTube people who think that volcanoes are fake and they're not real. And it's a conspiracy for whatever reason. I forget why they think it's a conspiracy. <laughs> but that would that would stink if you were the portal guy and you just you huh. legitimately thought that volcanoes were or, were <laughs> fake and you just didn't you're just like put a portal in the volcano. It's like, yeah, right. Yeah, in the volcano. <laughs> yeah, the big mountain that spurts fire and that <laughs> this hot stuff from the inside of the core of the earth. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not <laughs> stupid. Well, they could, do a a magic. they could totally be like a Rick and Morty joke. <laughs> An actual magician who just doesn't believe basic facts about the world. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, oh, sure, going, there's a though, moon. Cause... How comes no one's ever seen it? <laughs> How would you keep that going? Because it's going to be easy to prove him wrong. Yeah. Uh, so answer the question. But, what are you doing? <laughs> but it depends. Well, well, it depends. Like, he could be super... He could believe that maybe there's something dangerous about them, potentially, or what, what they're supposed to be, or he there's no one around them for him to go and travel to. He's just heard stories about them, and they seem absurd. <laughs> we, can, we can come up with reasons for his incredulity. Oh, the volcanoes are real. Them. Why do people still build... Fucking cities around them. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I bet most people go their entire lives without ever seeing a volcano in person. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah, but most people can't use portal technology, you know? Or magic. A portal, portal, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like some kind of racism. I don't know which one. Oh. Uh, what the happens when a portal doesn't work and you try to make one? And it just fizzes out. It's like, no, you can't go there, mate. My controller works on the menu, and it says that it registers, but when I got in-game, it didn't do anything. Bad face. 
Got the better gun, 1930. Okay. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. Mm, I, I guess we'll have to see how everything goes. I don't know. Um, if variants are just people making different decisions, then Kang existing is what creates new variants of Kang. If he suddenly loves pineapple on pizza, boom, new timeline war. Why bother monitoring everything else in the universe instead of him? I mean, yeah, we, we said he could have made, like, a Kang squad and they just erase Kangs wherever they pop up. No. Yeah. Except for, obviously, the, the sacred one. Kang, oh. Kang, Kang. The Kang, Kang, Kang killing Kang, Kang, Kang. crew. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you get the feeling that these people intentionally hired a clown to portray Kang as a meta joke amongst themselves towards what they think of the MCU and its fandom? Oh yeah, he's no. Um, no, I don't think that. I, I think that. Why? What? That's. I think it's even no. worse. I think that they actually think this is good and they write it on purpose. Oh man, I wish they would do it on purpose, like the bat stuff, and know that bat. Well, Whatever definitely... I said worked better in my head. Leave me alone. <laughs> so. I, it, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's just the Lex Luthor thing again. They were like, wouldn't it make a lot of sense that the guy who's lived for a thousand lifetimes and he's just bored of the universe, he would be kind of like, kind of like a clown. And you're just sitting there like, no? I don't think so. And then they're like, no, I think that works. Depressed. I think that works. And you're like, okay. <laughs> That's about it. I like... Just... I so like I just I just feel it'd be the complete and total opposite. That's why he's so bored. Why is this room he's chilling in so fucking boring? Has like he had an apple. Hey, what the hell's happening? Hello? Hello? I got distracted because of the thumbnail uh, Repress It song from Tom Cardi, by the way, which I recommend. We are still here. Hmm. Jump out and jump back in. Oh. Connected and rejoined. Is that working? Uh, yeah, That's I just changed it to Singapore. Apparently oh, that worked. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious! All cool we better move. I think you were. I think we're onto something. I think Kang knows what we're up to. We better. <laughs> it's like a shit well, talk. Like, no, I'm gonna sh go show those fuckers. Kang's coming, all right. Fuck you. you. Like, Kang, just let people stream. I know that it could create a nexus point, but pretty chill. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. Don't. Maybe it's upset. Just... I didn't stream today. Singapore can't be melted. It's it's beyond time and space. <laughs> Singapore, Singapore is beyond time and space. That makes a lot of sense. I can't believe that Sing Singapore is beyond time and space. Singapore is just this floating uh, this floating castle in this <laughs> yeah. mist at the end of the universe, the edge of you know, the 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 great time stream. My god, playing a new Lego game means there's new powers like shovels, and I can dig things, and I have a whip. You also have it in the in the head twice with it. <laughs> you, can play the, you could play the Indiana Jones desktop adventures. I could play that, mm -hmm. that is true. Um, do you get the feeling that these people in- oh wait, that was the clown question. Well, yeah, that was my answer to that. I just think that they thought it was a really good idea and it made a lot of sense. I just don't know that they thought about it for very long, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I think we missed out big time on what a character like that would be, and that's unfortunate, but what can you do? Um, since the topic of music came up, I'd like to recommend Irion, Arion, The Human Equation. It's a rock opera about a man in a coma, hallucinating aspects of himself, trying to remember what got him there. I'd like to hear one of the team review that story one day. Hmm. Mm, probably not. Well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> the human what now? Yeah. The human, equ human equation. It's talking about the triumph of the human spirit. It's like the rock version of a Hallmark movie. I reckon it's probably going to be more creepy than that. Ow. Why is this a thing? Oh. Traps in this world, and I hate them because they hurt. Um, all right. I bet most Hallmark movies are better than The Winter Soldier, and that's just a fact of life. 
Well, Hallmark probably... movies are pretty standard, right? Like, the, it's hard for them to They're fuck up. They're super safe. Oops. Wow. They're very simple plots, extremely predictable. I they're they're like mint. They're, it's comfort food, the movie. I guess it depends on which ones we're talking about because there are certain, like, there are certain Hallmark movies that are, like, really convoluted, but then there are the other ones that are incredibly straightforward. They'll often have, like, um, shit ton of, them... of coincidences in them. Uh, yes. And usually the characters will be incredibly flat. Um, yeah. But flat is better than broken, so... <laughs> you hear that? I mean, have approves of Hallmark movies. Well, I don't approve of them, it's just, <laughs> you know... We're just... I, we and, should get a sample of a couple of them, and then just... Maybe that'll be an EFAP movies I like, watching some yeah, Hallmark movies. Yeah, we, we just randomly select uh, a couple Hallmark movies, like three of them, and we have to rank them. Maybe mm -hmm. there's, like, well-known famousy ones, more so than just a selection of really shitty ones. Well, you know that there's that one where the dude becomes addicted to porn. There's, there's that one. That's, like, the <laughs> super famous one. Um... <laughs> I have I, I have no no clue. Oh, Might as one. well face it, you're addicted to porn. It came out like ten or fifteen years ago. Uh, no, oh, it came out all right. Yeah, it um, I can't remember what it was called. Um, it was. It's just called porn. Maybe. I, I don't think it was called that. But it was um. Should be. It's just it like was, uh, porn. It was. The, the, I remember, it's like calling yeah, it drug. I remember watching a review of it, um, and it was, uh, damn. I, yeah, I can't remember anything about it. I just remember that the whole plot was that this guy's life unravels because he becomes a. It's, it's called Rags' Life. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there we go. Wait a second. No, <laughs> wait a second. Hang on. They recorded wait that. Wait I've been addicted. I've been addicted to porn for years, and my life hasn't unraveled. Mm, maybe it's just like a little future sort of flash. A little fear flash. Oh no. Yeah. Go we'll avoid fear them. Flash. Fear flash? It's that's like I don't it's like the money shot of of <laughs> horror. Uh. Don't say so. Um Alrighty, where are we? Someone just said, read the premise of Velocirapasta. We've actually watched it. Yeah, we have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Wait, what? Velocirapasta? Oh, yeah, I remember that. That might be something that comes out in some way at some point. It wasn't EFAP movies, but it just... We mostly just laughed at the main parts, and then we're just, like, sitting around for the rest of it. Yeah. It's a weird film, but it is kind of funny. Pompeii was an inside job. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotta be careful with those conspiracy theories, man, you know. Lead your places. Oh, this is neat. These crocodildos can't even get me. Ew. Morning. It's incredible that they're in the game. Good morning to you, sir. Oh, wait, wait, are they dildos oh. shaped like crocodiles, or... Are the dildos the shape of a crocodile's penis? I didn't ask. I just sort of, you know, I, I feel like it's rude to ask. Is if I was going sentient? to insert a crocodile into my butthole, it would be tail first. Um, yeah, I think that would be the smart way to go. I just probably wouldn't do it at all, you know. Well, yeah, I guess. Oh wait, can I trade who I want to play as from as far away as I want? Oh, they changed it. Thank you. Thank you, LEGO Games updating in history. Things are easier now. So, Rags, what do you think of Black Sheebs? Um... I don't know, I, I guess I just I just don't think of them as Black Sheebs. Just, I just kind of think of all Sheebs as Sheebs. And I, I try not to really treat them any different than the other Sheebs. Um, I think we're all special and we're all God's children. Beautiful. And, um, yeah, I, I, I think that we should focus on the the, the important parts of, of who we are. 
uh, not you know so not not a lot of the external characteristics that can potentially divide us and you know I, I gotta remember what's important. You gotta remember what's important. We're all we're all just we're all just chasing that bone in this this life, you know, this rat race of a life. So we're all just gotta. So true. I'll just, I'll just fetch in that bone. I'll just go at it, one day at a time. Um, yeah. you found movies A Quiet Place one and two. I mean, no. I'm on board with that. Yes, you know, up to these guys. Yeah, man. I don't know. watch um, Hallmark movies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they count as Hallmark movies. It's a hallmark of bad storytelling. How oh, dare you. I've only heard that the second one is also bad and worse than the first, which, to be honest, surprises me, but in the same way, it doesn't surprise me, you know? Yeah, it's not good when the first one is... It's People really like it, even though it's not good, and then they say, oh, yeah, but the second one, that one's bad. And you're like, oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yep. When the people who like the first one think the second one's bad, it's like, oh, yeah, we are in trouble. No. But Killian Murphy's in it. I like him. You know that that. There you go. That counts for something. Um, adding to the log just to be a pain. Also, genuine question: What is amount of bad writing you'll forgive in a story like Endgame, for example? High wags. I mean. I don't know when the tipping point is. Um, and Endgame is like so broken to the core that there's not really anything that. That's not. A, is that meant to be an example of like one where it has bad writing you'd forgive it? Because I, I don't. I was going to say, I don't even think that even when we first reviewed it, we, we forgave anything. We just. No, it was bad and good, was what the initial review was. It's. And as for like. There isn't like a clear threshold or anything. It's, it's a spectrum. It's difficult be hard to say. The, um, I'm kind of trying to weigh up the good and the bad. Yeah, the best way you could probably do it is, let's say, let's make it simple, it's ten scenes, and if you're spotting major flaws in five, you'll get an impression of like, hmm, where are we at? It's like, eh, it feels like we're kind of half and half. And it's like, what about the characters? They're all fantastic. You're like, oh, that probably boosts it, actually. And there's a thematic yeah. through line that combines it all. You're like, oh, you know what? Yeah, that's probably, okay. But then... Let's say the plot is all perfect somehow, but I don't even know how you'd have a perfect plot, but characters that are out of char character sort of thing, but... Yeah. Yeah, you sort of try and average it out um, as best you can. Because, of course, uh, this is why we, when whenever we're like, put a number on something, we all tend to be in the same area, but we're like slightly higher or lower, and then we, this happened a lot with the DC movies, we would just talk it out for a while. And then we'd yeah. be like, oh yeah, we kind of, we, we essentially agree, we're just trying to uh, put it in the right place. Because um, they're just so, so good. Have you ever seen Hitler's art? It's 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 pretty good, you know. You can appreciate Hitler, Adolf Hitler's. Um, uh, we're, we're talking about the the German guy, the World War Two guy. Um, oh, you can appreciate that one, Adolf Hitler. That Hitler. Yeah, because I don't oh. want. I just because oh, a big premise that. of this, the like, yeah, a big premise of this like, point that I'm making is that everyone doesn't confuse him. With mm -hmm. the other Adolf Hitler, um, but this it, you could really appreciate his artistic, you know, talent, and also say, but that doesn't excuse like the Holocaust, you know. You can you could you could see the good the oh, good I, things. I figured you, know, you were going to go things. for the death of the author argument, not the. No, Hitler's oh, not. No, dead. sorry. The the um the thing of like separating the art from the artist. I didn't think you were gonna make that point. So an author doesn't have to be huh? dead for death of the author to be engaged, right? That's true. I think he does. If he's if he's cryogenically frozen in Argentina, he ain't dead yet. Yeah. The death of the author has the word death in it. So I mean, that, I'm, yeah, you know what? They're not dead. I can see how you cryogenically that. frozen. Is still alive. Is it? Coma of the author. Yeah, coma of the author. Mm. If you're cryogenically frozen, yeah. is any biological what's happening there? Because if, if all biological functions have ceased, 
and you're dead. Oh right? no 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 no! If you if you listen carefully, you could still hear the the little. Dum, can dum, you? Is of his, that of what, his German heart? Yeah yeah is yeah. Only means? only true Germans can hear it. So unfortunately, Fringy, I don't know if you're gonna be able to. Also, you're just gonna have to you, take our, our word for it. Yeah. Oh oh yeah oh yeah. Wait, who oh, made yeah. you a real German? Hang on. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's that. I that's find that highly offensive. If Hitler yeah, had just, his way, you're just be stealing a lot of German Germans. culture. So you're culturally appropriating metal. Yeah, I mean the Japanese up. can hear it. They're honorary Aryans. I feel like ignored right now. I'm gonna be honorarians. <laughs> honorarians. Well, they'd appreciate that. Nice to throw them a bone every once in a while. I don't swing this very much, huh? Hmm. Are you like a flying character to do this? Um, Boba Fett? Yeah, I don't know if Boba Fett was in Indiana Jones. But that's obviously their loss. Could you get a do, helicopter? Do, 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 do. Rags, read the... Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, he's, he's seen the movie, don't worry. Evening good gents, Hitler? would you... Yes, Hitler the movie. Would you ever consider doing an unbridled rage for Loki? Got an idea for why people like it so much? Thanks for the great content. Um, great not. Uh, though if I was to try and come up with a reason... Hmm... I feel like it would probably be able to work because of the fact that it fucks with the MCU so much. Not just Loki himself. We had one and a half streams on it, kind of. Um... And I'm sure we didn't go into everything because a lot of that move, a lot of that show was just uh, uh, like the individual episodes and the stuff that they do. It, I, I guess a lot of the little things that add up get overshadowed by the destruction of the world and the yeah, reversal um, of characters and things like that. So a lot of the stuff that happens along the way just sort of gets, you know, trodden I think, upon. I think it's a little hard to talk about like the little uh, stupid things because of just the the grand narrative of it's all constructed by Kang, laugh my ass off. Like, oh. Like, it feels almost lame to talk about how, I don't know, the, 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 when they, when they walk into that random trailer and they both get beaten by the old lady. It's like, you could talk about that, but then you're just like, man, it does, does this shit even matter when you're considering that, like, Kang is apparently the one who crafted all of that? I think that's how the review would start. It's like, establish how they destroyed everything in the MCU and then be like, let's pretend that's not the case for a second and look at this plot. And then, you know what? You have to review every MCU movie forever at that point. Or at least up to now, rather. Everyone needs Yay. to retroactively change all of their reviews of MCU movies. Bam, 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 bam. Um, if any, anyone still thought Penguin, oh, that would be critical, I guess, was smart, he gave old a 60%. It's the first movie I've seen the audience laugh at or how bad it was. It fails in every way. Um. Old? Is that the new, um, the Shyamalan, Shyamalan, yeah. Shyamalan movie? Shyamalan. Shyamalan a ding dong. I, I imagine that it's probably pretty bad, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, people, I don't know if I've ever seen um, a, a moist review from Critical where I was like, oh man, that was really insightful. I think he's kind of like Angry Joe, right? I, um, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not trying to be videos. like, I don't about even media? Know. I'm not trying to be a dick. I just mean that they like a lot of stuff. They don't, you know. I actually don't know. I never watched any of his coverages because I... Uh, He's um. Skip them he comes up with I a lot of like really colorful care. ways to describe things. A lot of his jokes are really fun, but like his overall. We gave Loki an eight. <laughs> oh, so his opinion is not valid. Well, maybe <laughs> we should just be more fair about that. It was just like seems like a lot of people really like Loki, and I just you know what are you gonna do? I guess. Mm. Um, he gave a quiet place to a nine. Ooh. Um. I'm just, I'm just, I'm not even like, I'm just giving a ride to the end to see what the meter says. <laughs> what do you give Snyder Cut? Oh, um, hmm. He gave it an 85. Jeez, fuck. 
<laughs> well, he's not the only one, right? So. <laughs> and he gave, what did he give? He gave one division of seven. Oh, I, I guess you, that's you more moderate, right? <laughs> you'd have thought that uh, that would score better than something like Loki. I don't fucking know anymore. How am I supposed to figure this I out? I don't know, yeah. The thing is, know. I can't do anything with these numbers because I don't know what his value means. Yeah, that's I true. I would need to watch the coverage. Which I'm I... just doing the thing where I skim to the end. <laughs> just look at the number and say, ah. Yeah, cause... yeah, I know. Because when I go by the values of everyone else, seven is average for, for most of these guys. Which you know is I mean? weird, right? We need to reclaim seven for good. I know, right? It's yeah, seven, seven's seven the poor good. guy who's like, yeah, oh, wow, I'm great, number. huh? And then you're like, no, seven's average, and seven's like, what? I worked really hard to not be average. I think that's a video game issue, because like with video game reviews, seven is like considered a five. Well, <laughs> the heart of the Reich stirs in my breast. It's fine. <laughs> Moosh Lokal is a bowler right behind you. Yeah, Mando ball. season two a nine out of ten. The what now? Mando season two a nine out of ten. Oh yeah, he's worthless. Well, fucking everybody thinks that. <laughs> We're like the only people who didn't oh. like that fucking season. Because no one has standards. Well, they in just fairness, say things are good. And as Luke did show up at the end. Oh my goodness mm. gracious! You know that guy who did the deep fakes on YouTube got hired by uh. I got hired by him. That's pretty cool. Really? Yeah, that's that's nifty. Which I mean, it's great that he got a job with a big company, but it's also depressing that they feel they're gonna need a deep faker of that skill. So. <laughs> oh god, yeah. It's like uh, what else is gonna happen? Uh, it's like, no. We're gonna be in trouble eventually. Wow. He's trouble. Ah. Oh. No, they want the thing. A duck. Damn, Indiana Jones is really trying. A C-3PO head, oh my god. I know C-3PO. Oh my god, they're insulting C-3PO. This game is racism Whoa. to robots. That's robotism. Droids, yeah. Robotism, have you guys seen, robotism. Have you guys seen Linkara's review of the Solo movie comic? He defends it, says it's better than the prequels. He loves L3 and that people who hate her are wrong. Also, hi, Rags. I didn't even know he said makes reviews. I... <laughs> Did, I think we're still, I don't think, I, I think I bounced between the two, but did we decide if L3 was supposed to be a parody or not? So, I she, decided what, she wasn't was because her death scene is played straight, and if her death scene is played straight, then we were supposed to care about it. Mm -hmm. um, however, I could believe that she was created at first as a as a goompy nonsense character, and then someone came in and was like, "Man, this character's great," because of the Lord and Miller stuff. Mm. Oh yeah. Also, Linkara is hilarious. Um, he's such a character, like, especially within the whole Channel Awesome history, and his voice. He's yeah. like the quintessential nerd. I remember watching his stuff in the Channel Awesome days. I mean, I basically watched all of the stuff they put out, to be honest, when they had like their website and everything. It's like, yeah, new video. Um, these days you look at them, oh, what happened? What's, what's going on? <laughs> oh, so much happened. So much. So many accusations. Channel awesome. Odyssey. It's a, it's a, ooh. I like watching Wild Ride. Tony and G references to Channel Awesome. They. They did a little drawing session with Harry Partridge, uh, relatively recently. The, I was, the wizard? I was linked it. Uh, wait, what? The wizard? I don't know if Harry Partridge is the wizard. Yeah, he... He went to Hogwarts, didn't he? <laughs> I think that's the other one. He was a potter. What? What? Hmm. All right. So, uh, <laughs> they just always make like car jokes, and I just love the voice he does. And there's that fucking animated one where they just have like Linkar meets Trump or whatever. It's just really funny. <laughs> and then there's the whole Lightbringer thing, the comic he wrote. 
It's, uh, it's just top notch. It's, it's, it's everything you'd want out of an internet critic who's desperate to write. That's the thing, he, he reviews comics, right? So of course he would want to write his own comic eventually. Maybe have a bit of a self-insert, why not? That always works well. Yeah, it usually ends up real good. <laughs> um, but no, I've not seen his his videos on anything. I I'm, I'm not sure I would look to take them very seriously. I'd probably be just like, that's good for you, Linkara. You you review that comic. Show it how it's done. <clears throat> um, I've got just an hour long. That guy. <laughs> hmm. Just fucking dropkick that guy. Oh yeah, there's other cool little fighting stuff in this. It's definitely an update from the previous one. Okay, jumping over there's gonna get me killed, isn't it? Ah. Oh. Oh, I can. <gasps> I didn't even fucking. You can go in water in this one. Well, I hope so. If you're Indiana Jones. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's just my my game sense. Is I was just like, water will kill me. That's usually how it goes. Indiana and... Jones is a uh, very ottery. Huh. Harry Partridge cast a spell on him. <laughs> I've got an hour long a Quiet Place Two review on my channel for your information. Nice. Wow, that's uh, must be a lot that it does really, really well. That yeah. deserves <laughs> explanation. Here's all the amazing things it does. It'll take me so long to describe all of them to you. Somehow I think that it might actually not be that. It might be something else, like Ritism. It's the Anakin Padme meme where... This guy says, I have an hour-long review of The Quiet Place 2. And Padme says, because it's so good, right? Because it's so good, right? Yeah. Turns out, it's not good. It's so good. shitty. It's actually quite poor. Um, I don't know how I went down a rabbit hole, but now I'm addicted to Master Chef and Shark Tank Australia vids. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, also... I've been watching a lot of motorsports crash compilations. <laughs> How are they? Um, oh, I mean, this is, it's a disaster. No. Oh. <laughs> um, also, day question mark question mark question mark of asking you to watch Vinland Saga. Well, no. You have the a spanner, you can Finn. fix machinery. Oh. oh, this guy has a spanner. spanner. You're a spanner. Thank you. Spanner. No problem. No, sir, I think you'll find that you are the spanner. You're a spanner. Sir, you are the spanner. You're a spanner. Be the spanner. It turns out the spanner was inside of you the whole time. <gasps> oh my god, I need surgery. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say. Um, I've decided to main Bangalore. She's good. Yeah. Is it the... I've been playing a lot of Apex Loba Legends. recently. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Loba recently. Yeah, I think... Really underrated pick, I feel. She needs better skins, though. I don't know if you complain about Bangalore What the fuck skins. is a spanner? So, a spanner is like it, it's britlandish for wrench sorry i'm muting fucking games playing movie soundtrack how could you like i said you're gonna mute rags because he insulted your language rags is uh doing movie soundtrack can't be having that <laughs> Um, I remember Wolf's video on A Quiet Place 1, Good Times. That was, that was controversial, right? So was, uh, YMS's one, because people were not willing to accept that, uh, A Quiet Place was flawed. That was, that, that brought up the conversation, as it always does, of, uh, how important are plot fuck-ups. 
Like, pe people were like, yep. it, it just resurrected that conversation. And then you just have the same, because I think YMS made a follow-up video being like, people are pissed at me for this, they shouldn't be, because <laughs> it's a stupid <laughs> movie. Uh, yeah, and he was just like, you know, they explained the rules to me to give me the tension, but then the rules don't make any sense, so why am I supposed to care? Just standard stuff. Absolutely. And, I don't know, like, you can't tell somebody that they're wrong for pointing that out. Well, you didn't care say... when you wrote it? Why am I supposed to care when I'm watching it? Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll, they'll just say, like, well, you know what, you don't, you, you, you can care about that, that minutia, but I, I shall care about the heart. <sighs> <laughs> Just the <a> sigh, like. <sighs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've unlocked this? all of the epipodes already. You got Indiana 1, Indiana 2, Indiana 3. I also oh, have the Barnett no College. You guys jealous? Oh, the Barnett no. College? Is that like Hogwarts where Harry Partridge goes to school? Oh, and learns man. about spellcraft. Oh, this game, the memories of this game. Ooh. Yeah, I had it on PSP, what? and I was just impressed that it's like... I had it on DS, yeah. Well, it was, it was just really cool, because I remember that being an era of just like, man, handheld gaming, you know? It's... Oh, yeah, handheld gaming. I'm getting full-on games now, instead of just like, the really shitty graphics and... Well, rhymes. I mean, I don't wanna... I wanna... I feel compelled to defend the Game Boy Advance here. <laughs> um... Then do so it for like, me. Oh, do it for the Game Boy Advance. We have to oh. defend the Game Boy Advance? I thought that was beloved. It, it was, but like, Mola was here saying, oh, you know, like, real, like, games now. We're getting, like, real games on the PSP. We already had real games. They were on the Game Boy Advance. Um. Yeah. Did I say real? It's Sword of Mana and Final Fantasy Tactics Advance and all Metroid kinds of great games. Fusion, Metroid Fusion and Zero Mission. Mario Kart, uh, what? Well, Super Circuit. That was what it was called, Super Circuit. I remember that Yeah, game. I, I played the Mario Kart on, uh, Game Boy Advance. Um, yeah, Super Circuit. Uh, not a lot of, something. not very hilly, but that's alright. No, not very um, hilly, but, yeah. All kinds of, all kinds of good stuff. There was, a, a lot of little Final Fantasy games were on there. Uh, we had, uh, what was the, what was another one I played a lot? Um... Trying to like think through a bunch I played, I don't know, if Gradius, you know, stuff like that. We had uh, Link to the Past was on Game Boy Advance. That was one I played a shit ton of. Wasn't the Link was to the good. Past SNES? I think so. Yes, and they put it on the. Um, let me. I don't the, remember that. Let me let me see. Advance Wars, what? yeah, yeah, Advance Wars. Um, according to, according to good old Wikipedia, that game is only on. There was, oh, it was ported as a link to the past in Four Swords. Yeah, it came uh, with Four Swords in it. Yeah, because right. you, you'd you put the cable between your Game Boy and someone else's Game Boy. I remember and that. You could play the Four cable. Swords, yeah. Dude, that yeah. cable, I remember that, when you wanted to trade Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Couldn't you, um, cable. you could duplicate them with that as well? Maybe, I think, so, I think yeah. you could, yeah. Maybe, I don't, I wasn't... I didn't know those, you know, hacker skills back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, Fire Emblem, Sacred Stones. Oh, Golden Sun and Golden Sun 2. I really like those. Um, I'm just trying to, let me, I got uh, my case up here. Let me, uh, F Zero. And all the, all the Pokemon games, but I don't know if we're going to call those good. Um, <laughs> yeah, there it is. Let me see. And I, got, I still got the Metroid Prime Hunters demo <laughs> that came with the DS. Oh, mine! I have mine laying around here somewhere. I think I still went ahead and kept it. Yeah, Super Mario part... Bros. 2? Oh, and I had Van... the Simpsons Road Rage for Game Boy. Oh my god. I had that. I, think I also had it on PS2. Mario World? I forget. I get the name Super Mario World. Super, Adva Super Mario World. Like two or whatever, two the one with the cape. Island. Or Super Mario World Two was Yoshi's Island. Um, okay, because I the or name is about Super Mario Brothers Three. That was the one where Tanuki and all that. Yeah, I, I get the names confused the books for the, the Super Mario games. Oh, well, someone in chat asked if I'm old enough to remember Scanners. I do. I do remember Scanners. Absolutely, fucking lutely I do. You guys, did you guys have Scanners with a Z? I uh, did not. 
No, I know about the film. With the Z? Not with the Z. Oh my god. All right, Why so is there a stud back there? This is torture. Oh, sorry, I'll catch up. But there is, uh, there was this old handheld, this little handheld, relatively ancient things. But it was like this electronic handheld game. And it was kind of like Pokemon. And you would scan barcodes. barcodes. Oh, I do know about this. Yeah. yeah. And it would no. give you like monsters you and items and stuff to fight. You don't sound as optimistic about it. It, it wasn't. I don't want to. I don't it want to piss on his cold flakes. It just wasn't very good. <laughs> no, no, no. It was. It was shit. But when you were a kid, it was like, oh my god, this is incredible. And and then they have like the monsters were shit looking. <laughs> even the versions. Even the versions of them that were. Like properly drawn, not the shitty, crappy ones that were on the tiny screen. Um, I know they had one for they had a similar one for Digimon. My brother had a I had scanners and my brother had a Digimon one, and you would you would shake the Digimon thing and it would count like like you were steps, like you're supposed to walk around. But we just shook that bitch really really hard yeah, <laughs> so that it would do really things. Oh, I remember doing and, that and it was like, and it was a load of horse shit too. Like all of those were just they they just seemed to be really really poorly designed games that would only appeal to children with nothing better to do than to start than to start looking for barcodes around the house on shampoo bottles and on this and on that. And the, I remember the way that you healed your monsters was to scan a Radica because I think Radica was the company who made them. You had to scan a Radica product. And that was how you healed your monsters. So, asshole, if you <laughs> played that game a bunch and you lost your scanner's barcode, or worse, the barcode got worn, which is what mine did, and you couldn't quite scan it anymore, you could not heal your monsters until you bought another Radica product or had another Radica barcode to scan. Hmm. I remember... Um... Do you remember Tamagotchi? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those were really stupid when you think about it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I remember really liking them as a kid, and um, everybody had them, but, like, what did you do? They were just little digital toys that you, like, fed every now and then, and, and that was it. Like, it's not... Like, what was the game part of that? You know? So, anyway... <laughs> what? I don't know what I don't know what's the game part of Pokemon. That's, ooh, well, you know what, ooh. Rex? That's not even one that I need to go ooh at because I was actually thinking while we were talking about all these old games, it's like, man, I probably like I played a lot of Pokemon when I was a kid, a lot. Uh, Sapphire, Emerald, they still got they got a place. I played in, in Yellow this... and Gold a bunch. Those were the two that I played. Blue and Gold. Yeah, Sapphire was my introduction because. Um, uh, but, but those have like, there's a place in my cold heart for those games, but hmm. I remember I, I got the remake of Sapphire and I was like, oh, I'm so excited and I never played it. I just never <laughs> played it ever. Like, and I got, I got X, Y and I played it for a couple hours and I was like, oh, it's like the same. It's the same as when I played it like 15 years ago. And then I got Sun and Moon. It was like, oh, it's the same fucking thing. Like, it's just the I same fundamental the structure. The, yeah, that would be the ones that came Wait, out. Platinum? Oh, some why? Was, X and y? I think so. And I just like I played it for a while because it was just a because I only would really play my my 3ds when I was just kind of like lounging around on trips and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I wasn't looking for like a super intense game that I would just just a super casual whatever game that I could uh, play. A better game and is Animal Crossing for that. Yeah, and Animal Crossing is fucking the tits. It but is. man, this Pokemon game I bought was just like, man, this is like they made it. They somehow made it easier. Like the, the, the way that everything does. I felt like they just took Pokemon and there wasn't really that much there to begin with. If we're going to be completely fucking honest with ourselves. Um, and I and, and it just seems like I I have just totally outgrown this. There's just yeah. not really much here for me to like do i think you know i think the problem is that once you played one pokemon game you played them all it's the You've same fundamental structure you go to a new town with your mom or your dad 
Um, you go out into the forest, and then you've got to help the professor. You pick one of three Pokemon. The rival picks the Pokemon that has the, the type that is detrimental to yours. Uh, and then you go on your adventure, and you meet a team, and then you go into a battle with them, and then you start doing the, 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 the gym leaders. Then you encounter the, the bad guys again. But then you find out that there's like a good guy team and then you know you, you beat your rival a few times and you go to the place where you beat the the four and then and then that's it it's like that's pokemon every game every single game is that same fundamental structure i'm not uh, i'm not a big fan of gameplay up. loop in pokemon anyway me neither well, i think, I think was, that's the problem it's... as a kid as a kid you're like oh this is awesome um, it's a time you sink older. if you're a kid. And I think mm -hmm. it, your, your mind's not quite at that point where you recognize that it is what it is, in a sense. Mm -hmm. I think um, so. Yeah. It's very, very grindy. Very grindy. Very grindy, yeah. Very repetitious. Mm -hmm. Super low skill necessary. Um, just... Um, oh, so re to reference the mm -hmm. chat, like... Pokemon Snap, that's like a spin-off. I'm talking about the mainline Pokemon games, like Gold, Emerald, you know, like uh, Diamond, all that. That's. I think I played and beat Emerald on an emulator once. Um, well, I remember for whatever reason. Emerald a lot because it, it added some new stuff. I remember there was like an island that you could go to that had a whole bunch of different games that you could play. Um, I remember that being cool. Um, I, I guess it's just... And I remember when... Because the new ones that came out, Sword and Shield, a lot of people don't like those games. But as far as I'm concerned, it's just like the end point of what's been happening this whole time, which is just <clears throat> a lack of need to evolve. <laughs> yeah, po Pokemon struggles to be newer than its prior. Yeah, it's iteration. like it's like FIFA or something. It is like FIFA, except that it has a better less reputation malicious. and sells better. <laughs> it is less malicious and I, too, as well. Yeah, I I don't like the combat in a game about Pokemon fighting, in a game about in, in a game about magical cockfighting. I just don't really care much about the combat of the game at all. It's just I hit you, and then you hit me, and then Correct. I hit you. What if you're a water one? You're you fighting an electric one, and. There you go. That's that's oh, layers. Oh, oh, yeah. I got, the, a, I got a hot take for you. Oh God. Do you guys do you guys remember the mystery? Oh, we're dungeon there, Franny. We're there. Do you do you guys remember Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery? Yeah, I never dungeon? played it though. I I never played it, but I know of it. You know what? I think Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Team is like my favorite Pokemon game. I think it's I think it's better than the, the mainline games by a considerable degree. It had like an actual story. It had characters. It had better combat. It had hey, wanting to be the very best that no one ever was is a story. <laughs> <laughs> Every oh, single time. Now I'm sad thinking about. I'm thinking about Mystery Dungeon. Oh, that was like. God, I really loved that game. Um, I haven't thought about it for a while. It's like oh. one of those games. It's like. Oh, that was a uh, dream it for man, you. memory. Dream an emulator. Memory. I remember there was a little town, there was a town of Pokemon that you lived in, and there were characters, and you formed a team, and there was like an arc, and and uh, and, the, and the journey that you went on. I remember the, the music was really cool, and the dungeon was cool. It was a cool game. Um, I, would, I, I would like to replay that. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Can I wipe my tears away? <laughs> that's, I guess that, that's the thing about... Um... Like a Pokemon game, they're kind of designed so that like a small idiot could beat them. And as an adult, you really feel that. They call those children, right? <laughs> oh, child, yeah, children. They're designed so that a children could beat them. A children. Um, they have a remake of Blue on Squid. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, they do. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. DX? It's like a remake of the, uh, of, of, um, the original. I would love to know what DX stands for. I don't know what DX Dynamic stands for. Dynamic Extreme. Wow, they, that's they, pretty. They, that's they too, probably that's don't drop the E just to get that X in there. That's pretty radical. People are saying the sequel was better, but I never, I never played that. And also, people are saying this is a cold take, and it's like you say that, but like the the other Pokemon games sell way better. Yeah. Well, I, I thought it was a pretty hot take to say that. Now, one thing that I do like is sometimes I will watch YouTubers make self-imposed challenges on the Pokemon games and try and 
like beat the game. Oh, can I beat the game with only this one shitty fucking Pokemon and da da da? Or can I beat the game with only using one attack or so, something like that? And it's 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 a game where it's far more interesting to hear them talk about their little strategies because once mm. you make these ridiculous self-imposed challenges, now the element of strategy factors into the game now. Um, and, yeah, I remember and, watching so that's a, a interesting. Speech. I remember watching a full speech run of one of them and they were like explaining the percentages and oh yeah there's like a 12% chance I can get a critical here now and if that happens this is and if I manip manipulate going this way and not that way this happens here. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> What's happening? Nuzlocke is one of the standard ones right? Where yeah you, that's the one Pokemon where you dies, have, have gone. to faints is that the one? yeah um my dry bread one? was one of the guys that i'd listen to he's nifty i like him um talk, that i have a lot of respect for him he he um he was making he's putting up uploads all the time for ages and then i think he's he's finally like getting you know a big youtuber now and so it's really great to see um nice. but he was talking with dev once and they were having a good chat um but he seems cool he should come on efap sometime um I well, like him. Talk about Pokemon. Rags clearly, Rags clearly never played D slash P. Diamond and Platinum? Or Diamond oh, and... I played Diamond and Pearl. Um... Diamond and Pearl thinks there's no difficulty. I don't know. Everyone that I've played, and I've played Yellow, Gold, Emerald. I either got X or Y. Um, yeah. And they, like, none of them were difficult. But they were they were good time like I could see why they're great time sinks for kids. Um, but they're not difficult. But, but I almost feel like kids could There's better games, you know. Like, There's I, better like, games. like I well, just... like I had to attempt to beat what was the Super Mario what was the K Super Mario World Two, Advanced World Two or something? Super Mario okay, Bros. Well, Advanced just... World Two? Super Mario yeah, Advanced With the cape on. and the Star Realm. Super oh Mario. man, I, if that's the game I'm thinking of, I fucking love that game. You have to fight the three Mario pigs. World the three Advanced pigs bosses, Super Mario. Mario. Super Mario. Oh, I remember. Super, Super Mario, Mario World, Advanced Super 2. Mario Advance 2. See, this is oh. why I get the names so fucking confused. Yeah, the Mario That games. was a game that as a... I that's a game that. that as a kid, I had to like... Try and practice to beat. Um... Oh, it's a remake uh, of, Yeah, it was a remake of Super Mario World. Right, yeah. Oh, I remember the Final that. Fantasy games. Um, fuck it, uh, Chris. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. That was another one that you had to. The, you had to actually like. Okay, I need to have this guy and this guy, and I use these abilities and stuff like that, and now I could beat the game. Uh, great soundtrack, by the way. Um, but there's there were plenty of games on Game Boy Advance that were like actually like a challenge, especially to a a budding young pepperoni, mm -hmm. and. The game, the, the Pokemon games were never those. They were never those. No. Um, I think we just, I think we just need to come to terms with the fact that the Pokemon games were actually, they're not really that good at all. Um, they just rely on like cute mystical pets and then also battling. That's what EFAP relies on. Yeah. Mm. Oh, dude, they really upped the graphics the Indiana Jones one, didn't they? Look at that shit. Wow. Um, in fairness, I've jumped over from uh, the Dolphin Emulator to PC now. Oh, right. But still, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, they probably yeah, still yeah, a... did have a jump. Well, to go back to how this conversation started, I didn't mean there was no good games on uh, on portable consoles, because I oh, fucking played yeah. the shit out of portable consoles. What I meant was this, I think, and Wipeout were games where I was like, holy oh. shit, I'm starting to not see the line between portable and non-portable yeah. is, is, is like because I'd played Indiana Jones on console and then I was like I've got it on I think a friend of mine had it and then I had it on PSP and I was like holy shit the game is one to one like yes the graphics are not as good but like I have the whole game myself and I can do it wherever I want now but you can't um, <laughs> I I, like, mm. you, know you can't what? you're Fuck. right I got another example of that phenomenon Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories on PSP mwah Beautiful, mm. love that game. It's great. It's actually great, um, and a lot of people haven't played it because it was, you know, it was a portable one. And Liberty City Stories as well was the other one. Um, Vice City Stories was like legitimately great, and it had a lot of improvement or, or just additional. It had a real estate system which Vice City 
had, but it wasn't as in depth. And like, I remember that there was things where in that game you like had to manage your business, like your criminal enterprise, and you could sort of specialize in different things, like different trades and different different industries. Um, and it had a cool story as well that ties in nicely to Vice City. Um, man, I miss when like Grand Theft Auto games came out regularly. That was cool. Hey, once a decade's uh, regularly. Wow, yeah. yeah. That's what we're reading. Well, they release a new one. Let's release Grand Theft Auto V again. And wow, <laughs> like, Grand Theft Auto V yeah. Enhanced yeah. Edition yeah. Director's yeah. Cut. They have. They're already doing that, yeah. And everybody got really mad. It's like, dude, come on. Like, can you make a new one, please? You've already fucking milked us dry. Give well, us a new game. I, it's just a reminder. <laughs> There's always more Grand milk. Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto V is eight years old this year. It's eight years old. It's it's old. It's getting old. Like as a, <laughs> as a game, we we need a, a new one. Um, and yeah, people are saying GTA Six rumored for twenty twenty five. It's like, like damn, <laughs> twelve right, years. Well. well, they there's no reason for them to make another Grand Theft Auto. You people keep fucking throwing huge piles of yeah, cash at them Grand for their Grand Theft Auto Five online mode. Yeah, GTA why the fuck online would they make is, another one? GTA Online is so immensely profitable that I hate yeah. it. I, I hate it too because I, I, I fucking like hate my, it. I like my single player Rockstar game. I there was a GTA time. Five has such insanely shitty end game content because it's supposed to be online. They you, you played the game now go play online and give us money. And you need to keep playing all the time because we have an economy that scales like at a rate that is difficult for players to keep up with unless they play it all the time, which gets them more invested in the ecosystem, which makes them more likely to spend more money. It's a you know it's a it's a good model for making money, but I, I do I do like my single player Rockstar game like Max Payne Three, fucking awesome, and we're probably never gonna get another one. Great. Um, La Noir, awesome, probably never gonna get another one. Um, because Red, you know, GTA Online and Red Dead Online, it's like, that's all, that's all you need. They can just make those two games over and over and over again going forward. And it'll be really great from a single player side, but I'm just not that interested in the multiplayer. I, I like GTA 4's multiplayer more than 5. I remember having more fun on that. Um, I, I distinctly remember because it was one of my early sort of experiences of playing online games on console was um multiplayer gta 4 rockets at the airport that was um okay. that was that was like that was a really cool experience that i still remember really well because it's like dude fucking like online it's like it's it's like so cool <laughs> um, and yeah i don't know yeah I, yeah, I enjoyed my Grand Theft Auto V playthrough, but so when I got I. to the end, and I guess I just expected this huge, big, open, sandboxy experience of a game that would just keep delivering and delivering, because I was because I played a bunch of like Vice City and stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 and I was like, where is all this? It's just well, like not here. They're that's... like, you can play tennis. It's like, okay, fuck off. I don't give a <laughs> shit, and neither does anyone else. Like, let's be frank. So I just don't know, like, well, like how do I make money? And it was like, how funny, do I do right? any of this stuff now that the GTA, game's done? GTA 4 had the opposite problem. There were a lot of ways to make money and not a lot of ways to spend it. Grand Theft Auto 5 has a lot of things you can buy, but not a lot of ways to make money. Um, yeah, it's. I uh... remember a big issue with that game was that there were certain properties that were just like downright impossible to a a obtain unless you knew exactly how to manipulate the stock market in that game. By oh yeah, in GTA 5? Yeah, you... absolutely. Because yeah. I, I got to the end and I was legitimately going online to look for guides. He's like, how the fuck do I make like money it's and it's too to late. buy stuff? Too late, we've and done yeah, the guides were like, mission. okay, yeah, you, you have to do these missions in the story to get hmm. money. And I was like, but, but the game's over and I'm just, those missions are done. Yep, and but... it's 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 not, it's done. It's over. You have to manipulate the stock market to an in, a crazy degree to get an insane amount of money. And if you don't do it, you're just kind you're of screwed. fucked. Yep, you're fucked. And it's and you know what? Like, I know this is a bit of a hot take, but like GTA Five just isn't as good of a sandbox as Four or San Andreas. It just it's just not as good of a sandbox. Um, GTA Four's physics engine. Um, and like sort of a lot of the little details and touches that they have in that that game is like really great 
and honestly kind of were underappreciated at the time, though I think people have started to come around and realize that Crobe Cat video helped a lot in terms of highlighting how much attention to detail there was in GTA 4, how many things you could do, um, just how good the Rage engine was, um, and like San Andreas, the amount of additional content, side content, and activities in that game, like gyms, gambling, um, property, flight school, um, and a, a whole bunch of those side missions that have those little gimmicks and stuff as well. Um, fuck, San Andreas. I feel like Gen GTA 5, when it came out, there was a huge advertising push yep. for the game for mini games, like playing golf, you know, yes. bicycling. Yep. And I'm like, nobody fucking cares. What are you doing? Well, I think you know, like, what is this weird, bizarre obsession they seem to have with you playing Grand Theft Auto to like just play these mundane mini games. Well, the thing is is um I think the problem is mini games are really good, but they need to be the right type of mini games. So like for instance, Red Dead Redemption 2 was a lot better in this regard because it's like I just go to Vice City when you're talking about appropriate mini games. Oh, like the jobs you could get in the cars. Like if you got in a cop car, you could make a lot of money because uh, it was like yeah, a game yeah, Santa, where you yeah, did cop right. stuff. Yep. And when you're in ambulance or GTA in a taxi, like stimulus. you would do those things. You see how 4 expanded, I remember. There was like a police computer. Fuck. Do you got, remember the computers that were in Grand Theft Auto 4 and all the cool shit you could do on those? Like I didn't play make... 4 as much. Um, oh, I remembered I like, I remember the driving was harder, but I like the game for that. It was more in realistic. terms of how the yeah. physics was for yeah i i really liked that yeah, the, the driving in four i so they changed it. it was fun to drive around because it was I a little agree. bit difficult to drive well I agree. um damn i'm just thinking like fuck in gta 4 there was um there was a police computer so if you jumped into a police car you could hop onto a computer and like the computer would have targets that needed to be arrested or killed and like you could do those missions and you could just do those and like if you play the whole game you can easily go the whole time just not ever taking advantage of that and i remember on the computer as well you could set up things that that could yield interesting missions like there was a there was a lot more side content in gta 4 than that game ever got credit for at the time of release um because i remember people saying like san andreas had more san andreas might have had more but like four had a lot of side content. Um, God, that was a great game. Um, I saw somebody saying these are like zero degree Kelvin takes. It's like you say that, but I'm pretty sure like it's still <laughs> common that people think that GTA Five is like better than four. I'm pretty sure four is still considered to be like not not the best, like not even not close to the best. Um, I remember, I remember when 5 came out, everybody was like, this is way better than 4. Um, maybe it's changed uh, since then. Um, zero degrees, Fringy. Zero degrees. Yeah, it's a zero degree Kelvin take. Um, so that though, take isn't even possible. <laughs> point. Maybe that's the, what they're trying to say. It's just so cold that you can't even can't like get there. I do really like GTA 5. I guess I want to throw that a bone. Like GTA 5 is a is a pretty great game. Um, yeah, I liked playing through it. It was fun. Um, super fun. I just it was really wish there yeah. was more. After it was the story was done. I think the big disappointment when I think back on it was that GTA and I hope six fixes this. They did not lean as far into the three playable protagonists and setting up heists as they could have. Um, yeah, that really would. It seemed like, like an idea that just never came to fruition. Well, it's kind of there, but it's like, we should have multiple options for heists, and multiple being more than two. There should be more than two possible heists that we can do. We should be able to mix and match components of, of heists, like multiple. You know, so like we could agree to have certain getaway vehicles of our choice. We could choose to have certain disguises of our choice, and then like you know, penalize people for making really stupid configurations, but have it still be playable so that they can figure it out from there. Um, and have have more of a need to switch between the different different characters. Like, give them more unique skills. Don't just make it that Franklin's a good driver, Michael's a good shot, and, and Trevor is insane. 
like have one of them specifically be good at like using computers and so have like missions with computers like puzzles that scale in difficulty based on which player you chose look or at luke ha oh look at him there look at him there look at him go can't help him vice city has the best story uh i think four has the best story um i, f I feel like it it has to go to four um and then like probably vice city and san andreas would be next up um i would say that five probably has the the weaker one of the main ones i do really like it and the writing's great but the plot itself is um yeah it's okay <laughs> it's burp yeah <laughs> now, was it was, this time? It wasn't even intentional. <laughs> um, the writing in the Grand Theft Auto games has always been top notch. It's so so great, and I I do I do get concerned because I think the two Dan House is gone, and he wrote like every Rockstar game. Um, I do wonder if they're going to lose that distinct voice now that he's not part of that studio anymore. Hmm. In fact, a good chunk of people who've been involved in a lot of them, Leslie Benzies, I think his name was, he's not been there since, like, GTA V. Um, Dan House is gone. There was the other guy, Laszlo, I think, he's gone too. Yeah, we'll see. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite was another game that I was like, man, portable, portable game is getting big. Getting chunky. Yeah, we're good. Do you, did you, any of you play PS Vita games? Did you... Did you have I have friends who played a lot of it, so I know about it, but I never had one. PS Vita was PSP, though. Yeah, I think everybody had a PSP. That was a uh, that was super yeah. popular. Um, I'm so glad I had I got one. Um, PSP is downright underrated. Um, yeah, PSP was really good. It was a yep. really good console. The Vita is a difficult one because, like, as a piece of hardware, it's pretty fucking incredible. Like for a handheld device. Um. It just, it just never, it, it was the wrong time mobile games had taken off. Um, so they created this really awesome home, like, portable console. It's a, it's a great console. Um, and, and it, it had it great have games. like a, like a touch pack, touch it pack, did. On touch the pad back. on the back or something? Yeah. yeah. It did. It had a ton of tech, but the problem was that it was expensive when it came out mm. because it was such a cool piece, because it was such a powerful console. Um, and it had games, which was the really weird part. Like, it had games. Um, and in fact, that was when Sony were doing the thing where they also had, like, games on PS3 that would be on PSP. Like, that All-Stars game. I think Sly Cooper 4 was on both. Um, but then the, the supply of games slowed down, and then it, it basically just got abandoned after a couple of years. So that was really sad. It was mm. a cool console. PSP is absolutely not underrated. I feel like it is. I feel like it's not talked about often. PSP is like trash compared to DS. See, that's what we're talking about right there. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I mean. Like, PSP was fucking awesome. The DS was incredible. Um, PSP was awesome too, though. That was a really good time for video games. Like, you know, the Played early the shit to ten out of my DS. Yeah, same here. There's a lot of really good games. Animal for DS. Crossing Wild World. That was a uh, elite that was beat a agents. Stick. There was a, they did another Final Fantasy Tactics for Super, it. New Super Mario Brothers. Bit of shit to yeah. know. Oh, Mario Kart as well with friends. Oh, Mario Kart DS. Yeah. yeah, Mario Kart. I think that was my favorite uh, Mario Kart that I've played was the DS one. Uh, mine's Double Dash, um, and then Eight, uh, and I will not accept any other claim otherwise. <laughs> I haven't really? played Eight yet. I yeah, I won't. Mario Whoa. Kart 8 is too, too much content, too much, too much, by the way of, like, and, and so well refined mechanically that I, I think I would refuse to accept any other claim that, like, there is one that's better than that, and Double Dash. Because I'm partial to Double Dash, but that's just because I played the shit ton of it. As for which is the best Mario Kart, I don't really have a stake. The, the problem is it's hard, because, like, I probably have a, a, a bias against Double Dash, uh, in favor of Double Dash. Um, I feel like categorically it has to be 8, probably. Um, Mario Kart Wii was fun. Um, 
I actually never had that one though. I remember that was like the only one I didn't get, which is funny because I'm pretty sure it's the most successful one in terms of sales. <laughs> um, I really wanted it, but I never, I never got it. Um, so I only ever got to play it through friends. That was a cool game. I think that was a point though when like it needed to go somewhere as a as a as a game. Like it was starting to stagnate, and then like seven's really cool, but it's still it's not really changing or evolving at all um then again we did introduce motorbikes and that was that was a cool new addition um i've encountered people who don't like xander which is fine for Ugh. the reasons i find strange yeah um uh so i don't know if i should read <laughs> they, 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 they're gunning <laughs> for, yeah. I'm just, you know, I try to avoid saying anything specific about anything to do with the thingy. Um, mm -hmm. So, for the person who wrote this, um, yeah, I've heard that argument a lot. That's like the main sort of criticism people have for that character, and I think it's fucking absurd. If you watch the show, he's like one of the best-hearted people in the show. So, um, um, you know what? Let them think him. what they think. It's it's weird that they would criticize him for stuff he did under literally mystical influences and stuff. Where he couldn't. He's not himself. But you know, it's it's fine. Mm -hmm. I just saw somebody mention in chat. Crash Team Racing is better. Yeah, it is. It's um. Yeah, it's the best kart racer. <laughs> um. Uh, Mortal Kombat I... kart racing is actually the best. Okay. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing I different. Do... I do want to say, like Crash Team Racing, high skill ceiling. It had the, it had a much higher skill ceiling than Mario Kart. Um, fuck, that was a great game. Awesome maps. Um, the 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 drifting system is is so good. It's so good. I don't know that any other game has made a better drifting system for like a kart racer. Um. Someone suggesting yeah, the Garfield in. Racing? Did you consider that? <laughs> I don't think I've ever played Garfield Racing. Garfield Kart? Then Garfield what the fuck Kart. would you it. know? It thing? was... Mm -hmm. um, Garfield Kart. Garfield Kart. It was the best. I remember that um, one of the things that was kind of disappointing in uh, Nitro Fuel, for as cool a remake as it was, was that there were certain little touches to, to CTR that were lost. It was almost like too polished and so there were parts where it's like things that you used to be able to do in the old game were removed. It's kind of like removing BXR from Halo 2. There were just these parts of the game that become a part of the, the game um, you shouldn't take out. But hey, it is, it is an admirable effort. Uh, Cinematic Venom is back with another Lord of the Rings video. You gonna review it and have him on 150? Um, I don't think we're gonna, like, review his new video, but I, I was happy to have a chat with him if you wanted to. I've sent him a, an email, I, um... Cause he's not on Twitter anymore. Which, whenever someone's not on Twitter, I just, like, I wonder if... They're just like, I'm done with social media, you know, and I'm just like... If that's <laughs> the case, it's totally fair. I do not blame you at all. Uh, examples. Um, in Crash Team Racing on the maps, there were there were a lot of ways that you could. There weren't. Uh, the remake had a lot of invisible walls which didn't exist in the original game that prevented you from utilizing certain shortcuts. Um, so like it, it was possible to go much faster. Um in the original than it was in the remake because the remake just put up walls that would prevent you from getting to certain parts of the map. I remember that the the subway map, um, for those who know what I'm talking about, there's like there's like a a main path and then you can run up the ramps and like use them to jump up to get to shortcuts. And there were times when it just wouldn't work because the game just had unpredictable invisible walls that would prevent you from doing that because it's almost like, well, this is the way that you're supposed to get there. So you need to do it this way. Whereas the original game was a lot more flexible. Uh, I'm not sure how better I could describe it. It's just more... You were more able to uh, use a variety of different moves to, to, to get to places that they just prevented you from doing in the remake. 
Um, probably because they weren't intended in the original game, but it doesn't matter whether they were intended, it's part of the game, and it's part, it's part of why it's great. One of the things that I really liked about the Game Boy version was that you could cheese that shit in some in insane Wait, ways. The Game Boy version of, of uh, Mario Kart? Mario or? Kart. Oh right. yeah, yeah, Mario Kart, where you could, if you sped up and like jumped at the right time on the little bouncy things on the map that were... If you knew how to do it correctly, yeah. and finding all those cool little things was like legit kind of fun. Yeah, it's it's the loop touches. It's um, it's the it's the stuff that really increases the skill ceiling. Which is, these games have a low skill floor inherently because of like what they are. They're really straightforward, simple games. But these little layers of complexity is what makes the great ones, um, or at least makes them stand out. Excellent. Yeah, that was a big tangent. Your <laughs> game keeps randomly playing the soundtrack again. I mean, it's not random, so is that like the Star Wars one? Metal, say ich lieb dein Coco Age. Excuse me? I, I don't speak German, I don't know what this means. It doesn't sound like German. Oh. Alright, I will post it in word format. It might be something not good. <laughs> A big uh, race to so, <clears throat> so that's almost correct. <laughs> <laughs> so what they were probably going for is "Ich liebe dein Schoko Auge," which basically means I, I I I love your chocolate eye. Oh. oh. <laughs> I know what that refers to. Yeah. Which is totally fine on this stream. Well, that's what so Willy Wonka had. Like... He really had an eye for chocolate. That guy, he could make some mean candy bars. That guy just, he knew what it took. He just knew what people liked about it. It was, it was an art form for him. It, it was yeah. more than just a job. Rags, sing Deutschland, Deutschland über alle. No. I, um, I can't. I, for, I forgot how to speak. Damn it. That's, 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 that's a good thing. Remember how you said, look at me, I'm the German now? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I, I don't. You gotta, you gotta know when to, you gotta know when to bust that out. Mm -hmm. You really gotta know when you want to burn that card. Uh, gotta save it. Gotta keep that in your back pocket for later. It's not how many times you say it. It's. Hmm. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> uh, how come you never responded to the live stream Eric Taxon and uh, Patricia Taxon now and Jack Saint did on your coverage of the video? Those live streams need a good spanking. Fucking even EFAP has limits on the spiral of react to react to react to react to react. Um, mm -hmm. So I, feel I, like... I highly doubt they have anything insightful to say. Well, um, I can't remember what I said at the time, but I'm pretty sure. So this is the thing. I'm. I really like. If if Jack Saint were to send me a message today saying hello, how are you doing? I I I'd, I'd probably be chill about it, but like. I don't, it's not hard to remember, his video was fucking disingenuous, um, and it took a while a scum fuck liar. to go through <laughs> all, so the way, if you guys remember, that's EFAB 9 and 10, I think, no, nine, 8 and 9, no, no, 20 something, right, because that's the Quentin one I'm referring to, it was, it was 20 something, so the way that I had to do it was like, play his video on me, let him make his point, and then we have to go back to my videos to check if he was right, and almost every fucking time it would be like, so he left this out, he left this out, he left this out, he left this out. It's just like, yeah, your points become a lot easier when you fucking butcher my video to do it, uh, which is not cool. And so if someone was like, yeah, but they made a whole stream response, it's just like, I don't really give a fuck. I don't care. <laughs> We've established honest, that they're actually. not trustworthy. Um... 20, 22, 21, 22, and 23? It was around that area, yeah. Um, oh, boy. So, it would be one of those situations where it's like, I hope you had fun responding, but, like, it wasn't going to go much further than that. This is why, like, if Jack made a second video on me, it's just like, yeah, I think we're done already after the first one. Um, that's the thing. We caught Quinton in a, in a blatant lie. Um... And I think he ad he eventually admitted to it, right? He just said it didn't really matter or something. <laughs> huh. um, okay. But I don't think I don't think Jack out. apologized for any of the fucking uh, major misrepresentations. So this is the thing. Like, um, 
I think I was treated like just any other random, like, idiot piece of shit who makes, like, random statements or whatever, and so he just collected what sounded like the worst. It was just like, I can get... I made these videos, so I remember what I said in them. Weird how it works, huh? I guess I should have said I care about the videos. <laughs> like, yeah. some, some creators do just, just spool everything out, and then they're just like, yeah, I may have said that, I don't know. Um... So yeah, there's just there would be no reason to. Also, I'm not too tempted to respond to like we we try to avoid responding to streams. That's just like that can be tough. Yeah, we did get Longman bad out of it. I was actually talking to Freeman about this the other day. Did did me being called Longman as a nickname come from him Longman batting me? I, I think, think so. so. Pretty crazy because that's like stuck like. Perfectly, and I, I really like it too. Really so good. it's a really good up. It's a just summarize point. It's bad because it's long. It's really stupid things to say. And it works. Yeah, because it came from the whole long it. critique is not deep deep critique video. That shitty one. That's the one. Yeah. And it's like something can be long and deep. Um, it could also just be long. You need to do better. Like you need to. That's about. That's yeah. the only insight the video had. Right in the opening, it's like just because it's yeah, long it's doesn't mean like, it's deep. It's like agreed. Yes. Yeah. Similarly, just because something's short doesn't mean that it's actually succinct. It could just be devoid of information. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think that's the problem is there's an assumption that, like, well, short means that you, you said everything as quickly as possible. That's that's really good. And it's like, well, I would always encourage that people say only what's necessary, but sometimes that's a lot. Um, and sometimes you can just be short and just miss a lot of important information. Um, Birds of Love with the Sun reckons it came from Chase. And uh, that was in that episode, though, right? Was it Chase called me long man, and then that was just it was done? Because that's kind of hilarious <laughs> to think about if that's true. Yeah. I can't uh, remember. It happened so long ago, and it's just become part of a. It's so normal. Oh well, yeah, whenever I go on the yeah. think of its origins, the stream yards thing. It's my little. I put it in brackets just so people know. And there's some people in like the the fandom menace crowd will be like, "What does long man mean?" <laughs> just like, mix long videos. <laughs> To be fair, a lot of EFAP memes are derived from stupid things people say. Yeah, true, but you'd you'd think I I think it'd be reasonable to assume that Long Run comes from the community rather than you know someone pulling me. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Interesting history. Uh, when Han Solo is frozen between Episode Five to Episode Six, does it provide him with sustenance and keep his bodily functions active? I. Well, the thing is, when he's in Carbonite, um, I assume we're supposed to. He's he's like, you know, fantasy in metal at that point, right? Kind, yeah. Like he's been converted, and they can be converted back. There's probably philosophical yeah. questions to ask about his it's state. Like, yeah, it functions as a prison more than anything else. It keeps you there, I guess, preserved or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, I like how the TVA time machine has less security than my cell phone that needs a fingerprint and password to use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we wouldn't have the story if it wasn't like that. You have to consider. Yeah, idiot. The dumb shit, we wouldn't have our dumb story. And people really underestimate biometric locks. Uh, mm -hmm. Especially in the future, we think. Mm -hmm. Perfect time to implement them, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I need a shovel. Um, Chase said, stop being so long, long man. Oh my god. <clears throat> um, in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, was the chair that stopped Cap's shield placed by the TVA? Uh, since it wasn't in the <laughs> scene beforehand? I think so. Damn. I think that's the only way we could really justify that, you know? Um... We need a new rating system that doesn't use numbers. Well... How do you have a rating system that wouldn't be able to comport to numbers? Like, what's Uh, it? sounds. Like, I give this a... Ew, out of 10. Out of... Out of mm, uh, well, mm. the only way that's going to be meaningful is if you tell me if that's a high or a low or a mid. <laughs> oh, that's, that's sort of a, like a 6. Something okay, alright. There's my shovel. 
Um, we already had, like, it started out not as numbers, it was the good old fashioned, this is good, this is bad, this is great, this is terrible, this is okay, this is phenomenal, this is abysmal. If you prefer those ones, just, you know, whenever you hear the number, just kind of, kind of think about what, what word that probably means. Um, what are the, what are the rating systems are popular for movies? I guess is the, um, the grading one, right? Star, see, because stars to me is just another form. Because, you know, That's like grading, stars. you can try and apply something else with grades. Like, because that's what Stuckman uses, right? He uses I like an A plus or an A minus, yeah. I find grades but, I mean, strange. I feel, like gra I feel like grades are the same thing because, like, grades over here just comported to a number again out of 100. Well, yeah, because if someone was brand new to all of this, they'd be like, so what does it mean to be an F? And he's like, it's kind of like a zero. Or something. Well, yeah. Exactly. I mean, over here for like university, it's like so. If you got a distinction, it means you got between seventy-five percent and eighty-four percent. So yeah. it's still a number score. It's just summarized as a letter. Because people reference in Japan, it's like if we had an S rank, that would just that would be ten, I assume. A would be like eight and nine, mm -hmm. and so on. Like I don't know a rating system that can't just be transposed to numbers. Broken down. It's an, well, it's just because numbers are kind of at the core of a lot of stuff. Numbers, a big fucking numbers, of... man, ruining everything or making everything better. Yeah, it's really making nice. everything easier. I'd fucking say number, just quantifying amounts and easy to understand symbols. Fucking Fuck number. you, numbers. Universal across all cultures and languages. Melted and non-melted. Yeah. Hmm. Go with that. You smacked indie. I smack indie a whole bunch with my, oh. my shovel. You can't do that. I did. Bastard. Um. Hey, Mola, did you know that during Jack Septicai's GTFO Part 5 video, Markiplier says he watched your Tross Rage? Timestamp 2406. Long man. Um, I finally know Jay sent me that. I guess someone told Jay on Twitter. And I think, I think I knew about this. Someone else had sent me the clip. But it's non specific. Markiplier just says that he's watched a two hour breakdown of why Tross is terrible. And he was very entertained by it. Like, that could be anyone's two hour breakdown, okay? I don't think there's another one. Shut up, Mel! <laughs> there probably is at least one other two hour breakdown. There's some guy out there who's like, you know what? It's my time. It's my time. And then it's, fuck this Mahler guy. He took all, of, all the things away. Took all the long away. <laughs> he gives them back. Asshole. Um, all I know about Critical is that he had a competition with Belle Delphine to see who owned the most amount of silicon peen. <laughs> okay, well. You know, uh, is she still around? I haven't heard anything. I don't know. I don't I think really she was care, back. but you know. <laughs> she was what, sorry? I, I think there was like a long break, then she was back, I think? There's gonna be plenty of people in chat who know. Uh. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Someone already said she is. Have you checked your butthole? Did I cut a butthole? Didn't Sitch do a two hour trust breakdown? He did, uh, did you do three videos? Can't even remember. Health up. Um. Full health. I think the reason 7 is treated as average rather than 5 is because people connect it to school grades where 70% was a C average grade. Also, Hero Wagazoo. Wagazoo. That's, oh, uh, Hero. That's, it's, I hear that. It's different in Australia. Like, 50% is a passing grade. You get 50%, you passed. And here, you gotta get, over here, you gotta get 70. Right, so like, yeah, so at university, a passing grade was 50%. Um... Yeah, I guess it's different in America. That means your heart. It, that means if you get heart surgery in Australia, there's a fifty percent chance. Well, it depends. Fifty percent might just be equivalent to your seventy percent, and so there's actually another thirty percent on top for how high you can go. Like there's a recognition of even even, even superior uh, skill. Damn. I don't think so. Well, it has to be because Australian degrees are treated like on the same level as UK and American and like Canadian. Like they're all. I'm just trying of the to same. make y'all feel better. Well, I mean, you can say that, but like, <laughs> pretty sure that 
Australia as a ratio for like we all just got together is really high. Like Rose a got lot together of said those a lot of universities in Australia are like in the number one percentile for like the best universities in the world. Nah, we just got together and we said, I mean, you know, you, they got to deal you, with you their spiders no, and wrong. their koalas. So we, I think we need to just go ahead and hey, I look, we just need know, to go ahead and throw them a bit of a bone here. You know, so, they gotta they don't have much to live cool. for. Oh, um, I mean, it's really tough. America likes to think it's, it's the best country just, in the world, but I mean, you know, Australia is just, it's just Australia sitting there. It's just, really difficult to acknowledge. Like, well, uh, if you guys gave your own grades, can you really count as as saying you've got the best universities? You just told everybody that's the case. Yeah. We need an unbiased person to check it all. Metal, can you get that sorted? I have not been listening. I agree with Fringy. Does it count? Right. I mean, I was, I was looking <laughs> for you to check if That's he was correct, thanks. but if, if you just say that, then oh, all right. Then. <laughs> I hope Fring hasn't paid you in grades. Get that answer. You paid me in, in, in goo. Maybe we'll finally find out what the goo does. Uh, what was the best thing about Birds of Prey, and why was it Huntress? So, uh, is what did we ended. think was... The best thing about was it? Was it? We I think we oh, said the hyena. that we. It was Bruce. Oh yeah, we we liked the hyena and we were okay with Huntress, uh, yes. right? We just said she was kind of flat. Like. Yeah. She, yeah. She had very, a history. For how much time they gave to her, she felt super underdeveloped in a strange way. Kind of, it's kind of the same for all of them though. Um, the characters in that are very thin. Um, mostly like functional, but yeah. Yeah, um, it's, there's really not a lot to latch on to. I don't know what people like about it, I suppose. There's... Did people like that film? <laughs> just, people do like that uh, film. I sort of. One. Oh, you're right, yeah. Which top. is bizarre to me. Well, then again, no, he so liked Wonder Woman 84, so. Mm. Oh, it's very artsy. It's super colorful, mm. and it's very... It's full um, of heart, Rags. It's full of it's heart. Very... Shit, yeah. yeah, Huntress was like the probably the least annoying out of the out of the set because she was like oh, yeah. kind of awkward and just looking to kill people. So it's like, hey, I can relate. People pretended to like it. I'm sure people actually did, though. I wish they were pretending. You know how, like, Hytop yeah. will absolutely watch, like, Spider-Man 2 a million times over? Like, I can believe that. I don't think he will watch Birds of Prey again. Of course not. Fuck no. I still think so. But he made his video, and he cried when he watched his video. And people cry when they watch his videos. It's, it's just a cry okay. fest. And then more crying happens, because they record those cries, and then they put them in the next video. So much crying, so much heart. And you know what? That's what cinema's about. A lot of people are like, ooh, plot. It's actually about, it's actually about the heart. I think you guys, what, crying? once you learn that, a blue, a blue? you'll be better critics. I want to learn. Pimp, Learning pimp, pimp, guy. Pimp, pimp, pimp. Like, do you guys even experience joy? Out of, out of curiosity? Nope. No, not uh, us. A constant it's all serious business and hatred over here. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Constant Art isn't about enjoying yourself. It's not about having fun. You need to get <laughs> these childish notions out of your head. The sooner that we, 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 we break you free of this disillusionment you found yourself in, the better off you'll be in the long run. You need to come to terms with the fact that art is it's serious shit, and it's not for enjoyment or having fun. We need like a chat reviewer to come up and be like, films are only about plot, not emotion. There is no emotion in art whatsoever. Is only clinical and sterile analysis of every frame and sound wave. We as humans have a job to get our emotions out of there because they were created to manipulate us. Fuck emotions. Oh my god. Fuck those emotions. Fuck them right in the ear. Right in the ear. Give them the old ear hole surprise. Mm -hmm. Give them the old Vietnamese sundown. I don't know Vietnam or the people that that pretty neat yeah oh yeah oh yeah it, if it's in because it's a, if it's in the it's in the ear it's it doesn't count so that means you could do it yeah 
Mole, are you going to play yeah. Lego Jurassic World at some point? It's repetitive, but fun. No guarantees of anything, okay? I mean, getting this working was annoying, and it does work, so... so that's that's can a victory right you, there. Can you equip a gun with a laser on it? And when you pull the trigger, it will sick a dinosaur onto the other Lego figure, and then it swipes them, and then they just turn into a bunch of Lego pieces? So, it's about Jurassic World 1. If it were about Jurassic World 2, Fallen Kingdom, then you could probably do that. Oh, I see. Maybe they got prototypes. Maybe they got DLC. Like, instead of a, instead of a single big dinosaur, it sicks a lot of the little the little tiny ones. Like, a, dozens and dozens of the little ones. Like the beginning of The Lost World. Two. You guys remember that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. It'll creep me out when I was a kid. I was like, I don't like the idea yeah, of when I was being a kid, devoured I was like, by dinosaurs. Oh my God. Lots of little oh, Because it real. showed that... Well, it's it's because I think it showed that kids are not immune. Yeah. Like, if you're a kid and dinosaurs want to eat you, they just might well fucking do it. You don't get protection because you're a kid. This movie is... We're, we're setting... We are establishing that we mean business. Do you know how many children died in the first Jurassic Park movie? Zero. None. Not a single fucking one. Shit film. And yeah. then in Jurassic Park 2, what do they do to remedy that horrific failure? Boom. Dead kid. Right on the beach. Yeah. Horrifically, too. She didn't just get nomped once by a T-Rex and dead. No, 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 no. Like land piranhas. Nibbled to death. Bit by bit. Nibbled to death. They, they <clears throat> nibbled her while she was alive. He died horrible. Screaming in agony. And that's it, how though. he goes to end it. Because that's, that's how they, they make it nice and scary, is that they have the mum scream when she sees whatever she saw. So you're like, oh boy, you know, imagination going nuts. But then at the edit is like, her scream just like cuts into Jeff Goldblum yawning. Remember that? Oh. Uh, really? A really strange uh, choice for filmmaking. Uh, implied, like... That's one of the that's that's kind of one of the things I really liked about the two movies we watched lately was the depiction of violence itself was really minimal. It was the implication mm -hmm. of it and other characters reacting to it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I recently watched Snatch and Lockstock with good old Fringo and Ragu. Uh EFAP chat. You guys Fun. somebody in there probably knows them. Fun movies. Hey chat, what's better, Snatch or Lockstock? Let's see what they say. What's... Hmm. Oh shit, I'm curious. Come or young. Wait, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. What are we going on? Well, what looks like most people are saying Snatch. Snatch, Snatch. Well, I missed out on those movies because I was... Sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, anyway, we actually watched them both when you were asleep. I think there is more votes for Snatch, yeah. Yeah. I prefer Snatch, but they're both, they're both really fun. We need to have a, we gotta have a polling question. For like the episode. The episode? Yeah, like we need to have, because we, we had our little thing right there right that was something that maybe we need to come up with a difficult question for chat to argue about oh um like hmm. would you rather have no taste or be colorblind something like that hmm. i feel like i'd rather be colorblind i'd rather have no taste i, I am oh. not sure i'd have to think about that one right it depends yeah. what are the were you born without taste or were you or were you or do we assume that, like, up until this point, and then you lose it? Uh, let's say up until this point. Uh, oh. Um, I feel like I'd rather be colorblind if I knew what it was to taste things, and then to lose that. In Indigo I makes sense. Uh, Indigo says, no taste. I'd like to have something in common with High Top. Nah. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that is fair enough. But I, uh, is... I think that I could have no taste working for my favor in terms of that's what I true. eat health. and health. health. Yeah. But 
for color blindness for me is I, I enjoy my vision and the vibrance so, of colors and I guess the playing what games I would say, Rags, and is that nature and like there is a lot of value that you can pull from black and white images. Like you haven't lost sure. Well, I think it's just the whole thing of like when you lose taste, you've kind of like lost food. But when you lose actually eighty percent of what you taste is from smell. Uh oh. Well, so but if, I... if you're saying we've lost taste, does that not account for whatever comes from the nose as well? Or smell? I assume so. Um, but Otherwise still, I, I would still right? keep my answer the Otherwise same way. Otherwise, it's redundant. Yeah, because yeah, if I just lose taste, but I just can smell, it, and that's eighty percent of it, then yeah, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> like, then I've lost nothing. Because um, I, I, I'd, I'd still, I, I would be much, much more keen on just not being able to taste food than I would, um, because I'm only eating some of the time. I'm seeing all of the time. That's true. Yeah, but but I like food. Well, I was like, gonna say. Well, I'm, I'm assuming the counter to that is you can still see, but you can't taste. Yeah. Yeah, that, I feel like that's the clear count. If I see in black and white, I still see the world in, in a way that is meaningful. Um, and in fact, you could say that I'm getting rid of some of the, the um, the distraction almost. Like I'm seeing the tones, I'm seeing a world of tones rather than a world of color, or at least more so. Um, oh, it, it sounds like a, I don't know. To me, that just sounds like a, a downgrade from color. Um, well, I mean, I, I, I mean, it's it is a downgrade for sure, but like it's a downgrade versus a complete loss of a sensation that I have. I'm fine with losing like the most minor of our sensations, which I, I think is taste, taste is to me. I, um, I I just I I'm just not that big into food. I I mean I like it, of course, but I just don't I guess eat for taste enough to give up color when I'm super big into imagery and looking. I mean, I suppose at, that's gonna be the deciding stuff. factor then, right? whatever the person seems to use more so of those senses or value more of those senses uh i i'm not sure i'm not sure what i would pick to be honest with you i i almost want to experience what it'd be like without either of them to know like for a decent amount of time so i could decide because you know i think food's okay. neat i also I think, think color's neat because everybody's pointing out it's like it'd be easy to eat healthiest like that's true I like food though, like I actually like it, so I don't know if it's worth, I guess it's the thing of like, you're healthy, but you can never like enjoy food anymore. That, that I guess thought. enjoyment of food for me is it's such a minor thing that like when it well, like when, when it happens, like that's nice. You know, I had a really good meal. That was, that was nifty. I like that, but I've never been uh, really that, that picky about the taste of food. Um, uh, I just get, I think I th I get so much more from color than I do from taste, and it's, it's not even close to me. I, I'd I, much rather give it I taste. I guess the than problem color. is like I don't know that you can say that it wouldn't be close. I I feel like if you if you if you tried it, you'd be surprised probably by how much. Maybe like no yeah, taste. Because even is bizarre. no maybe, taste, maybe. I'd imagine, has to affect a lot more than simply meals. There's there's no way it affects. Yeah, it has. Like because if you like lose what? Your, just everyday I feel like stuff. The obvious thing is if you lose your sense of smell as well as your sense of taste, because it they, just has it, taste. Yeah, but as but, you pointed out, it's got to affect the nose in some way, right? Because smell is to. tied to well, taste. Well, it's only when, that's when you're that's just when you're eating. I don't think that's just when you're eating, like how taste applies. I don't think. It, I don't think yeah. Well, it I, says I just like it just together. says taste. It doesn't say smell. So yeah. I assume what they mean here is the ability to to taste food and the things that you eat. Not to smell your surroundings. Those are two different things. I'm not talking about that. I mean, so whatever capacity your smell is involved with taste, that has to go too. Otherwise, the question's kind of yeah. So that's... yeah, I'm I'm fine with I'm fine with the smell aspect going away for the tasting of food as part of the question. But the like, if I if I sit in a new car. And I could smell the chemicals and things of a new car as it has rolled off the factory. That's not taste. That that is smelling things. It's probably going to be I'm a different gonna, sensation without I'm taste. Gonna, I will push back on that because, like, when you taste something that's been smoked. So if we were to say, "Oh, something that's been smoked, you can't taste that," can you smell smoke? The answer has to be no. Well, it says have no taste. Yeah, you keep saying that, but like. 
taste and smell at links with each other. They are linked, but they are different. And I'm the fine for because I think the spirit of the question is you can't taste food. So like, can I taste? Because that's what like everyone means when they say so that. When I breathe in smoke, do I taste smoke or do I smell smoke? When you breathe it in, when I breathe uh, in anything, are you smelling? Well, are you breathing it in through your nose or your mouth? I. What difference does it make? They both go th into my body. <sighs> So, oh, yeah, it, if I shoot someone with a bullet, it goes into their body, too, but it's different. That's... How is that even remotely analogous? We're talking about, it, like, it's actually, it's actually through really you. Obviously, it's weird you wouldn't pick it up. Just because something's going into your body doesn't mean that the way that it goes in and the things that it hits along the way are the same. Where, where, where does your sense of smell come from? And if you breathe through your mouth and then that goes through the area where you smell, would that not mean that you're smelling regardless of whether you breathe through your nose or your mouth? If you breathe through your mouth, I believe you, that mouth you close your smell. Yeah, they, they can smell. But they breathe through their like mouth. Everyone, so what if you how, breathe how, through how, your mouth, I don't think you're gonna get the same uh, the same stimulus that you will get if you breathe through your nose. But you still it will smell be different. regardless, right? That was the point, that whether you breathe through your nose or your mouth, you will smell things. To it in different, I'd say in different ways, you'll get something. But you will get something, was all I was saying. Something. Yeah, smell. A smell of some sort, that was all I was saying. I don't, do you, if you just breathe through your mouth and you block your nose, will you get a smell? I'm confident that you would smell something if you breathe just through your mouth and had your nose blocked. Yeah. Yeah, the interesting thing about, air... <laughs> funnily enough, Black Widow can, is part, part of the whole, like, uh, yes. avoiding yep. his pheromones by blocking your nose wouldn't be enough if it's um, the olfactory nerves are picking up because they're really powerful, which is uh, true. It's just a fucking absurd scenario. I was also going to say, like, the, the, the canals that connect, like, your mouth and your nose like, air can travel between them pretty easily, and I'm pretty sure they yeah, actually do. Yeah. That's, that's, like, part of... What, what I'm interested in is, if you knock out taste fully, I think smell is going to come across as a different experience at that point. It is, yeah, they're, like, they're, like, when someone, like, tasting... When you breathe in air through your mouth, and when you breathe in through your nose, you will get two different sensations. Sure, but it's all smell, ultimately. They're just different types of smell. It's still smelling. It's like taste That's... is a different kind of smell. Well, I'm not. I'm not strictly saying that taste is a different kind of smell. I'm saying that like where we draw the line is not obvious to me. What yeah, that I means. assume we're all on the same <clears throat> board that they are connected more so than sight and hearing, or hearing and tasting and touching and, and, touch. and hearing. Yeah. Are, you know, stuff like yeah. Yeah, sure. They're 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 linked in a way, but they are two distinct things. It, but when you say and the question way, is, would you rather like lose your taste or lose color? Yeah, um, but I'm asking what the knock-on effects are of, of losing my taste. Because with with eyesight, I think it's transparent what you're losing, but with taste, that's becoming unclear to me. I know that I think true, I think it's used because because it is phrased so simply. I would wager that the nature of the question is that you would lose your sense of taste in terms of eating things which is the which is what, what pretty much everyone's things, mind will though? go to and so smell drinking? i'm fine with for the purpose of keeping in that spirit of the question that when you eat food the smell portion will not count but you could just smell like chemicals and things so i could in, smell food. like normal can i smell food like if food is cooking can i smell that i would say because if I the answer is so. yes, I can taste food. I if, feel if like that, that best know. represents I, the problem. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if, like, would it change your answer either way? Oh, it, it, it would absolutely would. be yeah. considered for me. If, if so I, would you, so you would choose food, color would if you could still food. smell food? Yes, because I would still taste food when I eat it, because I could smell All right, it. so if you, as long as you're not ingesting the food and eating it, smell won't count for you tasting it. So I, is there like a magical barrier or something on my face that like as soon as I don't, the food I don't... passes past... Sure, for the sake of this, sure. 
What about uh, again? I will refer to other things like if I wait, 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 wait. Out of curiosity, what? Rags, if if I said the question was I knock out your smell and taste or color, what would you then choose? Hmm. Because for me, that makes it even easier. I would absolutely choose to be colorblind. I think I would, yeah. I need I smell and taste are valuable and I don't want to lose I th them. I also uh, th I think I underestimate myself how valuable they are. I think that if I was to knock those both out, life would start to get a lot more um, yeah. dull. Yep. Suddenly. I think I, yeah, I think so. I think a world in black and white is still a really vivid world. It's just not colorful, but it's still I don't know. That'd be really that'd be really close for me. Uh, Indigo said my job is dependent on seeing color. I would I would argue that's a different answer to if we were just going from how life how you experience yeah. life, I guess. Because I, I, I'm not saying it's faulty reasoning, I'm just saying that it, it's, uh... I don't I even know. I guess the thing is, I'd, I feel like there are ways that I can work around color. So, like, for instance, if I'm doing art, I can always do it in, in volumes of, like, black and white. And if I just learn what the numbers are that represent what the colors are, that's always an option. Like, I can just be like, I can look up stuff that will say, oh, this number, it is green, it is green. And I'll just be like, oh, okay. Who's that color? It's like, there probably would be a suffer there, but I can at least work around not having color. I can't work around not being able to taste or smell. Well, they, that, they're making more and more accessibility for uh, all forms of colorblindness, absolutely. right, as we go on. Yep, that's right. Yep. And um, I think that if you were to be an artist that's exclusively working in black and white, I feel like that's going to be a cool angle. Um, oh, it's, not I, to, I don't want to, like, because I think people listening to that would be like, wow, you just do not, not like color or something. It's like, no, I adore color. I'm just saying. I love like, color. Yeah. But if I had to trade off color and taste and smell, it's like, fuck me. I like food. I like being able to know what the world is like in ways that aren't just sight and hearing. I think that smell is, is and taste is important. I think that I would legitimately be very depressed if I lost the ability to taste, knowing what it was to taste and smell. I, I if think it was just... If it was just taste for me, I would definitely go with losing taste, but if it was both taste and smell, I don't know. Um, that's much more of a toss-up for me. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm just one over for each of them. It's a little difficult if it was just, if it was um, taste, but I think I would still pick color, and if it was taste and smell, it's definitely, I'm losing the color. Zack Snyder movies would look better if you were colorblind? I don't, I don't even, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure that they would. They don't, though. I, I just, I don't, yeah, I don't know that that's, yeah, I don't know. I think there's a joke in there, but I, I enjoy it for that, but, you know. I mean, Zack Snyder would think they'd look better. <laughs> this was my original artistic vision, and all I needed to do was sacrifice my ability <laughs> to taste food and smell. Everything is my artistic vision I guess now. a it's big great. thing as well is we're, we're underplaying maybe, like, the value of smell in terms of just your place within society. Like, if you don't know how you smell or you or anything like that at any time, it's like, that might make things difficult, um, in life. Well, I wouldn't want to underestimate all the amount of difficulties that come with not being able to see colors, of course. Definitely. Um, I guess the problem is that if I know what colors are, initially, that helps with a lot of simple things, like the color of the lights, I know what they are because I know the order that they're arranged in. Um... Of course, your memory would fade for what colors are in time. But um, I think the world is built to accommodate people who have color blindness more so than it is to accommodate people who can't see or smell. Uh, who can't, can't taste smell or, or smell. Taste. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are so many things that I can still do if I've lost color. I can also, read and that's uncomparable. This thing, if you if you said the question was a matter of blindness completely, there's a good oh. chance I'm sacrificing both taste and smell for that. Oh, like, I, I think I, I, I want to oh, yeah. sight is a, a sight is a bay, you know. I will yeah. easily give up taste and smell to keep my sight. Absolutely, yeah. seeing is well. kind of useful. Would you give up hearing, well, tasting, and smelling for sight? Would I give up hearing, tasting, and smelling for oh, sight? Yeah, I might. I think I, I probably think I, would. I, yeah. I, I <clears throat> Sight's see. too important. Sight is just a beast of a fucking thing to be able it's to a, have. It, it, is the, it is our primary sense. <laughs> More than anything that, else, it is sight. Well, I it's mean, as we, learn, as, <laughs> as we learn from Anson, my eyes, Johnson, if you lose the ability to see and touch, you have no idea where you are at any time. 
all my senses, all my nerves, they don't allow for the sensation of touch. So I never know what I'm doing. Am I standing, sitting? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Matt Murdock weeps. I mean, Matt Murdock has, you know, perception that is different from this ours. Well on fire. Yeah. If I was a bat, like, that would be different because I could see the world through echoes. Yeah, you. If you were a bat, you'd be like, you know what? Sight's overrated. I can. I got this other system. I can do like, I, uh, beep 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 beep. Yay! I don't know where I am. Uh, in the book, I've been listening to us talking about like, it must be interesting to think about what consciousness must be for a bat who sees the world in a totally different way. It's like, how can we ever know what that really means to see the world through echolocation? Um, have to ask him. Or to see the world. Yeah, that'd be neat if you could have some translator. Maybe Batman knows. I mean, the fact that the word see for us is interchangeable with just perceive in a general sense just shows how connected we are to that as a sense. It's just oh, so yeah. important. Sight is very important. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going the, the re-upload of this is going to have infinite paragraphs underneath it of people with very insightful things to say about taste and smell. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying this ahead of time. I appreciate it, and I probably did read some of them, okay? I'm not going to read them. Uh, I'll read some of them. <laughs> I might read some. Can, can I just ask it, what was the original one? Because I already forgot. <laughs> original was taste or color. Taste oh. or color was the original one, okay. Because we went like into so many different ones. I'd probably go with was it color. So, like, so I cook my food every day myself and i like it I yeah no i would go, I would go it could it could literally come down to just how much you sort of remember in your day-to-day -day how much you enjoy smelling or tasting food because uh it is yeah so. So, so it's, it's a big part of the human experience for a lot of people some people are just like i mean i do it to live it's not really that big of a deal yeah yeah i say i say that like i'm being like fucking Sarcastic or whatever. I just like I'm serious. Like some people might just be like, "Food is just this thing I do." Not that big of a deal. But, but, and then there's people out there, you know, like a chef, for example. That would be an interesting question for like a passionate chef. To, would they miss the color of food or the smell of it, or the taste of it more? And I, I'd have to assume they would value the taste right, of taste. food. Yeah. I got a massive value taste. Yeah. It's simple for metal. He wants to taste his food. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like food. Well, yeah, I give a thumb up to food. Food's all right. You know, it is a okay. Uh, when Rag speaks Australian, it makes my weenie hard. All right. <laughs> um, also, hi, Moothal Fringy, and of course, Raggleton. Hey. Hello. Hello. You guys are talking about Linkara. Search History of Voltage Vengers. It's a short parody of his Power Rangers video, and it's so hilarious. Oh boy. Do you guys know he has like the most famous sort of response to his fans in relation to when is his video is coming out? No, I don't it's, know. Um, no. It's, it's out of context, just this really fucking funny piece of art, let's say. He's like, The Power Rangers critique will come out when it is finished. <laughs> it's like, alright. <laughs> I don't know, I like it's in the render queue better. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. That's 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 my that that's one. You know, it's better because that's that's more cultish, like uh, culty in terms of like less people know about it. <laughs> it's weird how that w that word in that context could have been two very different things. You know, like a film has a cult following is a very like cool thing, but if you yeah. meant it like it has a following of people who worship it and sacrifice <laughs> some crazy <laughs> shit, you're like that's less cool. Okay, everybody's telling me bats have eyesight. Yep. Okay. I don't know fuck all about bats. I just know that they can be really cute. I don't yeah. know about bad woman. They're dun, dun, associated dun, 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 with like spooky creatures most of the time. I think it's because of the vampire bats. Well, I mean, also they are. I mean, if, if you look at them without like closer inspection and then you find out like some traits, you're like, man, that does seem like a spooky creature. But then you see like a flying fox and they have a dog face. It's like, hey, look, they're like a dog. No, I would. Ah, help me! Ah, that would be my reaction, probably. Assume everything will attack you. Does he sound like that, Molly? Yeah, that's Linkara's... He sounds like a crazy nerd. He's like, he's like a stereotypical nerd. Oh, you must, you guys must have met people like that in your life, right? Where you're just like, wow, that's your voice. 
<laughs> I was talking about this on the Bioshock stream. I was like, some people just get born with moon voices and you can't do anything about it. Like, how do you fix that? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, maybe... <laughs> I guess there's gotta be a way, right? You just... <sighs> maybe. Maybe that. I don't know. I hope it feel bad for him. Yeah. Am I supposed to tempt this guy to throw grenades at the... These parts? Hey. Aidman. Throw it. Um. Uh, the only real problem with the Zappo is will building related. How? Oh, uh, I fucking dude, I wouldn't call that consequence free. Let's just put that that way. Think about what they oh, like in that right. episode, okay? Huh? Oh. I can't say it out loud. It's about Buffy. Oh, okay, yeah. It's I, just, just. I realized when I was about to ask. I, oh, it's probably about me. Okay. Um, what they're doing can provide you certain elements that you just think about that for you. If you were to do that in real life for, for a loved one, just, just think about that. Like, what, it, hey, there you go. He did blow it up. Blow it up more. Um, Buffy the Cave Slayer is precious. Not 100% sure what that's referred into. Take the officer's hat. Wait, that's Buffy the thing the that lets cave. you throw explosives? Huh. Um, how would you feel if Pokemon transitioned to a light version of BG3 slash Divinity style gameplay? I that's like it a whole lot better. That sounds like it's better in basically every imaginable way. Oh, there you go. Oh, I guess this just gets me through the outpost, okay. Um, for me, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what that refers to gameplay-wise, but I mean... Infinity is like... Uh, it's RPG. a turn-based... Yeah, it's a turn-based system where characters move in accordance with their... Uh, I think it's their initiative, uh, which is its own stat. And characters get around four to six action points that they can choose to spend in whatever ways they want to. Whether it's hmm. movement or using abilities or Score items. Depth. Even yeah, if it was well, the XCOM system of just two two different move types that you have. Well, um, I was gonna say, like, I think the the issue here is like Pokemon is just not very layered. Like the most it has is you attack them with this one. I'm like, okay, anything else? Like, well, that one might be this type, and your type can't beat it. Yeah. Well, it's it, not even a might. It just tells you. There's not even. Well, I, well, I said might because you. Stuff. It might just be that you're a high enough level that it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's either you just power through, it's either just brute force leveling, which might happen because that gets, that is a game about mindless grinding, or it's just like, oh, they're water and you're electricity, so use your electricity move, and now you won. Like, okay. <laughs> Alright then. And that's Pokemon. And yeah, and if, this reminds me of like, in a basic sense, so like in Bioshock, it's like, you got your your basic. You have guns. They shoot. You have your melee weapon, and it, and it hit and it hits. And it's like, also you have alternative ammos. You're like, okay, yeah, I follow. Also you have the gun upgrades. You can choose between. Obviously you can get them all if you get through the end. You're like, okay. Also you have plasmids. Okay, each of them are a big multiplier on how you can do the combat. And you're like, okay. Also you have the gene, you know, alterations that'll uh, change how you interact with basically everything. You're like, okay. Also, you have the atom purchases that will change, and I'm just like, if you just keep adding layers on um, that change up how everything sort of functions and synergizes, I'm not saying Bioshock is particularly complex, but like, Pokemon doesn't, like, has two layers, and that's about it. Yeah, Pokemon is in incredibly simplistic. It's really, it really is pretty mindless. Pokemon hot takes. I like, don't, the only I don't time know. any semblance of, the only time any semblance of strategy has, I've, I've, has just, ever mattered is from like when you have to do these weird challenges and that sort of thing matters and, and I, I don't think these are that hot like people have said this about pokemon for some time now right like it's not a huge new thing pokemon fans are obviously going to be upset by this but that's know. fine they're not people <laughs> <laughs> That car is very narrow, <laughs> thin. <laughs> it's so thin, look at it. 
well, you know what? It's it, it's just it's like it, it's very realistic drive. It's like GTA 4 kind of driving this. You know, I think no, they put yeah. the same amount of effort into these systems. Uh, this probably took a guy a couple of days. <laughs> like, I wonder if they just like tried to grab whatever systems they had in like prior, you know, games. Try to be like, does it work? Copy and paste the code. Like Millennium Falcon. There's not me shitting on him, I just think it's funny. It feels funny to drive. Um, how would you... Oh, wait. Uh, the only thing Pokemon had was exploration, puzzles, and discovery. Mm. I don't even think I'd give it like much of the generous. first two, honestly. That's, I think that's being super generous. Have you ever seen a map of like the Pokemon world and how small and really linear it actually kind of is? Like just for perspective, you can get just you can just download a JPEG of the original Pokemon games world, and it's like shockingly small. And granted, there are puzzles, but I hope we're not including like Snorlax being in the way, and you have to go grab a Poke Flute. It's like I solved a puzzle yeah, or something. It's, like, eh. it's more Metroidvania in a sense than puzzle. Like now you have the Poke Flute to wake up. Now you have the. Basically, now you have the key to that one door you saw earlier. I would go as far as saying the way the Metroidvania games usually work is that you have to do a puzzle to unlock the thing that then you take to that location to unlock the door or whatever. Like, the unlocking of doors is uh, provided as an opportunity by defeating bosses or solving puzzles. But, um... Pokemon, like, I'm, I'm, I am genuinely, like... I, my brain goes to, like, the ice caves or whatever where you have to figure out how to you know, slide into the correct place. I think that's in one of the gym gym leaders' places as well. That's a puzzle. Oh yeah, I remember those. Yeah, I guess those are puzzles. <laughs> um, but uh, in fact, I haven't it played a weird lot of, uh, of new They ones. seem really out of place and bizarre, almost. A little bit. Oh look, it's the Indiana Jones meme. Oh, no, fell. As people point out, usually it's like uh, it was improv because he was he was ill that day or he had a bad back or something, and so they went. Oh, really it's like one of the most iconic to... scenes in all of Indiana Jones. <laughs> was that supposed to be a national fight scene? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course they build on it in the second one where he doesn't have his pistol. Yeah. Seriously though, I remember when I first saw that shit where the guy does his like flourishes and then he just fucking shoots him. I was just like, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. I love this. <laughs> um, We removed that after black and white. No more secret areas and stuff. But fucking hell, if Pokemon games are only getting simpler, then we in, we in trouble. They might not be getting simpler, but their complexity just makes them easier because you're given even more tools to beat an already simple game. Which maybe gives them a bit more variety, which is sorely needed, but... I don't um, know. It does have multiple layers. There's ability buffs, setups, stat steals, item EVs, and IVSs. So if we're talking but about, that like... shit only really matters if you're trying to do... so. Like, that shit just... It just doesn't matter. That's the thing, it's like, technically those things exist for you to utilize, but you just don't need them. Yeah, I think that, well, so... Because I, I remember, it's like, yeah, you can apply items to your Pokémon, and your Pokémon can steal stats, or steal moves, or, you know, apply, um... Uh, what are they called? Like, just, just the thing, the, the umbrella term yeah, for, like, confusion, down. sleep, stat effects, yeah. whatever they are. But it's like, but man, like, if you have a Blastoise that's high enough level, you just kill everything. Like, I don't know, it's... I guess uh, we would need to balance the game so that those things have to be properly considered instead of the usual, which is, man, my Pokemon fainted, I better use Revive. You can't just dismiss it by saying it doesn't matter. No, I really actually kind of can. Like, That's like you, one of the if you add things. a bunch of stuff to a game, and it's just like technically there, but it's just the amount of times it's going to be useful is just negligible. I don't know how much credit I'm going to give you. Well, I was going to say, that, that sounds like the primary reason you dismiss something, that it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 honestly, I'm genuinely lost on that response. It's like, that seems like the first thing you would do. 
But what about the move that boosts your electric type moves and then... But fuck that. I'll just use two electric moves. Instead of... Like, I just... Well, like, mm. Because you, if you had like an electric Pokemon, you keep... You don't have all electric moves. You'll have at least one like neutral one or whatever. So that if ever you come across stone, ground, rock, whatever Pokemon, you just hit it with tackle or fucking whatever the replacement is at that point. Oh, that's really weak to it too. And so... Yeah, I don't know. There's... There's stuff in it um i mean we've all put, maybe this is a hot take then since we're getting pushed back finally like the the uh pokemon games just as a kid all the way to an adult i have never gotten the expectation that i had to think very hard about playing it like i'll just go through you, yeah because you just don't you just don't it's not a game for it's not a strategy game like it just isn't i'm i the, my bar is too high to call pokemon a strategy game I guess, um, yeah, because I was about to say, like, would I call it a strategy game? I'm like, um, it feels weird calling it a strategy game. Do I have to use game? strategy? It's almost like saying Call of Duty is a strategy game because you have to, like, utilize cover in minimal ways. It's like, I just, my bar is just a bit, oh, it's tactics, not strategy, but, like, it's just, I'm, my bar is not that low that I'll call Pokemon a strategy game where you have to, like, would, use it, strategy. Yeah, because you really would, don't. Do would it's be so like minimal. saying Call of Duty is strategy because you have to pick a loadout that has certain stats. Yeah, you, like, I want to shoot someone yeah. far away, so I want to use a sniper rifle. That's my strategy. Is that strategy? strategy? like, uh, I mean, technically, but uh, it's so I'd basic. I'd rather not call it a strategy. It's like saying your, your gun is out of bullets. You have to press R so that you reload so you have more bullets to shoot. That's like a puzzle game. Lego Indiana Jones, the strategy game. I agree with that, yeah. I gotta be real careful as I approach any any level. I gotta think about what I'm doing. Watching Rick and Morty for the first time, halfway through season two, and I think the best episode so far was Mr. Meeseeks. I can understand why you would pick that one. Is that the it's a good episode? Is the is the A plot in that the giant stuff? Yes. I, uh -huh. like, I've told you before, but man, the without spoiling it, bringing in metal. The um, when Ricky go, R Ricky when Rick goes through the portal, but then his hand comes back out to. Uh, yeah. I like. Yeah. I was drunk watching it with a friend, and we were, we we like didn't stop laughing for a very long time. <laughs> it's a very joke. good memory I have of first seeing that. There's lots of fucking oh the soap joke, man. Yep. Oh, that's see that is just a creative and clever fucking joke. I just I dropped kinda... the soap and like crush us. <laughs> <laughs> to, like break our spines or something. And then it'll be really easy to rape us. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a like this is what I mean about like comedic writing. It's like you knew for, everyone knew they were going for that joke, but then they don't, and they surprise you. It's like, it'll crush us, and we, we die. You're like, oh, okay. Then it'll be real easy to rape <laughs> I think one of my favorite scenes is when they, when uh, I don't know which episode is where it starts, I just remember the numbers. It's like, uh, just a quick 20 minute, just 20 minute adventure, just really quickly. And this goes like six days later. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to break down in the ship. Yeah. That's the toxic <laughs> like, episode, I, right? I don't know. I don't know how we made this. I wasn't control at all, Morty. This was pure luck. <laughs> it's just <laughs> crying. <laughs> yeah, and then they, they go to the vacation center and do the toxic thing. Uh, I saw the first 10 minutes of Dune and it looked okay. Dump truck loads of exposition and some of the FX at Tizzamy, but fingers crossed, also high frog daddy G. Hey. Yeah, um, I want to see it. Um, and it's going to be interesting because yeah, like, I just have no connection to Dune whatsoever. So it's just going to be a sci-fi movie to me. Yeah, same. I read the book in high school. I don't liked it, but I don't have any connection to Dune. I just don't really care. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I feel like there's probably going to be plenty of people in Star Wars. 
it would, be, it would be nice, you know, if it was really good and it was like a cultural thing where we were all like, man, Dune, that's a really fucking cool IP, and let's all talk yeah, about it. Yeah, all of our science is. fiction shit's ruined. Doctor Who, Star Wars, Star Trek. The MCU. Yeah. The MCU. It's all just like shit. Um. Hi, Frongo. Hey. Have y'all been keeping up with the news on the Lord of the Rings Amazon show? It looks very concerning. What are your thoughts based on what we know so far? I have an uh, incredible I worry. Have so, what do I know so far? I know yeah, that they're, the show the they're filming sex scenes, right? Which has put everybody in a very concerned mode. Uh-oh. Because it feels okay. weird, right? Like, Lord of the Rings sex... You're just like, huh? Oh. Huh? That yeah, feels like it... Game of Thrones inspiration. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, well, it seems like they want to make another Game of Thrones. Uh, but Lord in of the Rings, of... they might want, don't want to do that. Well, that's the thing. It's like, why do you just make Lord of the Rings? You already... Mm. I say that. I don't want them to make fucking anything, to be honest with you. To do with Lord of the Rings, I mean. Like, leave it alone. Yeah, leave it alone. Um, so I know that. I know... Um... Like, what else do I- I feel like I- I did know more about this, but I've kind of forgotten, like, whatever. We'll be watching it. <laughs> so, there's that. Yeah. Yay. Hooray. I think it's probably gonna be another one of them, sort of, we, we all end up looking into it, and- and- and talking about how, man, weren't those films fucking great? They really were. Mm-hmm gonna put that under pile on, on shitty stuff. Oh, it would... You, you almost wonder, because I, I hate asking this question, but I'm just like, how would they how would they ruin Lord of the Rings, though? Like, if it's... Oh, if it's disconnected, it has Same different characters. It's like, surely we'll be okay, but it's like, no. No. <clears throat> there was a controversy around Sauron? Oh, no. Wait, is he, the only, is he the only person they're keeping white? <laughs> Um, thoughts on the Dead Space remake announcement? They said they're improving the gameplay and story, which worries me. Just don't. The thing with Dead Space's story is that it was really quite simple, and one of the things that made it good was that a lot of stuff was not explained. And mm -hmm. it's kind of Dead Space, I think, is a good example of how you really start to lose a lot of story when you try to explain everything a whole bunch. Because yeah. I am not a fan of the whole. I, I just th I think that Dead Space lost a lot of its identity and its vibe when it tried to really start explaining things a lot more. Um, I think the mystery really helps that game a whole bunch. Um, I agree. I think the peak of my investment in Dead Space was when I was fully convinced this is a brand new world, and even this world doesn't understand what's happening to it with all of this shit. And I'm just trying to survive as this engineer on this ship. Yeah, this 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 cosmic space horror that we can't explain, it's just fucking happening and you have to deal with it. I think that's way more interesting than the attempt at a alien moon ice planet thing that they did in 3. Which wasn't, like, bad but it was like that's just not an upgrade at all like it was just it seemed like it was just a symptom of we have to keep making dead space games and storylines and stuff mm. yeah. so iteration upon iteration i never i never finished dark souls souls fucking hell Demon Souls? Yeah, I, I have them all now. Just a Sekiro and <laughs> Dead Space. I never finished Dead Space 3. Um, I, I'm gonna look to probably why. play just... Dead Space 1 again, certainly before this. When is this remake coming out? Does anyone know? I think they just announced it, so it's probably gonna be a while still, I guess. The okay. way they announce things these days, it's probably gonna be like five years from now. Who fucking knows? Oh god, we, okay, this is the thing, I, I underestimate just what they can do to ruin everything, I really do. So we, we, we'll, we'll keep a close eye, we'll all Dude, it, cower in fear as safe. the intro like, plays. It, nothing is safe, even the things you thought were safe, they fuck up. 
Just wait until they buy the Metal Stream IP, and they'll ruin that. They can't ruin that. They only have to say Coom once or twice, and then they're fine. They won't. They just won't. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, I rags. I'm a manly, gun-loving, red-blooded American and was raised Catholic, but I'm also bisexual and have a slight feminine side. When I was growing up, I was always told being gay or bi was incompatible with being manly. I repressed my feelings most of my life, but your experiences have helped me be more comfortable with myself. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I I dealt with the, uh, the, the strange dissonance in my head of my sexuality and my religion at the time, and I think I just didn't think about it. So, however you deal with it, yeah, that's up to you, man. Um, yeah, well, I guess I'm, I'm glad I helped. You know, I'm glad I helped. Yeah, we, we didn't really get much of that over over here because of just being gay was just totally chill. Even with the, there's just so little religious sort of uh, pressure over in uh, Britain. Yeah, it's everywhere here. Um, Not as bad as it used to be, but it's it's very prevalent around here. <clears throat> Springy, R RDR2 proved that Rockstar's writing quality is in RDR, not GTA anymore. Um, I don't... how... why would you say that? Uh, they go on because to say GTA 5 had too. great characters but terrible story, make GTA 6 to appease fans and focus on expanding their RDR universe. Mm, terrible, mm, and also I think GTA is a much better universe to build upon because it's just... Western is just more limited than just a contemporary setting. It just is. There's less places it can be set. Um, less new technology that you can lean into in terms of weapons and vehicles and stuff like that. Um, and of course, because GTA has more of a... Each story is its own individual thing, whereas 1 and 2 for Red Dead Redemption are, like, deeply connected. Um, I think they both have value. I think they both have good story. It yeah. one's better. Uh, well, I mean, I think GTA 5 has a weaker story than Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2, but I don't see how that proves anything. One game. So, Red Dead Revolution, if that comes out and it's really well written, and then GTA 6 comes out and it's badly written, will that be enough for Red you? Red Dead Revelation. Uh, I don't know yet. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. EFAP movies classics, The Lion in Winter, uh, Anthony Hopkins, Peter O'Toole, and Catherine Hepburn fight over who gets to be the next King of England. Watch it, you massives. No, Catherine Hepburn, I like her. I like Anthony Hopkins, he's pretty neat. I appreciate you calling me a massive, that's kind of offensive. If Jared cleaned his room, he would have been melted, or EFAP would have been melted. Damn. That's I mean, yeah. true, that's very true. A message to Fringy, the number one EFAP host of all time, with a close second being Wolf. Wow. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Me and Rags will just go and make our own show. Yeah. Black EFAP 2. Cookies. Every poop of fart. <laughs> EPAF. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you a lot for your video on- oh, thank you a lot for your video on 12 Angry Men. I've never heard of it until I saw your video and it's easily become my favorite. Love you all. Oh, cool. Thanks. I'm video glad you video. I, I think they mean favorite movie, I, I think. Uh, and yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, that's cool. I, we've cited it for a while on EFAP as just being like, it's just, it's really fucking hard to find any flaw in that film. It's, it's, yeah, it's, um, it does what it does incredibly well. Yeah, I definitely mm. would go watch it. It's a good one. Yep. It's one of those ones good. where, when I was a young man, there's there's a couple in this selection, but where where I hadn't seen them already, and I was told these are these are classic movies, and I finally watched them, and then I go, yeah, I can see why. Well, for me, that was Citizen Kane. When I rewatched, when I watched that for the first time, it's like, oh, it's a great film. Like it's great. I can see why people think it's so good. Oh, I assume is... did Twelve Angry Men not qualify for that as well, or? I think Twelve Angry Men qualifies if you haven't seen it. It's just one of those great classics. Yeah. For sure. 
Um, the thing is another one of them for me. I was like, why everyone oh, so yeah. so floopy about this? And I was like, oh, that's why. Um, hey, Fring, you just saw your Twelve Angry Men video. Now that's some good rat. Oh, thanks. It is. Uh, U.S. has 29 of the top 50 universities in the world. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. How many does Australia I think have? Well, I, I, they I'm they sure don't I have any. Just... They just sit around in their hats with the little corks dangling down on them Damn. and hop around in their kangaroos. Damn. Bring you offended? Not really. I'm just looking up the list of the, the ones <laughs> by rank. But I said that, like, vast majority of US univ Australian universities are in like the top 1%, which is accurate. Don't even have internet connection down there. <laughs> are we talking to him? Huh? Are He's yelling. Oh. He's <laughs> yelling yeah, really loud. Um, because yeah, I, that doesn't surprise me that a lot of them would be in the US, because all the Ivy League ones would count. Um, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's the Australian National University there. Um, I, I mean, I've just searched on the top 100, and like, there are 11 of them are in Australia for a country that's only got 20 million people. I guess he wanted yeah, to... look at that. Yeah. Well, if they're so smart, how come a lot of them have died? If they're so smart, how come they live in Australia? Oof. Oh, yeah. Where they can get eaten by spiders. And uh, you know what? He's, he's not saying anything in response to it, so... Where shipping costs so much money? Shipping? Ah. It doesn't, but... It doesn't. Why? What? Because you're so far costs... away, getting everything over there is just a hassle. Dude! I mean... I know I was chatting with a UPS guy just the other day, and he said, you know what? I love this job, with the one exception being Australia. <laughs> I just hate... I hate every time I have to drive to Australia. It takes fucking forever. And it's just, it makes me want to quit. Yeah, they have to use I the sky don't... bridges, don't they? Ridiculous. Yeah, the I just don't want to, those, those long tunnels under the ocean that they have to drive there to, which are actually just curves that lead you back to Europe because Australia isn't real. Because, man, I hate using those. It's just a boring trip. And, I don't know, if the rest of the job wasn't so great, I'd quit. We always give the new guys Australia duty. Yeah. And just no pushbacks, so you just know. What do you say to all that? I mean, what can you say? What can you say, yeah. I mean, you, you know, you're entitled to whatever incorrect opinion. No, no, that was him. Can... That was him saying that. That, that was my Yeah, but you were expressing it there. and concurring with it. So it is your opinion, too. And he, it's, he seems very adamant about Australia duty being kind of crap. Yeah, I think Stop saying we, him when we know that it was well, you. We will, we will, will side, we will side with the UPS man until... There was, until... No, there was no UPS man, do you understand? I don't know why he delusion. is taking a poop on the working class. I was going to say, Fringy, why don't you believe in their experience. In UPS workers? It's just interesting Believe that in you, women, that's his lived experience. You're relaying this story about the UPS man who clearly is a figment of your imagination. He isn't, wow. he's real. UPS wow, workers suffer he's, every now day. He is, yeah, I feel like you're you, you are dismissing the plight of oh, the UPS men on Australia UPS duty. Men? Yeah, made up. No, the, UPS is real. They, they really are real. And everything. Yeah, they got offices and uniforms and they are they are all real people. I, I think they are valid, just like we are. Yeah, they you are might real people. Real sometimes because you're in Australia, UPS, man. And I, and I think it's fair for us to agree there with this are UPS, UPS men, perspective. But I'm saying that the UPS man that Rags talked to is obviously not real. Rags was standing there in the doorway talking to himself, and the neighbors were walking you past. You don't stand like, in doorways. Oh, I, don't, I don't stand in doorways. Rags. There's I old Rags in... talking to himself again. <laughs> oh, no. Open. You stand in doorways. Of all the people who stand in doorways, I'm not amongst them. I I make sure that I don't stand now look, in doorways. Rags, some of your neighbors let you know, me who know stands about in the problem, doorways, right? And assholes. you know they're getting worried about assholes you, Assholes okay? stand in they're doorways. Really doorways are openings in the walls that are used really for the transversal through those walls. It's, it's, it's an architectural structure that was not designed for you to not egress and regress through them. 
I agree. Doorways, people. That's of all the people of the problem, in, right? in, you don't stand in doorways. I, you're getting very people defensive. People use that in and, and out of buildings from you one know, room the first, to the other. Don't be there. To accept it, all right? The first stage is to accept that you have a problem. A problem not standing in doorways? A problem of That's speaking not a problem. Like UPS people. Why do you no, hate UPS people so me. much? I don't yeah, know why you... I don't get Fringy's hatred of the UPS. That, this sounds like a bit of projection going on here. You assume... I think you're gaslighting. You're gaslighting us. Well, so that's what Fringy's weird doing. It's weird that you assume that, that believing that there are fictional people that somebody's speaking to means that you hate the real people. That's a jump. That's you a must. big old jump. You must. Like this Lego person's jumping. I feel I like that says more about you than it does about me. Well, no, we're, we're all here witnessing it together. Yeah, I know we're witnessing it. It's really distressing. For instance, how many people have seen UPS men, but how many people have seen Australia? Hmm. How many people point? have seen actual Make existing UPS men? Probably a lot, but I don't know about the UPS man that you were talking to. And yet nobody has seen Australia. Makes you and wonder. Yet, yet really makes you wonder. Really weird because your neighbors said that they saw you speaking to this non-existent UPS man. They're, they're that worried sounds like about an it. odd thing that they could confirm if it was a non-existent person well, who they knew. What do you mean hard to confirm? You were like, oh, hey, UPS man, how you doing? Oh, No, thanks. I did. I, I called him by his name. It, it does sound weird. It's like, did, was there a UPS man? They go, definitely not. It's like, do they just know that? Like, yeah. Were they watching they're, they're Rags the whole not. time? No, they were just, you know, they they didn't tell me the circumstances in which they saw this happen. Or only... Or hmm. only Suspicious. I, I mean, it is suspicious to talk to people who don't so, exist. So my neighbor, anyway. what's his name? He would rather not have that disclosed what's publicly. Like? Which is interesting, because I only have one neighbor, and it's a woman. Oh. <laughs> now <laughs> now just... who's the fraud? Oh, you got red, I like how you when I refer to them as he, or anything <laughs> like that, that I am definitely confirming. You might, they might have just told me to say otherwise. I'm not going to confirm. <laughs> You can't, you can discover your lies in real time. You said might. Might what? Like, like as if you're, you're conferring with yourself on what lies you're gonna go with. <laughs> like, you <laughs> nothing of this sort. You must, you must, you, you, you should check with the frog council. And they will <laughs> tell you frog what council. lies to say. Oh, you must go, oh mighty frog council. Oh council of frogs. Tell me, what must I say? Where are the Council of Frogs? I don't know. You gotta go find you them. Should, you don't know. Oof. I don't know. I say, that's not really our thing. Exist. Curious. The Frog Council. Hippity hoppity. Get off my property. I feel like hippity hoppity would be more for rabbits. It'd be like ribbit would be ribbity rubity. That's, well, that's the sound they make. That's not the action they take. <laughs> It is the action. Ribbity Rubity is an action in and of itself. Fringy is essentially is pulling the it's not racist, they talk like that card. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I pulled the it's the thing that they do card, like an action. Man, the amount of justifications <laughs> I've heard under the, under the banner of it's the thing they do. So when you describe <laughs> them as hippity hoppity, that's okay. But when oh, you say, say it again, no, that, <laughs> dude, I don't want to get that's banned. Like, please me. stop saying it. That's <laughs> their that's their motto. It's written on their logo. Is hippity hoppity? No, again, it's my ribbity problem. rubity. That's the motto. I would know better. You tell me that I confer with them all the time. <laughs> no, I said you should. You are telling me like all this? That's right. So you should confer with the Frog that Council. You know nothing about. They are wise. The Frog Council is wise. Yeah, Rags is paying respect to the Frog Council. Can the you at least acknowledge they that? They are wise, and that's why they would tell me that you're wrong when you do the, the, the hippity-hoppity. It's ribbity rubity It's fun to see these sentences be constructed as we go. Mm. <laughs> anyway, what's the next super Well, chat? to go back to the UPS story, it wouldn't even matter if Rags had made that person no, up. No, because no, you, were saying, you, <laughs> you were saying that... Um, but it's he, already he's uh he's ta he's clearly his opinion, not the UPS one. It's like, well, why wouldn't Rex have that opinion if he's not been presented anything yeah, to c counter is, it? If, the thing I is, mean, though, is he seemed he, very fervent, and on all the other UPS pe persons, because they were of varying genders and heights, they all three. nodded in agreement as hmm. he spoke. The council, UPS men, the UPS council, yeah. 
Okay, I mean, if you want to, if you want to settle into these paranoid delusions, that's okay. But and then when I was I at the U when I was at the UPS office and I I told them a joke and they were laughing so hard they were shipping themselves. You think you just hang out with UPS <laughs> people all the time? Just hanging out all the time with the UPS people. Well, but you were saying like, yeah, oh, this is just right, this is just your opinion. And it's like, well, Rags will adopt the opinion of the best uh, sort of so authority the at the time. He just keeps relaying his opinion through the UPS man. It's like a deflection tactic. Like but, it's not me saying it. It's the but like, UPS would... man. He agrees with it all. But that's like a pivot because you're not addressing the argument. You're just saying it came from someone else. It's like, well, it even if it right. did or didn't, Rags is adopting it because it is the most informed one well, that he's come across. So, oh. be more honest that it's your opinion rather than pretending also, like. Oh, here's the thing: it is my opinion, but it's not just my opinion. Well, stop relaying it through the UPS man, then. Just say what you think. Stop no, I've got a reference. But I think it's more helpful if he friends. says where it came from instead of just saying it. Not really. It doesn't matter where it came from. All that I, matters I was is interested how... in where it came from. I was happy to know it was a UPS man that informed Rags of this. I I'm not, and that's just <laughs> as valid. So Australia. I think isn't... that things that don't that that don't match with reality aren't as valid, but I think UPS matches with reality, and Australia. We're just going to put a question mark on that for now. Yeah, I've seen many, many UPS uh, persons. I've never seen any Australias. I don't think anyone has. Except for all the people who live here. How convenient. Uh, well, that's convenient. Yeah. And it's not at all convenient that Rags just says what his who his neighbor is, and we all just accept it to be true. <laughs> I mean, well, Rags would know. It to be true, <laughs> but... That's one person versus millions. And you know what? That's Allegedly a millions. Yeah, allegedly neighbor. Wait, but you even said he like had one, a neighbor. I feel like, I feel I like a neighbor, neighbor is more believable than a fake continent full of people <laughs> who don't exist. I feel like those two things are really different. No, it's okay if you wanna. If you wanna, just if that's if that's what you think, you know, I can't stop you. Well, but you should get some help. Uh, that's... <laughs> You know, at least I've got lots of friends at the UPS that uh, can help me. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, they sure. They already shipped it all themselves. It just uh, so if, well, no, I do need help lonely. when I want to ship things long distances, and so I have the UPS guys there who help me out. Mm. I can't ship it myself. I probably could, but that would just be that's just a vacation with extra luggage. <laughs> that's really what it is. <laughs> that would what that would be what it is for me. I'm going to I'm going to Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm taking this backpack and this cardboard box with me. <laughs> That's I'm the great thing about UPS. I'm going to Jimmy Bob's house. They deliver stuff for you. Uh, well, I just, I just I wouldn't have any trouble believing that Rags spoke to a UPS guy. It, just, it seems to me like perfectly reasonable. People reasonable. do it all the time. If Rags had said, it's a very however, mundane claim. That's there's the this thing. whole other country that I live in that you've never heard of. I'd be like, okay. That doesn't exist, and it's not on any map, and there are no photographs of it. And only people it's who have just... apparently lived there know about it. It's like, uh-huh. Hmm. It's, it's, it, this is, you know what this sounds like? This sounds like, oh, I have a girlfriend, but she goes to another school, so you can't really... <laughs> She's super hot, though. I guess I just find it weird that, that, that they would be ganging up on a minority here. So, that's not... Well, well, yeah, Australians are a minority because they don't I, exist. It's just really, really wrong. Yeah, I feel it's, like it's all four of us are minorities, judging from the avatars. The There's group. zero of them. We do, like a, we do look like a gaggle <laughs> of minorities, don't we? <laughs> That's what a group of minorities is called, a gaggle. Less threatening than murder. A murder of, a murder of minorities. <laughs> Um. Wow, someone in chat saying you're spouting frogist language. Oh wow, Fringy. Yeah. Um, I was born with a cleft lip and palate. My smell is non-existent and my taste is minimal. I would take it over uh, color blindness. Hmm. Wait, you were born that way? Uh, yes. Oh, Fringy's gotta be commenting on the way people were born again. Uh, there we go. It's just like the frog thing all over. I guess it's the thing, if you were born that way, you don't know what you... 
don't have, right? I suppose they would be one of the better authorities, because they yeah. can they can definitely imagine what it would be like to not see color through. We can simulate that, right? Mm -hmm. I suppose we could simulate not being able to taste. Maybe. Yeah, we do need to smash our face pretty, on the Pretty tank. good. Yeah, you can... <laughs> yeah, you can see... <laughs> you can sever the nerve. <laughs> I would simulate it. Hmm. Ray severed more than that nerve, lady. Um, and that was the other clarification I wanted to give you. Yeah, like, I need to experience both of these to really give... Because it's just hard to... I'm not 100%, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, snakes. Oh, giant boss snake. Huh. Oh, boy. Can I just not fight mm. it? Let's give it a little treat. So it can go away. Oh, it killed me. That's unacceptable. Jurassic Park is actually Spielberg apologizing for the Twilight Zone movie incident. Him and John Landis were the ones playing God. The Twilight Zone movie incident. I feel like I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's referring to either. Um, but I know John Landis as well. The one playing God. Didn't he... Did Is he the guy who directed... Uh, uh, what's that? The Blues Brothers 2000? Yeah, he made a, he's behind a couple classics. Um, I can't remember what happened to him career-wise. Something went wrong, I think. I can't even fall, uh, fell off a roof? Or... I was, oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Torches, all right. Um, but maybe, maybe he did fall off a roof. I do not know. I don't know. Man, when you throw the I'm torch to the snake, it explodes. The... Good damn. And hey, there's no language barrier of me calling this a torch, because everyone calls this a torch. I call a flashlight like a flashlight? A torch. That, that's the one that can be confusing. I, I got a good old-fashioned torch right now. So, you have, so like, for instance, like the stick of wood with a thing attached to it that's mm -hmm. burning, are those also torches? Um, I would, if there's a better name for them, I would try and adopt it, but yeah, I'd probably call that a torch just until... I realized that was wrong. Is that right or wrong? Well, yeah, that's what we call them. We we call those torches, and then flashlights are flashlights. Oh yeah, I just meant like the difference between those and then like ones that are you know like so like a stick with with that on it and you light it versus one that's like built for that specific purpose. Do you know what I mean? Like it's crafted that way and you put stuff in it. Uh, mm -hmm. Like a know, like, tiki torch? Yeah, like torch versus. I, I was curious if they had different names. If they like deliberately built rather than you picked up a stick and put a thing on it. Or if the, the umbrella would, I term think is I would torch. just be making a torch. I mm -hmm. think that it's just the general term for like a handheld, not a lantern, but essentially a stick with a lit end that's on fire or flaming in some way. Um, I, those are just generally referred to as torches. And then we have flashlights, the electric ones with buttons. Yeah, we call um, them torches over here. We call them both. It's, it's literally just like... If someone says flashlight or torch, it's easy to understand, but it's, it's kind of interesting to think about how that would have transferred over time, you know? Yeah, you think that they would have just started calling flashlights something different. Yeah, because they're so distinctly different from the classic torch, but I guess there was enough people being like, holding a torch and a flashlight oh, at a, different times that they just called them all It's a handheld torches. source of light, so we'll yeah. just call them torches. Because it'd get really weird if you use yeah. the light function on a phone, and they're like, give me a torch. I'd be like, uh... Uh, oh god, yeah. I feel like we've taken this too far. Because I think what people call that is just like the flashlight app on the phone is generally what people call that here. Yeah, what I'm saying though is if someone said pass the flashlight when you're holding the flashlight operate like like app on the phone, I feel like that would be reasonable, but calling it a torch at that point yeah. is gonna be so far removed that people be like, huh? People might even say, like, just use the flashlight on your phone. Like, it's not even a thing. It's just a function that it fulfills. It's, Which... it, it is a flashlight that just fulfills that function. About six years ago, when I moved from an older phone to a newer one, I had to download the flashlight app, but now it's built in. They have yeah, it in the it little options thing, because, yeah, it's phone, just fucking... Yeah. That's a useful function. It a is mobile phone useful. replacing all kinds of tools. One big multi-tool. I remember when I first showed, uh, I think the power went out in my house like fucking more like a decade ago. My parents, I couldn't find where they'd left their flashlight, and I was like, no worry. I have a phone, and they were like, phone's not going to be bright enough, and I was like, <laughs> Oh, well. Oof. 
Time for you. You're in for it now. You old people to experience new technology. <laughs> they turn around, they're like, what the fuck? And you're like, yeah, I know, right? My eyes. <sighs> um, would you That's rather it. change it your nostrils into mouths or your mouth into a nostril? I'm going to change my nostrils into mouths. Yeah, probably. Because oh, mm. your mouth turning that into a nostril? Ooh, that sounds like one of the... That's like a good setup for a creepy creature, probably. Yeah, because I feel like a mouth can fulfill the role of a nostril way more... Well, way better than a nostril can fulfill the role of a mouth. You might be right. I don't know, there's probably some unforeseen circumstances going on here with, with both, but I think I would side with, with that logic first. Okay. Uh, thank you for recommending I Buffy, Mola. The show has some fantastic episodes. Season 5 is now my favorite season of any TV uh, show I've ever seen. Mola, Myrtle is trying to say something. That's well, funny. you can wait. <laughs> Keep up the faps and here is to many more. Also looking forward to more Batwoman. It is on the way. Oh yeah, you bet. There is a new episode. Batwoman is... Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. <gasps> Almost ready, so yeah, we'll be getting that soon. Oh my oh, god. I'm excited. I'm so very excited. And I'd, I'd be curious if the person who said this uh, is five your favorite after seeing all of Buffy and Angel, or is it just your favorite as of seeing that season? Either answer is fine, I'm just curious. Um, <clears throat> okay, Mel, what were you, what were you grumbling? What's, what's going on? Well, no, I, I just want to say I'm gonna, gonna peace out now. It's getting Ew. late, I have to work tomorrow, so... Oh! I'm gonna go oh. to Sleepyheimers now. Sleep uh, well. Okie dokie. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh. Yes, do not let your bottom be munched upon by the bed bugs. That's, I'll, that's what I try to do every single day. Good. That's, that's all I have to say. Okay, good night. Yeah, Bye. Bye. Yeah. See you later. Toodaloo. Goodbye. Lumble. Lumble. Goes. A hero. Off on his next adventure to Slumberland. It was that masked man. That crying, teary eyed Kraut. That's hey. his new name if he ever um, rebrands, like the, the crying Kraut. Why'd you say Don't hey? Is that not. offensive? Yeah. Is it? To who? Yeah. I think Mel would be endeared. Like, thank you. Yeah, I guess we'll never understand. know. I guess we won't. That's right. Um, just watched There Will Be Blood and loved it. What do you masters think of it if you've seen it? Uh, I haven't seen it now since I think it came out. Um, but I remember thinking it was really good. Maybe we should watch that sometime. Uh, hmm. Daniel Day Lewis is one of his most famous performances. Hmm. And that movie's all about oil. You guys like oil, right? I love oil. I like to uh, just roll around in it. Mm -hmm, I like mm -hmm. to lay down and slather myself up. Mm. Um, and just like with my clothes, well, my clothes are always off. It's odd that I would ever specify that. Just that's the, my default state. Um, because I'm a dog and whatnot. And glasses are not clothes, they're an accessory. Um, and I'll just roll around in it and I'll get all slathered up and I'll just I'll just run around and people don't people don't like that when I do that though. They think it's uh, they think it's really crude. They think it's unbecoming. <sighs> Sight is very important unless you have the force. I feel like it's still gonna be Pretty good with the force. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, chat. Thank you. Did you hear? Apparently, Thanos was controlling Loki to be evil in Avengers. There is a screenshot. <laughs> yeah. There is a screenshot. Come on. Article on it. Screen screen rant article on it. Sorry. Um, I would share, but YouTube won't let me. Yeah, we've um. We've talked about that before. So that's some of that third party rat conny bullshit, and we don't have to take it seriously at all. We can ignore the shit out of that. Mm -hmm. um, they bit really don't want him to be an evil bastard. Yeah, that's the only reason it's happening. It's like, you know what? He wasn't so bad after all, huh? <laughs> it's like, fuck off. 
I'm like, oh, but he actually was. What? <clears throat> See, my favorite He's... part of Loki was how nice and friendly he was. Specifically in 2012 cringe. Avengers movie. Such a friendly, friendly bro. Mm -hmm. Hi, Wags. Hello. Mola, fuck, marry, kill, fringy, froggo, fring daddy, G. Hmm. Um, I'll marry fringy. Don't really know oh, the. So, fring daddy, G, and froggo. I don't know what this. What, what are the elements of I, these two? That sounds like a name of someone like who could be in draw and in, involved in like drug. Wow. And so. Man, just but, based on the name. Yeah, it couldn't couldn't have just been like a friendly little rapper or someone who's just having some fun with names. Was, you know, Green, but I don't know. Oh, is that what he is? Is Fring Daddy G a rapper, or is that, I thought that was his gang name? Well, okay, so I don't want to kill any of these people, but if I'm gonna have to kill one of them and fuck one of them, I guess I I will kill the frog and then fuck Fring Daddy G because that's probably a person. I don't want to fuck a frog. And I think the frog, if I kill it, it's just going to go right out of its potential misery. I, I think you could kill two, you can do two birds with one stone. I think if you fucked the frog, you would kill it. Because it just depends on your approach. So then you just end up killing two people. Yeah, I, I, I would just, that's why I said kill the frog. We'll just, we'll just, yeah, you, you know, we'll get it done and... One, one just gets to go off and... It's one bird with two stones, is what, what that actually was. <laughs> <laughs> no, if if he counts as both, then that means that we have a third frog related character who is just he's just gets to continue going on. We've used up our three options. We essentially we have three stones of a kind and we've used two of them on one of those characters. One has been spared. I mean, I've already, I've already made my choices. I don't. Did you want to do, do your answers for this one, Rags? Or oh, yours sound great to me. All right, sweet. Uh, Ringy, fuck, marry, kill, Rags, Wags, and Rags is is. Hmm. Um, I think I'll get rid of Rags is just because it's going to be really tough to say that name. Um, <laughs> what were the other two? Rags and Wags. Yeah. Go fuck wags and marry rags. Any particular reason? That's um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have really a reason. All right. And the uh, the final one was meant for metal, but I'm just gonna switch it to rags because metal is currently unavailable. Uh, fuck marry kill metal mootle and coom. You, oh, Rags. Metal, right. Moodle, and Coom, it's for me? Mm-hmm. Mary, uh... Mary Metal. I feel like... I see, like... I, I feel like the natural response is to fuck Coom. But I don't know. We might want to kill Coom and then keep Moodle around. Especially if Coom is just a puddle. I feel like that could... Yeah, I, I feel like that would be a better use of our, um... Yeah, of our options here. Uh, one. Pheromones use different receptors than regular smells. Breaking nose won't stop perception. I mean reception. Uh, two. Yeah, are you perceived the pheromones? If you have synesthesia, would you rather lose hearing or color vision? I don't uh... know. Um... When you say if you had um, synesthesia... synesthesia is a neurological so synesthesia is a neurological condition in which information meant to simulate one of your senses stimulates several of your senses um, uh, let me get like maybe a example here a sound so hearing music and seeing colors in your mind is an example of synesthesia I don't so two is using colors to visualize specific numbers or letters of the alphabet. Is it so is this supposed to be normal or I don't or is that just the name for the mental thing that we do? Um so synesthesia means it's, it's 
like joined perception. Uh -huh. It can involve any of the senses. In the most common form, colored letters and numbers occurs when someone always sees a certain color in response to a certain letter of the alphabet or number. Right. Um. Um. But, I mean, if, if the question were simple is, would you rather lose color or hearing? Probably gonna lose color because I, I feel I'd like go, yeah, I'd lose color hearing for hearing yeah. quite a bit. Of uh, hearing is yeah, yeah. Even I though like color is very music. important to me, it is only an aspect of another sense. But yeah. hearing is too, yeah. That, hearing, that's too um, big. To... Would that affect your balance as well? My... Hearing, uh, not. Well, I don't you think get hearing would. Because I know, because your ears will determine, help determine your balance. Um, but th those aren't, uh, I don't think those are, I don't think those are related to hearing. I think those are specifically there for balance. I think you have two, I think in each ear you have like two cavities that have some liquid in it. And that's what your brain uses to determine your balance. Um, but oh, it would affect your balance if you lost sound in one ear. I, I don't know how true this is, I just know that ears and balance have something something going on. Um you this would, is a... you lose balance if you lost sound in one ear. Sorry, I just I got like a huge tangent, so um I got a comment on my video saying that I'm saying assume incorrectly because I say assume instead of assume. So fun fact, that's just like the Australian accent. <laughs> I mean yeah. It was... So so instead of just saying that, yeah, I pronounce this one word wrong, you've damned the entire accent to being I'm terrible? Well, at that point, it's not wrong anymore. It's a different accent. Well, first off, there isn't an Australia. Once again, we're... Nah, sorry. I, uh, I actually want to I actually want to engage with the subject for real. Um, <laughs> Like, the subject of, like, accents and... Because, um, yeah, the person said it was super Ash distracting well, and that I can change. Soon. But I don't... How far would you push that? In um, terms of how crazy can we get while also saying, well, that's just an well, accent. If SS becomes SH, like, I, I don't really see how that's, like, too much of a deviation that you can't understand what's being said. Yeah, that's not what Do I asked, though. you say H I'm instead of H? If there are limits. Um, I don't know that we could even say that there are limits. Um, like, what I'm asking is, would you ever see yourself in a position where you're like, yeah, I understand that your accent's possibly to blame, but you can do something about it. Um, I guess if, if it becomes to a point where I don't even understand the word that you're saying, but assume and assume, you know what I'm saying. Maybe he's dumb. Uh, I guess it's annoying because, like, because, um, yeah, the, the comment goes on to compare that to saying nuclear as, as opposed to nuclear. Um, which feels like a weird one to me because nuclear is wrong. You're switching the letters around. There's no, um, there's no difference in pronunciation. Could, well, could they say first assume that you are adding letters that aren't there? Am I adding letters, though? It's still A-S-S-U-M-E. Yeah. I'm just pronouncing S-S differently. And As that's S-H. Yeah, but couldn't you apply that to a lot of things, like letters that are silent? What's oh. the deal there? But there is no silent oh, letter. Yeah. No, but I'm saying, like, in instances where there's a silent letter, it's like, well, you're changing the pronunciation. You should be saying that H or it's something. Don't assume the E is silent. Is it silent though? Assume. Why yeah, is that last? Is why is that last word not an E at the end? It. It is an. Assume e, but it's silent. Why? Yeah. Is that an assume? Yeah. Like the, yeah, assume. Yeah, there's yeah, like an the e, e there silent. at the end. Yeah. I don't. I don't think that's silent. Uh, um. Um. Well, so he. Well, if something ends with an M, like come, it's like that. It's as opposed to assume. They have like a different pronunciation. Oh, okay, what about now. coom? Yeah, I guess that's an interesting one. <laughs> the, the E is the E is silent, but it modifies the sound of the U. That was the reason it's there. Okay. But it but it but it is silent itself. The E is silent. Need some assurance. Oh, I'm glad you put that in there. That's a good that's a good way to compare it. Assume and assurance, they both have an SS. Assurance? Yeah, do you say assurance? 
You could also if yeah, you that's are... the silver that's the silver bullet actually. Yeah, that's a good point. In chat, thanks. That's are... like a really good Is point. It a that's silver the silver bullet. bullet. If, you're, if you're Sean Connery, you could say I, I I assume. I think it is a silver an, bullet. A ship, Why would I need some assistance? Please. He can yeah, only do well, SH. Well, because yeah, because we're stuck in the world of language, so you know it's all made up. So what what are we yeah, doing no, with? Well, what are I know our... it's all made up. Um. Well, yeah, I so the the, technically that's the silver bullet. You can't lose, but like what? Right. You know, what are we doing? What are we adhering to? Um, I think the problem is it's complicated because of the way that like language develops. It's hard to say at what point that you're pronouncing it wrong and at what point it's just become a new way of saying things. Well, um, so an, um, an example, right? We've been, I've talked to you guys about this before, but um, the Welsh pronounce uh, year as year. So, as year? Yeah, so like I was yeah. I, I was born in the year ninety and you know and and the problem is that creates confusion for a lot of people listening. I wouldn't be wrong per se, but it's something I decided to stop saying. You can catch me like the transition was around twenty nineteen, I think, to twenty twenty, where I was just like trying to stop myself from saying it. I basically don't say it anymore. I always say year now. Um That yeah, was the year of the year. Yes, the year of the year. Um and that by the way, that was how people would be able to tell very quickly that I was Welsh. It was like the way you say right. you. Said you. Um, and so, the, like, if I was doing it in the interest of clarity, I suppose that that could. And I just would be curious, like, assume. I I I I know what you're saying. I imagine most people do, but I just How wonder. How do you if, say assume? Huh? Do you say assume or? I say assume. Yeah. I say assume. Right. The problem is That's I'm sitting here thinking of examples. Thing. Well, like, so, for instance, I wouldn't want you to stop say saying stupid. no, you know? Well, I guess the problem <laughs> is, like, I can see it in other things. Over here, we say stupid. People don't say stupid. They stay, they stay, <laughs> stay. They say stupid. That's how it's said. Yeah. They, they so, like, at that point, stupid, it, yeah. Yeah, so stupid. at that point, how, at, at that point, it's like, I don't know, man, like, incorrect or just that's the accent. Like, if, if, if you can see a similar pattern in a lot of different words, at some point, it stops becoming incorrect. That's just the way it's said. You yeah, know, I, I understand. I mean, um, I'm trying to think of when I would say that something's being said strictly incorrect rather than yeah. just an accent, though. Mm -hmm. Well, so, you know, like, a really harsh Welsh accent might, might end up saying, what are you doing? And it's like, what are you doing? Not, what are you doing? That's just fucking lazy. And if someone said, that's my accent, I'd be like, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> like, is it lazy or is it efficient? Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know if that is efficient. If most people are like, huh? What did you just say? Eh? What? What is that? Doctor. This man is oh, slurring. Rags, what, are good... what, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing that for? I just feel like sometimes it just complicates things. Because I want to... And then it makes me think. Is it, wanna... is it the awareness of the uh, the accent from the rest of the world that makes it more or less uh, correct? Maybe. But I don't think I've ever been told well, ever that I've said assume wrong. This well, that's like the thing. You never would have been told that. that if your audience was exclusively Australian. Like that would. Yes. Confirmed. I guess it's, it's just. Um... But then again, he said. I I hear so many YouTubers say this, and it's like. Oh, all right, Australian. So it's just... <laughs> well, that's the question. Um, and apparently the examples were escape, um, and nuclear. I do, who says escape incorrectly? I was going to say, say what, is, what does it mean to say that incorrectly? People, escape, some is people it? Say escape. Some people say es escape. escape. But why would it be escape? It's E-S-C. It's the same reason ah. that people... It, it, I think it's just one of those... You know, like how, um... I think it's just a habit that people Maybe, form. yeah. Well, see, because that was the interesting, oh, you know, like, um, espresso like, versus espresso. Yes. Like, that's one that I think we're all comfortable being, like, you're doing it wrong. But if someone went, like, oh, yeah, that's my accent. Espresso <laughs> is the drink. Espresso is what you call Italians talking. Oh, like, espresso, the, okay, right, like, a, like, if you were getting a coffee, that's a common that's an one espresso. for mispronunciation, yeah. And there's, there's a lot of right. ones like that, but then, I don't know, if someone was just like, no, it's just the well, way that I speak. Thank I mean, you, how do you, well, that. here's one for you. How do you pronounce library? Library. library. Yeah, some people say library. Lib oh, I thought you were um, going to say some somebody, people call it library. Oh, some people do say library, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I guess they need, to go, they need to go to, 
those are the people who need to go to a library. But that's what I mean, is like, library and library, I feel like I can accept both of these. Um, whereas I wouldn't accept library because... I think that was just... library, 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 li like it happened naturally. Stop saying it now, yeah. it's not a real word. Oh. The library is obviously, that's the correct one. Um, but a lot of people just say library. And I don't, I can't So mix someone that who works there is a else. librarian? Well, that's the issue, right? Is that once it starts becoming like the words that are attached to it... Li yeah, you're right, because it's a librarian, but... I don't know that that's um, a problem, like, the... It, if well, you were to extend it out. Word, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there are, there are words where, like, the name that describes what you do sounds different to what the name of the thing itself is. Um... I guess my only frustration is just being told that it's wrong. It's like, mm. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you can say that it's wrong to say that. Like, if somebody says stupid, it's like, oh, you're saying it wrong, it's stupid. I've been told that I say it wrong when I say stupid. So, like, at this point, what do you do? Like, which Those one do you pick? What's that? Those people are stupid. Stupid. I like stupid. We say stupid here. I yeah, tend I feel, to say, I feel like stupid, I say stupid now. stupid when... There's gonna be a certain circumstance yeah. where I say that, yeah. I think I yeah, lean no more towards saying that. stupid, but I think that's just the nature of watching so much like American stupid. content. Stupid. But people say stupid. That's how they say it here. Um. I was, I was imagining it in my head a little differently. They're like stupid with a U and then stupid with two O's. Stupid. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Was stupid. 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 What have we learned from all this? Um, don't, don't comment people's videos telling them that their accent is wrong. <laughs> that, like, that might be, I guess that might be We need one. to be better at identifying when it's a different in, difference in accent and then a misunderstanding of how a word yeah. is pronounced. Mm hmm And I guess that would be the big thing. I would only say that it's worth commenting on if, like, it actually becomes difficult for you to understand what somebody's saying. If you just don't like the way it sounds, that's one thing. But could you Maybe. say that about somebody who says a little instead of little or little? Little. Yeah, little. like... Are they wrong, or is that an accent? And what the about the whole, um, What about the whole ask tuning into ax thing? Oh, ax. Yeah, yeah but question. the problem is you've changed the word, because there is a word called ax, and it's not ask. Like, you've just... You've changed the word. Um, Can that ax you something? You're saying the incorrect word at that point. But, well, so I mean, we have lots of words that mean different things, different contexts, so, right? So, yeah, definitely. What is what is the, the word? Yeah, I guess. Um, but I mean, like when people say anything, you know, or free instead of three, that's a that's a blurry one for me. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Is that again? Are we in the territory what? of accent versus lazy? I think I think that's the reason why I don't know how I feel about it because it is an accent that people say free instead of three. Or, um, and I guess the problem is when you say free, it's like, well, free is a word, and it's not three, so... <laughs> that is definitely you know, an accent one, though. They, they do it for a It is an right? accent like one, yeah. Threshold. Well, yeah, because they say anything. Mother. 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 Yeah, exactly. Do we father? Uh, do we? Well, that's that. We learned something today. <laughs> Leave Fringy alone. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it's something. <laughs> uh, you guys thinking of that. talking about the new yeah. He-Man? Or was there no. anything else you want to say? Or... Not really. <laughs> I, I'm not watching it. Fuck that. Nope. So I, just, I don't really care. Uh, there are there are many reasons. Like, I am not going to pretend to be a fan of E-Man. Uh, uh, He-Man. Sorry, not E-Man. Uh, E-Man. Fucking E-Man. Uh, I, I just love Skeletor. I think he's great. I, I would love yeah. to have... He's funny. Just, yeah, he's, he's a good lad. Um, though, like, my... I don't know, my perception of He-Man is just like, yes, yeah, chill. It's just a fantasy show with a big, strong guy, and they called him He-Man, because, I mean, get across quite a way. That he's just, yeah, he's just a big old muscly dude with a sword, and he's going to beat you up. Well, beat up bad guys. And then I saw that clip, or one of many clips, the kind of thing they do in that show where it's like, honesty is great. Sort of stuff like that. 
be just like, oh, good old-fashioned values you'll probably get out of watching a show like that. It's like, lying doesn't help. Lying doesn't pay. <laughs> Something like you mean that. toxic Western capitalist propaganda? Well, these days you got to be more interested than that. you got to be like, lying doesn't pay. Most of the time. What? Except when it does. Bum, which bum, is bum. never. Now I know, knowing it's half the battle. G.I. Joe! Yeah, that kind of thing. And, uh... Um, bum, I guess, um, so yeah, I, I'm like, thumbs up to that. And then I find out, this is what I mean, out of context, it's so funny. It's like, you know that old, sh old IP? They've made a new version, and the main character has been completely fucking ruined, if not just humiliated and murdered. Someone else has taken over the whole show, and like, the creators of it are angry that the fans don't like it. <laughs> You're just like, really? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, who could have foreseen this? Could you maybe be more specific? And you're like, oh, it's a beloved IP. You're like, yeah, I get it. more specific. It's like it's from a while ago. Like, yeah, again, I'm. I'm still it's on. called He-Man. It was culturally influential. Many fans. Like, yeah, keep going. So um, yeah, I and so for that, like, I I don't need to be made upset about a thing that I didn't even know about in terms of its original thing. Like, I don't know. There's just no reason for me to really get involved in that one. Like, if Rags was a huge fan of the original He-Man show, I'd consider it and everything. I'd be like, I'll be along for the ride, but if, if none of us are, i think like, well, we'll probably leave it. There will be no ride. Because it was a surprise. Rides are cancelled. Uh, when we had the lads on for the uh, the Loki fab, that Shad was like, look what they've done to my boy. And we were like, oh shit, you're like a He-Man fan? He was like, yes. <gasps> so we were like, oh, oh no. Because, you know, when, you, when you're not invested, it's very easy to just be like, well... See you for the next thing they ruin. But, uh, you know, give it time. They'll come for... Th th there's no nobody who likes media escapes this. It's going to come for something you like. Well, if you like it and it's popular, they'll come for it. Even the non-popular ones are, you know... Oh, yeah, apparently, uh, Bob o uh, Odenkirk is, uh, he's going to be okay. Good. That's what his brother said, anyway, I think. I assume, since his last name is the same thing. That's good news. Yeah. Uh, for, for those without context, you collapsed on set, it right? collapsed. Yeah, on set yesterday. Had to go to hospital. Um, uh, oh, and also in the news, apparently um, astronomers have seen the back of a black hole for the first time, which proved that Albert Einstein was right about uh, how black holes behave. Good old Albert. They, they, they warp the this fabric of space. Naughty. Um, so yeah, it proves apparently that proves the general the, the theory of general relativity correct. I always said we could rely on that Albert. Yeah, he had a lot of um, lot he of had a, a lot of good ideas. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, this is a direct observation that like. Because there was no way to observe it until now. That's cool. Good job, <clears throat> Alby. You get a thumbs up from me, a person who's not as smart as you and not as important as you and whose opinion doesn't matter on this subject. Yeah, I, th I think he appreciated the everyman, you know. He, he was... Yeah, he probably did. He I know a, a lot of the time when I see the back of someone, I know it's generally my relative. I don't know what to think about that. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, that's a. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that one here, mm -hmm. and people can make of that with. Uh, Rags, Gringo, Mola should do a co op of Divinity 2. How many of us? Uh, they said Rags, Fringy, and me, I guess. Rags, Fringy, and. Oh, I guess three. Um, maybe sometime. I don't know. It takes. Um, I don't know. Uh, hmm. All right then. There's a I I found a bunch of like co-op horror games on Steam, that would probably be really good for um EFAP games at some point. Some of them look very silly and like fun, and you have to do tasks in a house, and there's a spooky ghost and stuff like that. We we do some of those, and we also have that one, uh, Phasmophobia. Is that what the one you uh, had earlier? Yeah, we never got around to that. I assume it's we, we, only we, getting yeah, better we with still time. Got it. So. Yeah, I assume so too. 
So, but that and that's always an option for us to uh, to do as well. Okay, Legoman, I need you to stay on the platform. Okay, no, I don't. Still, I'm still annoyed they didn't let me do it that way. Okay. Choice. I deserve more of it in my video games. Otherwise, I'll be very upset. There's the key I need. I free long man, Mr. Metal, and I guess high rags. Hello. Hello. Um, are any of you familiar with the Foundation series by Isaac Asimov and its upcoming adaptation on iTunes? If so, any thoughts? Uh, yes, I am familiar with the uh, Foundation uh, series. There's quite a bit of them. I read the first, like, two or three. Um, but is, if by adaptation... I like like a like a show that would be a very interesting show to make and I would be because it's not a it's not the usual story you get because of its scale and the the time jumps that occur often um uh I'm not saying you can't do it but I feel like it, if it's a show, it would it would work far better as a show than as a movie, because it covers such a broad swath of different events and time periods. But I just don't have faith in anyone who makes media now, uh, just in general, uh, to to wow. take something like the Foundation series and turn it into a show that what about is James of Gunn? quality. So it says they're combining a ton of stories together to make one story. That's that's like basically what the foundation books are essentially um uh starts off with harry selden and you know, it sets up the rest of the stories of the novels and the scale of the empire of humanity and the wars that result uh, you know that come from that and um the i forget his name but the guy who created a religion that was based around basically trade and being a merchant and all kinds of interesting sorts of stuff and it's just, i i don't know that's all that's a lot of shit to adapt there's a lot of characters and there's a lot of stories and content in there that that and and i don't know good luck but i don't know if you're going to be able to do it in fact I, i'm almost certain you won't be able to all right yeah i don't know anything about it Um, why EFAP is wrong about Pokemon, a measured response, and why Rags is objectively the big gay, Smug Ross. Also, hi, Rags. Oh my goodness. Hello. Um, also, Longman, Very stream beautiful. Bioshock 2, please. Perhaps. Big gay Perhaps. Big gay Pokemon. Icon. I've heard a lot of people warn me that Bioshock 2 Remaster is, like, broken as fuck. Need to give it a give it a local play before streaming it to see if if the the concerns are uh, well realized. Don't know. Mutually, please play Sekiro and stream slash record. Um, maybe maybe at some point. I am not averse to the idea. I will say. I hope for the best for June. I was a huge fan of Frank Herbert's books, but I'm afraid it's doomed. Oh, I guess they it's mean Dune. Dune. Is is Frank Herbert and the Dune one who wrote is... Dune? Yes. That's kind of a, another one in difference in pronunciation. Dune versus Dune. You know? What's that? The pronunciation of, of that new sci-fi movie that's coming out. You could go with Dune, Dune or, or Dune. Or Dune. Or June, yeah. Or June. June, yeah. June and Dune. I guess that's why they well, said June. Okay. Yeah. And Moon? Say, would you say, say Mune? June? Mune. Look at the Mune up there. The Mune. I guess it would have to be Dune, right? If, um, if it were, like, the strictly correct Dune. Dune? I th I, I'm trying to think of what or I actually done. say now, because so many of them have been said, I'm starting to wonder what I even say. I think I say Dune. I think I say Dune. Yeah. Yeah, you should, or else you're a... You're a Loon. Whoa. People saying June, really, but yeah, most Australians would say June. 
They already they yeah. should know that. Why wouldn't they know that? The boon. What's that, sir? Me old Oh, it's just there are people in chat who are saying like that. That's I'm saying they should June, know that. Really? Like yeah. that that's how it would be done, yeah. June. Mm -hmm. Yep. Carl June. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Won't be saying her name anymore. Nope, she is out of here. She might have ended up with her own TV show, but uh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Twitter. Huh. Twitter has its ways. She'll earn a doubloon. Nice. Um. Wait, what is what does W Y R stand for? No idea. W Y R we're. Like it's in capitals. I assumed it standard for. Would you design. rather? Oh, that's it. Yeah. So, would you rather be stranded in the middle of the ocean or a hot desert? Uh, in the ocean, you wear a vest. In the desert, you have one bottle of water. I feel like I'm desert. dead both ways. Wait, what Easily was the desert. Desert or? Um. Easily desert. Not even close. What's what's well Hold on. before you um give your reasoning rise, the only thing I'd have to say about this is I assume I'm dead in both, and then my mind goes to which death would I prefer, dehydration or drowning? I feel like drowning's gonna be superior. I'm not sure. I don't know. Drowning is I'm... like one of the worst well, wait. ways. I don't know if did you have different logic ranks? So I'm I'm definitely not going with uh, you die either way. Um, the reason I'm picking desert is because I think it's far more survivable. Um, and I don't think you will drown in the ocean unless you choose to in that sense. Um, but in, in the ocean, if, if we're talking the middle of the ocean, you will not be found. Um, That's true, but if you were in the middle of the Sahara, your chances are pretty slim. Sahara, with the bottle of water, it's slim. And I Very think you have more slim. control. It is, yeah. Um, it's definitely slim. But I feel with a bottle of water, it's not much. But at least I feel like you have more agency and more ability to uh, help yourself. Uh, you can but tell what directions which. At this point, are you not you just in denial of your own death? Like, you're just kind no. of in denial, I think. No, 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 no. Uh, part, so part of survival, a positive mental attitude and a willingness to go <laughs> on is a huge... No, like, I'm dead serious. I know you are. Um, I, uh, admittedly, there are a, a few points I to do, make. As somebody has said, wait, you don't drown unless you choose to, question mark. That's a good question mark because you no, can't no, no. If you have a life forever. vest. Oh. It's, it's if, life vest. You have a life wait, vest. Wait, was that the parameter? That you had a life yeah. vest? Yeah. Yeah. Was, oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, then you, you, you won't. Um, it, yeah, you'll be okay for a while with a life vest. Yeah, so in sure, a, if, we're, um, if we're avoiding death as best possible, then dehydration is probably the way you die in both scenarios. Um, um yes. Yeah, probably. But uh, you have the I, option in the ocean to just drown yourself, obviously. To put your head under the water and just, or take well, off your vest and just end it. You know, I, th I think that's a fucking fair option if you really, if you're facing down dehydration. Mm, yeah. Um... I, I don't know. It's the problem is when I think about because I've accepted in both scenarios that I'm dead, so I'm choosing between dehydration or drowning, and I don't know which one's worse. Yeah, and, and to clarify, um, the reason I'm... I'm laughing at the whole positive attitude thing is just like, uh, if you you could say that about like every scenario ever that it'd be helpful to have a positive attitude. I just, um, it's I don't think a positive thing, attitude when, is gonna in... help you. Yeah, well, like if I'm ejected uh, in... into the vacuum of space, like make sure you have a positive I mean, survival yeah, attitude. Yeah, in that in that sense, but. If you are in a desert, then you have time to formulate a plan. You have surroundings. Have you have things that are around you. You can, but I think you are ex you're far more limited with what you can actually do. Um, I don't know. I feel like stuck in Definitely. the middle of the water or stuck in the middle of a fucking desert. It's like neither of them grant me much autonomy in any meaningful sense. I think uh, that I mean, if you I mean, were in a desert, I'm curious, you're what thinking, would, there um, are things to eat, there is stuff to, that you can do, things what there desert? is a direction. What desert? What desert? We need to make the parameters clear well, because yeah, it cause... depends on which desert we pick, what my choice would be. If you're like the middle of the Gobi Desert, it's like, well, that's a bit different. 
but the middle of the Sahara, it's like, I don't know, maybe just drop me in the water. I don't know if I want to deal with that. <laughs> like, I'll def I'll, I will definitely take my chances uh, in a desert, like, uh, trying to again, survive, with, hoping that someone please, spots me which and sees desert? me. Which desert? Because that is an important thing. Well, so if, let's if just, you say, like, I'll make the parameters you're in the middle of just, it's just sand. There's nothing else. It's just sand everywhere? Yeah, but how far is the next nearest city? Well, so I'm assuming the spirit of the question okay. involves the we ain't getting out of... Well, maybe that, that ruins the question. Well, I guess the problem is like... Well, couldn't, you, couldn't you just say, like, where's the nearest I ship? Like they just ask, which, why would you rather die? Which way well, would you rather no, die? Because, Honestly, that's where I've skipped to, because I figured that that's what we're talking about. But Well, if, sure, but I guess um, if, if we were to say, like, the middle of the Pacific Ocean, because it's the biggest ocean in the world, it's like the middle. We, we would put you smack bang in the middle versus the middle of the Sahara. It's like, even that's kind of unfair, because the Sahara just isn't as big. Um, I, think that's, if we yeah, had I think that's one of the things that influences the answer. Well, well but... The, the Sahara is meaningfully big enough that if you were put in the middle of it, you're fucked. You're, you're done. Like, there, there's nothing nearby. It's empty. Well, I don't, I don't know what the routes through the Sahara are. There are not many routes through the Sahara. There are, like, three roads that run through it. And if you pull up Google Maps, you can see that there's a big chunk in the middle that's got no roads at all. There's just no roads. There are three roads. Um, or four. There are four. One through Egypt... Um, a couple out of Algeria and one through Mauritania, and that's it. That's all you got. Um, so yeah, I guess at that point you are just choosing how to die, and it's like, would I rather, st st like, die of, uh, dehydration or drown? I'm not, I'm not a fan um, of this choice by any measure, but I think I would have to no. convince myself to drown myself, because that's going to be the quickest one. Ah, uh, I don't know, though. Drowning really, I don't... I don't, I don't know. I don't know, just cooking under the sun for, and that's in both scenarios. Yeah, but I feel like that might even kill you quicker. Like, you'll be dead in a couple of days. How is that quicker? Well, I guess the problem is, what does it mean to let yourself drown? How will you let yourself Can, drown? Once you, you put start yourself asking... in a scenario where you can't save yourself. Yeah, so you'd like in hold your earth? breath, go as deep as possible, then let go, so that even if you decide mid drown that I'm not going to do this, you can't not do it. You're done. Hmm. Depends on how far down you can swim in that time, though, doesn't it? If you if you exhale and just go down as far as you can, then I I think that's that you very likely could could drown. I guess the problem is I don't, man, I don't. I just really don't like the idea of drowning. Um, take my chances that's... in the desert. I'm going to take my chances so in the it. desert. It doesn't take three days to drown. It's like, that's why I wanted for you know, to just explain what he meant. I, I, don't know, I know it doesn't take that. three days to drown. I guess my question is, does the overall, the longer death of, of just being thirsty, is that preferable to the incredibly I feel like dehydration is hell, prospect. isn't it? Like, I don't know that... Isn't it, um, like, horrible? I guess, I guess my question is, if I pass out, like, at some point... Surely that's preferable to, like, being conscious while I have water filling my lungs. I don't know. Like, I just... I'm not sure. Death, it, like, you're right, you, you'll die quicker by drowning, but I'm not sure that it's quicker and better, you know? Like, it seems like a really grisly way to go. As far as I know, when you get, like, severe headaches, and then just, um, you'll get, like, hallucinations, and you'll be dry everywhere in terms of, like, you'll start cracking skin and stuff. I, I would have to Google it. I don't know what all of the things are for dehydration, but I, yeah, I just mean, assume that all of it is longer, like, significantly. Um, okay, I mean, people are saying that dehydration is, like, really terrible, and I know it is. I guess the problem is drowning has always come across to me as like one of the scariest ways to go. Um, yeah. Only, only beaten out by like radiation poisoning. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, I, if we're including all deaths, I feel like it's going to be beaten up by a lot. Like, for example, being torn apart by a bear, I'd rather drown. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure about that even. What do you reckon, Rags? Hmm. I think I'd rather possible. Take my that's the thing. The bear can make you go into out. shock or something, um, or just flat out knock you out. Yeah, um, that's my heart. The bear that's will the kill the thing. You I don't know. Quick. I think it's more of a gamble. I don't know if I want to risk the bear chewing on my legs first or something. Um, I just I feel like we can't undersell how like how bad drowning is. You know, like 
I don't think it's undersold I'm, when it's compared to a bear tearing you apart. I feel like with the bear that... that I think there's a gamble to it. It I is think a there's gamble, a, for there, sure, There's yeah. a risk of yeah. how the bear like, well, goes about... If it instantly bites process. your throat and you just die... Like, then you're okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, or if he swipes you so hard, it, like it knocks you out from just the blunt force of it. That um, that would be the the help, yeah. So I just um, I I don't know about the. That's the a tough one. I'm not sure bear. with the bear. I, I feel like I it think was I would just tiger, go with drowning because I want to. I'd, I I'd wanna, take the tiger for sure because that tiger's gamble. just gonna. I feel. Oh man, I don't know. Just drowning. Just. Hmm. So instead, I'll risk drowning over getting eaten by an animal just out of spite. Out of spite. I will not Fuck be your you, meal. Um. Oh, this thing shoots. That, that's helpful. Okay. Maybe I am just overestimating the. I think Fring is afraid of water. I actually like just no. Like I, I just. I'm actually a pretty good swimmer. It's it's literally just the aspect of drowning that I I find a bit. Like, oh. Well, I don't mean to spoil. I don't know if this is a spoiler, but just in Prestige, where he's like, he describes mm -hmm. it as going home, and at the end he says, nah, it's like the worst agony I've ever experienced, yeah. or something like that. I'm pretty sure that, like, let's let's look that up. Worst ways to die, because drowning's definitely going to be on there. This is a pleasant conversation. <laughs> EFAP, everyone. I like how we could have just totally gone back and Frankie's like, let's Google the worst ways uh, to die. Well, well, you know what? Look, here's a list. Um, the first one is falling to your death, which I'm not sure that I agree with that. I, I don't agree with that at depends all. Depends how far you fall. I was about to say, depending, yeah. I would probably want to take falling over drowning and dehydration. Depending on how, depending on how high like you fall, like say for in, shooting in yourself death. in the head, it's like one of the, yeah. Might be know. one of the best and ways to go if you're on your head, yeah. Num number two, death by cassowary bird. <laughs> Really? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, the bird. Yeah, so. Damn. Oh wow, that. So. Well, wait, this is wait, the wait. Way wait. It's Bear us the grizzly details. Um, this list seems inefficient because, like, already I'd have been like, man, shouldn't the gimpy gimpy plant be on there? <laughs> well, it might be. So number three is heat stroke, um, which somebody described that heat stroke you probably die of before you died of, um, oh, okay. of uh, dehydration, but but they're describing that heat stroke is really bad. Um, like really, really bad. Um, apparently your your body cooks itself from within because your metabolism speeds up. Oh boy. Um, and then the next one is mauled by bears. Uh, so that's definitely on the list. The next one is drowning. I so, feel so I feel vindicated by this random list. Well, this do you feel vindicated entry? because the it yeah, says I, that it would because I put why? bears above. Um... Uh, which one did I put bears above? It's, it's just, Drowning? it says the 10 worst ways. There is no rank. It's just the 10. So we oh, need they're to not ordered, okay. No, that's, uh, and so it says that with drowning, they have it by seconds. So after 12, so apparently the average oh, human shit. can hold their breath for 90 seconds before breaking out. Um, so... It seems like it actually takes way longer than you think. You lose consciousness at one... Oh! If you lose consciousness at one minute and 23 seconds... Huh. Because it takes you a lot longer to die than that. But if you lose consciousness at one minute and 29 seconds... Well, some people in chat were saying that that's part of a, a plus about drowning, is that the death isn't you fully experienced. You death? Yeah. The next one is poisoned by a blue-ringed octopus, so that's an Australian animal. Of course um, it is. <laughs> Allegedly. Apparently, it, yeah, so you become paralyzed and then asphyxia if you don't get treated. Um, the next one is poisoned by a sea snail. Um, the the one after that is stung to death by bees. Hmm. Um, but but for that, you need 500 to, tw to 1,200 stings. Pfft. <laughs> What if they what if they flew into your nose and stung your brain to death? What? And you died? <laughs> stung your brain to death. Yeah, so, I, I oh. don't know what it would mean to have a bee sting in your brain. I wonder what that would do. I guess Some, it depends on where you were next, hit. So here's the interesting one. One of them here is death by pine cones. The idea being that if a pine cone falls on your head, it'll kill you. But I don't know that that's awful. It this seems list, like you'd instantly this is a very strange go out. list. 
Um, and then the next one is killed by Beaver. Death by Beaver. pine cone. So apparently, <laughs> this is what it says. You're swimming back to shore when searing pain courses up from your ankle to your thigh. Your right leg dangles uselessly as you flail helplessly in the shallow water, clawing your way through a slimy growth of algae. You manage to um, limp onto the beach. As you drag yourself from the water, you see a thick ribbon of red trailing back into the pond. Blood streams from your lower leg as you dial 911 with shaky fingers on the cell phone among your belongings. You will never see the um, the aquatic culprit, a fiercely territorial rodent with powerful jaws capable of felling a three-foot-wide tree. By the time the medics arrive on scene, you've bled to death from a severed artery. Damn, dude. The idea being that apparently a beaver could just sever an artery. But I feel like you could say that about a lot of animals. Yeah, that's a gamble again, I guess. As opposed to specifically a beaver. The Why worst way to beaver? die according to scientists. Um... Hmm. I, I always feel like radiation poisoning would have to be number one, right? You're basically yeah, I would have thought that would have to be up the there. The problem cause... about... I, th I think the issue that comes along with getting killed by a beaver is that you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These puns. Out of this world. I feel like radiation poisoning is the really bad... Like, that's the... Yeah, that just, is... Just that me. sounds like... like yeah, just, that sounds just, like one of the worst. Yeah. I'll take anything else, you know? That's like, the one I where would you, be... you would consider killing yourself, I think, if you knew. Oh, yeah, I, I think I think if I knew that it was going to be that bad, it's like, without question, just give me the shotgun right now. Just end it. Like, I'm not I'm not doing this. Also, has this done anything um, for our question of dehydration or, slash... Or I, think I, would count the door. I think I would rather drown. Um, give me the desert. To death. I'm yeah. going to well, fight but, it. I'm going to try to survive. Uh, out of curiosity for which you'd prefer to die of, rather than which you'd prefer to attempt to survive. Uh, and... Dehydration or... Drowning. Yeah. Drowning. Probably drowning. Yeah, I take drowning. So that means yeah, you just you really are hopeful you can get something done in that desert. Absolutely, I am. I I I, I really am. I think that I think I am. I I am. I take it as pretty as practically a guarantee that I will die if I'm dropped in the middle of the ocean. But I think if I'm dropped in a desert, I will have a higher chance of being able to survive. Um, find uh, human contact in some way, uh, the resources, I, I think I'll be able to at least form a plan, have more agency over my surroundings and myself, and I, I will take my chances with that, and I will try to survive. Fair enough. Friggin' is so damn argumentative. I, would you Welcome to EFA. Yeah, would you prefer that we not have to Are you going to say, no, I'm not? <laughs> yeah, that's what you're Um, no, I am argue- I am- I, I am that. Um, I think it's- you not. Worthwhile to, Oh, well, there you go. Rags disagrees with you. Well, I disagree with that. I don't. No, I don't. Oh, boy. Oh, girl. Uh, choose. Oh, hell no. Destroy all media, Anyone? as in movies, games, books, TV, you keep your memories of it. Or B, keep the old media, but you can't create any new media. I'm not going to limit uh, the production of new media. Uh, I feel like we That'd have a, to go with um, a... key, uh, creating new media because at least we can still recreate the from memory that old stuff, or at least I don't know. Like it's an infinite world when we can create new media. It's not when we can't. Humans we will go on for a long, long time, and they will create so much media. I'm, yep. I'm not going to deprive future generations of being able to create things. Well, like until it. robots come along and take it over. I love I media, well, I don't want to... Well, we, we, we need the new yeah. stuff, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robots probably are going to start writing stories. Yeah, I just worry but, uh... that they'll be really good. And the robots oh, are going to be I like, well, be, of course, well, of course it should really make good, sense. Yeah. <laughs> There's not, well, not even going to be a discussion. <laughs> the robots I... are like, well, yeah, it needs to make sense. Yeah. Seems like that's kind of far away compared to other stuff that robots will replace us with, but, um... Yeah, like, robots will eventually probably become really good storytellers. Them, um, excluding the spirit of the question, there could be repercussions to this that uh, make, the, yeah. make the answer a little bit more complicated in terms of when you include every book. Like, hmm, mm. man, we're going to be losing a lot of things that are really fundamental and foundational. Uh, but I, I, maybe that's the more interesting part of the question, to figure out just how much we would lose if It'll we lost... 
they'll be rediscovered, I feel. Well, does, I um, think so. does that include all digital copies of all things that were in... Like, how, I just, mm. to clarify, right, like, we're not... Are we losing, like, like informative stuff, or is it just storytelling? And I say is just... Like well, I assume, well, we, I, I assume we're talking about fiction. Like, we're not, yeah, we're not going like to lose, like, mathematic books or whatever, right? History. What about narratives on, like, non-fictional things? So, like, what about... Documentaries and stuff? Like, like history books? Just... Or oh, I mean... So we, we kind, of, kind of have a spectrum here. We could have, like, fiction stories that are based on real events, and then we could have just non-fiction but presented in a way that is like a story, and then just pure non-fiction, like, history. Uh, I, I think we should... For this, I think we should draw the line at if it's not a an accurate as possible documentary okay. style kind of thing, yeah, then it, then it that. goes. But documentaries, like um, in, in the sake of for historical purposes, I feel like that. Uh, does some, like doesn't those So, like, what stay. about Planet Earth? Uh, not the fucking in planet. Terms, the actual documentary. You mean by the um, number one? Yeah, the one by yeah by David Attenborough. So, like, that is documentation is very objective but at the same time it's it's it's, a, a it's media it's very entertaining and yeah it's story driven in in a sense like the animals are characters oh, oftentimes. if we lose that or oh, we're gonna have to we got a lot of work that we need to do to like re-establish which is more than possible it's just i'm just curious because i imagine the person yeah, making this question draw... probably wants to include a lot of stuff like that to make it harder because mm. i would draw the line between like the knowledge that is more science-based and observational, um, and 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 the, that line to where we talk about like cultural narratives, um, myths, legends, yeah, you know, fictions. Like, do we um, lose the uh, the Greek gods? Do we lose well, like, Norse would, mythology? Would all podcasts be erased? Not that that's a huge deal. I just like that's that would be a yes, well, right? Here, let. I would I say for the for the Greek gods thing, maybe it would we would know of them, um, like in a historical sense. But mm. I don't know. Would we we wouldn't so, know the stories about them. We would just know well, that they were hmm. gods. Well, they, they said were, we maintain all memories. So as much as you remember, we, you get oh, to keep right. I, I, I think we can rebuild. Yeah, them. I feel like if we keep the memories, you then that definitely. that easily sways it into allowing. Uh, yeah, you can definitely yeah, rebuild them. It's just. Create. It's just a matter of like time. Yeah, yeah. I th I think we all know the answer is we have like the world in which we cannot create new media is a fucking nightmare. Like that's yeah. Nesby, yeah. Um, we just need to. If, if we didn't remember all the old stuff we lost, I'd still keep my decision uh, to yeah, allow new media to be created. With um, enough time, we could probably recreate a lot of that on a fundamental level, even if it wasn't exactly happen a whole the same. lot faster. If the question was yeah. like we delete all old media and our memory of it, um, I still th it's so hard to take away the whole no new media. Like like, I don't know what you'd have to threaten to make me say okay, no more new media. I think it would just be a matter of time until we get the Odyssey again and and Helen of Troy and and um and like uh, Gilgamesh and Paradise Lost and all that. Like I feel like it would well, only I mean, be we're in the modern age, everyone's just creating and. Yeah. Something yeah. Stuff out. There'll be a story that comes along where people are like, oh, I fucking love that one. They share it, and then boom. Yeah. But, um, like, for anybody who's out there being like, this is easy, I don't want to lose. Because I've seen people say, like, I wouldn't want to lose the Bible, and I'm like, you really th Like, a world where there's be no a new, new... Bible. Well, I'm just saying, like, do, do they really want to live in a world where there's nothing new in terms of media? Which, by the way, oh, is quite a large man. umbrella. Like, think about what... You, you wouldn't be able to listen to us. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to I, 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 I think of it in the sense of... It's almost like, how could I impose that on everybody who will ever live? That's another mm, aspect, Not even... Yeah, not, yeah like, I, I, can't, I can't see myself being... Putting myself in a position where I say nobody, no other human can ever create any media. Oh, dude, that yeah. is a freedom and a part of your well, self that I am robbing from you. Whichever choice you go with, you're probably going to want to fucking hide in the woods because you're going to have a lot of people who despise you. Yeah. No matter what. I don't think I could do the... Yeah, I... I in you know, fact, I, I'm just thinking... I'm not even sure... You, you know, like... 
of all the people I know, I'm not even sure that they would 100%. I think they would eventually go with the latter choice, but I think some people would really find this one difficult. They'd be like, oh, I don't want to lose I'm my, thinking. you know, and name a bunch of things. I could see it being hard for people, but at the same time, it's like, you gotta... Yeah, for me, it's, for me, it's pretty easy. Um, yeah, I, I, think I feel it, like... It, uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's easy, actually. The repercussions yeah, of the latter... Well, the repercussions of no media to me is just so huge that, like... I, <laughs> I'm not sure what life means anymore after that point, you know? Like, it's been real weird, yeah. I oh, think I... Okay. I don't like it at all. Yeah, yeah can I, I make YouTube videos? No. Can Podcast? I, no. no. Can I make I, a new piece of music? No, no new music. No, well, like, someone said, oh, what, what if, um... Like, what if it was a repeating process that if every year, all the past years, the media is deleted? Like, I still think... Like every year it hit the reset? Um, we have to make a repercussion that's as significant as never being able to create new media. Like that's yeah. I feel like that fun that just changes what humans are. Yeah. yeah. In a we way, and I just it. even if it reset every year, I just I think I can't take that away from humans. Yeah, we're storytellers. That's we're just storytellers naturally. And it's like yeah, we can rely on the old ones. I'm just like that's not like that. Never to innovate again on media? It's like, damn. Yeah, it, it, yeah, our ability to create like that is just not... It's not something I could take. It's not something I could take, no. I'm not sure that I Couldn't would want do it. it. I don't think I would want to live in that world. And at least by saying I've erased all the stuff that came before, at least they made it. And at least it impacted people for hundreds, if not thousands of years. It did have an effect. It did get yeah. us here in some way by erasing it it doesn't render it useless and it didn't render it you know uh, it didn't take away its utility and it's it's drive on the people who experience them i'm not robbing anybody of that um so i think it, it is less impactful as as sad as it would be yep. but we yeah. need to have a national day of, of memorial for all those lost stories for sure i'd want it to be a national holiday a, yeah. a, a white holiday, actually. Just the day where, you know, you just the play the, yeah, sad music for all the lost <laughs> media. I, I'm, I kind of joke, but I also kind of mean that. <laughs> no, I, I, I think that's, I I think that's that. you know, a, a day of, a, yeah, uh, like, just human cultural... I mean, man, awareness. like, probably should have a day that is just dedicated to, like, a celebration of, uh, of stories, because it's such a foundational part of humanity. I like that, isn't it? No. I don't. Um, they're making a PG-13 Predator movie. Shake my head. I... Yeah, I heard about PG my Predator movie. movie? Well, like, um, I mean, you could. Here's, here's I the guess. here's the hyper hot take. Okay, the rating's not going to be the problem. <laughs> yep. Yeah, <laughs> like I feel you. I mean, you could. What is it? I mean, is it just the presence of the Predator that makes it PG-13 or higher? Like, I don't... I probably wouldn't say so. But um, it depends what happens. What aspect of the universe do they explore? What do the characters actually do? Um, yeah, because, the, as, as you were talking about earlier, a lot of the violence in the films we watched is very much off-screen. You could do that with Predator. And if someone said, like, man, excellent uh, storyline, but I just... I wasn't seeing enough blood. I'd be like, I mean, that's going to be a fucking small flaw compared to it's a horribly written fucking experience, right? What I'm saying is don't worry, it'll just be terrible anyway. Like the the, the Shane Black's was R-rated and it was fucking terrible. Yep. I think because I find myself doing the same thing where I'm like, fucking new Terminator isn't R-rated lame, and it's like, I mean, T2 wasn't R-rated and it's like hmm. Yeah, it makes yeah. me just <laughs> ask why they would tone it down when that's just clearly not necessary you know why why would you choose to not why would you break with you know the kind of predator vibes that we've, we've yeah we've had? so like when i found out logan was gonna be all right i was like this is gonna be cool because wolverine just gets to be wolverine as he would be if he existed instead of us having mm -hmm. to watch him stab and rip people apart but we, do, we see at most smoke come out of him because they're trying to have some kind of effect and he's like yeah, and but to me, I'm just like that's fine. Like if the story's good, I can put up with Wolverine hitting people and then, you know, 
water spills out of them because they're in some kind of water place and it just looks cooler if he's doing What movie am I thinking of where he's slashing people and water is going in different places? Does he kill um, anybody when there's water? Ah. Uh... They do that a lot in movies sometimes, like with a samurai person slicing people but they're in it's raining. They make the blood splatter just water because it looks suitable and, and also cool but also matches. All I remember is there were scenes where he just stabbed people and nothing would come out. It was just nothing. yeah, that's that's <laughs> typically what would happen in like X one and two, I think, and three. Yeah, Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd was uh, violent, from what I remember, or at least a yeah. lot of blood. If we're talking about the musical version with uh, John Old Depp. John Old Depp. Janodled. Ico. Juni Juni Do. You mean actual water? Yeah, like, like, so it's raining and they're slashing each other, but they, like, oftentimes, like, filmmaking-wise, they'll make some of the splatters just water so that it feels a little bit more like something's happening, but at the same time they don't, they can get away with it. Yeah. Another thing that they do is obviously, like, when they slash apart aliens or robots, like, sensors are like, as long as it's not red, it's fine with me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a, yeah. Uh, yeah, which is interesting because but... when when Optimus pulls out fucking evil Decepticon man Megatron's head, um, you see sparks like fucking studs probably nuts bolts, and then there's like a red squirt of oil, red mm. and black I think it is, and it's just like they are really trying to get the blood in there, but they're not allowed. Even though that one yeah. to me is just weird, because it's like, why would they have red oil? I'm pretty sure I'm not making this up. If you look at when he pulls it out, it's like, there's black, but then there's also bits of red. And Transformers. Uh, when Optimus rips off Megatron's head, and it's in the third one. Oh, track. yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember that. Let me Because I, really I was about. watching it on a train, and I remember repeating that scene, because I was just like, was that blood? Did he just get blood out of Megatron's head? That was, uh... uh oh, he's got, like, a lot of... Gr it's It's blue. The oil is blue. Blue? Is it like, is it black and color? Oh, no, you're right. There is like, you're right. There is oil that comes out. There's, there's blue, but there's also like red and black oil. That yeah, I just out. remember being yeah. really confused when I saw it. Because I was like, what's going on in there? And I assume it's just wow. to look a little cooler than just having black. I guess so, yeah. Hydro These fluid is red. Fluid. I mean, there's got to be fluids that you could justify it with, but... Like, let's be honest here, they're not doing- there's no- What would a Decepticon look like when tearing it open? Because they're just fantasy creatures, so like, you can make it whatever you want, and if you're gonna go further than black oil, which is the obvious, then you're probably are, trying to do something. These machines are so over-designed and, and over-complicated in the old ones, I just realized. Like, they look real, but there's something that's lost in the, the design, I think. I always felt bad, because it just looks like so much effort went in, and they just look so busy, and it's like, eh. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, I think that's hardly, the issue. Hardly yeah. make out your shape, you know. Yeah. Like the so many of them just seem to blend together in a weird way because they're they're so complex. Like, you know, when an image is loud, that's yeah. what a that's what a transformer is. Mm -hmm. I just well, want to cover my ear, look at one. Except, um, I remember like the the clips I saw for that movie Bumblebee. It like it looked like it was adhering more to the style of the cartoon, and it's just much simpler designs. But the design comes through more clearly, yeah, because it's so complicated. Like Megatron and Optimus Prime in this scene, it's like it's so complicated, and it's like that's a lot of work, and that's that's worth commending. But I the never design liked it... that scene, by the way. I'm not um, yeah, a Transformers it's... person, but oh, it's just like him. It's yeah, Megatron. He... It feels weird watching um, Megatron be like, "There, we did it. We beat other boss. Now, <laughs> like, let, let's let's be chill." Or I can't remember what he says, but Optimus is just like, "Nah, fuck you. I'm killing you too." And I was like, "Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay." I wouldn't want to make a claim that Optimus shouldn't kill or anything, but I just remember feeling weird about it. Yeah, well, these movies suck anyway. Wow, for me, there's so wow. many Transformers fans in chat that are pissed now. Kurt Hager. Are there? I feel like all the Transformers fans would, like, hate these are gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're either gone or hate these films. Like, I, I imagine know. Transformers is, is cooler than, like, the movies ever were. God, they, they made so rank. much money. They made so much money. Yes, they did. Pretty Optimus. sure that fourth one made, like, a billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Bumblebee! <laughs> 
just screaming all the time. <laughs> Everybody was so orange in those films too, it really, it was weird. Transformers like Ethan movies arc team. when? That's that's always been a thing and it, it, one day. That'd one probably day. be a thing, yeah. We can watch the movie that was written in six weeks during the writer's guild strike. And it's and probably it shows... better than Loki. It probably is, yeah. Uh for not nah, well, I don't want to give because I remember like those movies were like the first one I remember being the most coherent of them all. Um and then after that they become like complete bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, and the first one's probably still, like, bad or whatever, but probably. I'd imagine it's probably... Like a, a four older. bad, I'm imagining. Yeah. And, like, a four, you know, that's that's something. <laughs> Bumblebee, stop lubricating the man. It's just like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> Bumblebee pissed on him. Funny. Yeah. That was funny, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Fringy, sometimes you are unnecessarily overbearingly argumentative. Damn. Oh, I, that must have been from a while ago. I don't know, I feel like you could apply that to all of us, if you're not in the vibe. Like... No, it's just me specifically. <laughs> no, I, I guess what I'm saying is like, yeah, I could see how someone could think that about you, but also me, but also Rags, but also fucking anybody who comes on this show. Anybody, yeah. Um, just never fear. We are basically constantly in a mode of looking to not only challenge concepts, but also have our ideas challenged but that we... also, it's, it's banter. Yeah. It's banter. Like, it's fun. <laughs> right. Like, Rags is not going to be leaving the stream like, fuck, man, friggy, what a fucking asshole. Like, you could just let me say my thing about <laughs> drowning versus... Well, I've, I've said before, uh, a lot of people just don't know this, but we spend a lot of time doing different things outside of streams. Uh, yes. We don't have a business-only relationship or anything. Mm-mm. Um, We're contractually obligated to say that. <laughs> That's right. If not, the long will show up at night, like when you go on a sleep. Could you imagine yeah. waking up and seeing those eyes staring at you in the dark? <sighs> Feels like a video game already. I can see that. The long man. Coming for you. Yeah, I mean, and, and, <laughs> if I ever wanted to make a long man game, I'd just be like, I gotta make sure I don't copy Slenderman too much. Oh, well, I was about to literally say, what happens is, there's, like, blurring, and when he catches you, he's like, What the fuck? Ugh, like, you know, and then you're dead. And that's it. <laughs> when you're moving he through the you. forest, you just hear, like, Who wrote oh, this in the it. background? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, God. I didn't write this, Mr. No Baller. one did. This is my fault. Oh, my God. Yeah, like that's the story. You need to write a script and, oh, and you're yeah. looking for pages. You don't, yeah, the, the pages, pages you don't, you collect blank pages. You have to write yeah. a good story on them. <laughs> At, otherwise, you get very mad and get chased. And like the more pages you add, the less coherent the story becomes. And the, the, and so... There's another game mode of you collect plot holes and you have to make reasoning that makes it so they're not plot holes. Like, and if you don't, then you're dead. Yeah. yeah it's like an arcade mode. <laughs> 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 Boss That'd rush, it's like fix TLJ within half an hour. You're like, oh fuck. Rush, yeah. Oh no. And we would say, holy moly. There's a new footage of Halo Infinite is out. I'm just watching. Really? It looks, oh yeah, God. they, they've, I think they've got like a single player or like multiplayer? Or multiplayer, both? multiplayer footage. Okay. Um, it looks fun. Um, it looks like Halo 5 when you actually see it, like, getting played, or at least there are parts of it that look like Halo 5, but less mobility. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I still don't know how I feel about having very clearly marked weapon spawn locations. Um, I always, I always like the idea of, like, just remember where the, the weapons spawn, like, when you play the game, just remember where they are. Instead of signaling them and having a countdown or something, but... It's pretty minor. It looks fun. It looks fun. We'll have to see. Fingers crossed. 
Springy, did you PM? Did your PM finally do the doo doo in his pants in McDonald's in 1997? Oh. People demand answers. Um, I'm not sure if that's even still being confirmed, but I like the idea. I find it hilarious that he shit his pants in Ingadine Mackis. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I like that we need to know the answer to that. Like, well, it's a thing that's got around that um, he shit his pants in a McDonald's um, like a long time ago. How does ago. that all of a sudden get discovered? I, I'm yeah, not like... sure. Like, I, but I the problem is when when you tell me that I'm like I can believe it. Like he looks like the kind of guy who would shit his pants in McDonald's. Okay. He he does. He really does look like that kind of guy. Like I don't see Bob Hawke doing that. Even, I don't even know if McDonald's, like, was around before he was... <laughs> I guess it would have been. But, like, I don't... Yeah. I don't see that with, like, Malcolm Turnbull or something. But Scott Morrison? Hell yeah, I can see that happening. Um... Describe that look. Just look up Scott Morrison on, on Google Images. This is poo, are we? I stand with well, Rags as UPS man. And oh yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, the, 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 our support. I don't think you'd you'd find his poo on Google. The, the well, maybe you would. You you would I, on Poogle. You would Poogle, yeah. Just have safe search on. You'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so, someone wanted you to know they stand with the UPS man. Okay. Thank you. I, I I'll pass that along. Mm -hmm. uh, he needs all the support he can on those long, long trips to Australia and back. Uh, free. I thought you didn't go to Australia because it doesn't exist. That's right. As Australia, we're seeing quotes. some holes in your logic here. But nope, that was Australian Mola. quotes. No, nope, they're holes in your logic. Continue. Nope, that's Australian quotes. Yep. Bring you. Why are you denying the lived experience of the U.S. UPS man? I'm not denying the lived experience of any UPS man, um, but it's hard. I can't deny the lived experience of a non-existent person. Wow. So he does not deny his existence and his experiences. All right. Bringing Australia is a lie. The masses must be told the truth. It's a global conspiracy. Where? Yeah. Where did that guy really shit his pants in a McDonald's? Mm-hmm. Can well, I, I mean, go there it is, to it the is, place? It is Can one I of the greatest mysteries. Shat? It is one of the greatest mysteries of all time. Um, figuring out whether or not he actually did. The eighth wonder of the world. Whether he shat himself. The, whether the Prime Minister of Australia <laughs> <laughs> crapped his pants in 1997 at McDonald's. <laughs> Just thinking about that. <laughs> um, oh, boy. I rags the long man and the German. Aww. Oh, hey. Hello. I mean, the only person you didn't say hi to was you, Frankie. Oh. Aww. Oh. Uh, it's okay. Uh, dude, you need to watch Netswick's Sam Raimi trilogy video. His points poop on Cosmonaut. I'd be surprised if you can dispute his points. Um. Why did he say that the trilogy is really good? Well, didn't we cover Cosmonaut's Sam Raimi video and say it was shit? Yeah. I'm sure uh, someone who's made like a video on it's probably done a pretty good job too, yeah. Um, I guess if someone wants to see that, there's a channel called Netswix who's uh, covered Cosmonaut. Again, like, well, I, like, it's funny because like with Madvocate and High Top, I'm just like, you understand, anybody out there who's thinking of starting like a channel and stuff, you could easily start with just responding to some of these fucking reviews because they they get everything fucking wrong. It's just like, you can cite the source and just be like, there you go. Especially with High Top and the uh, Wonder Woman doesn't punch people to solve their problems part. That was just setting yourself up for failure. And I know we talked about it in the actual stream. I just find it infinitely funny that Southpaw put that against footage of Wonder Woman. And High Top was like, I didn't make this edit. Somebody is uh, fucking with my stuff. <laughs> because it's like, it, it looks like it was constructed. To make a point that Wonder Woman's been assassinated in the Snyder Cut, or something like that. The power of... I was gonna say parody, but I don't know what it counts as. What does it count as when you mix someone's sort of shit around to make them make a point they didn't intend to that kind of criticizes themselves by accident? Mm. I don't know if there's a word for that. Just I find it amusing. Mm. Dargon did it to uh, Aquila, obviously, right? 
Yeah, I, it's not. I don't think it's parody. It would be. Um, uh, huh, what would that be called? Satire. I, I don't know if satire. There's... Um. Forty hmm. chess recontextualization, possibly. Hmm. Their use remixing. Remixing's probably close to what remixing I'm. Remixing is uh, yeah. It just it feels like it's some form of a format, and 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 it's it, it amuses me greatly. Remix. What do I what do I do with this? Oh, I gotta put it up there. Fuck. Why don't you just put? Editing turn about misrepresentation. No, it's not a misrepresentation. The point is to make them fight themselves because they didn't even realize they'd made those points, sort of thing. That Achille obviously one is fascinating. That um, especially from a law perspective. Do you know anything about it, Fringy? Uh, no, doesn't so, ring a bell. And this is this is from me watching. Um, I think it's Viva Free cover it. This is this is what I know happened. The interesting part I'll get to mainly. Uh, so Sargon took a video someone made and he stitched it in an alternate um like, you know, uh, timeline thing to make it so that she almost comments on herself without realizing it. I think that was it. Okay. Yeah, she he changes the copyright. title of it. Yeah, look, there's no concern that he's definitely transformed it. Um, she yep. copyright. She DMCA'd him, I think. She was like, "You're stealing my content, okay. making money off it." So. Oh, he, I know about this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember. I remember this whole thing. Yeah. The, well, the the part that I find the the best is like, so, she's made it clear her motive is to prevent him from stealing yes. her content. Then she goes on Twitter and says she can't yep. wait to prevent his children yep. from being able to go to college or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and like... that's fucking prejudice. Like, do I... Man, like, you just destroyed your case. <laughs> yeah, and the, the, the lawyers used the fuck out of her Twitter account and they, the case was won. Yeah, because it's you're not you're not doing this for legitimate reasons. You're, you're doing it to harm somebody else, which is like, that's not... You, you can't do that. That's not what the court system is... That's not what it's. That's not what it's there for. Yeah, to, but like, she, she practically the... admitted she's abusing the system, but she did yeah. do it in court, so it's fine, right? <laughs> it's well, like... Yeah, because you know it's not like any evidence, anything that you do and say can be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> it's not like that's the first thing they tell you. When for anybody who doesn't know how that ended, by the way, he eventually uh, he won that case, then he sued he for, won, for and... the the cost, and, and he, he won, won that as well. Yeah, so she so had to she, pay uh... for all of it. And so she basically, man. I'm that surprised is there like wasn't a, more coverage on that because it's quite a precedent. That is a huge self-own um, in terms of just a bad decision. Yeah. Why would? Oh, I wonder if it man. wasn't covered as much because he won. You think it could if be she that. won bizarrely, they would have covered the fuck out of it? Maybe. I mean, plenty of people hate Sargon, so I could see them not wanting to cover that. She was really salty about the loss. Well, if I was her, I I'd would be, be too. I'd right? be pretty salty, yeah. Yeah. Um, because that's like, a lot of money. Been, yeah, because it, it was her, like, I don't... And it I was her it, fault. It, it was, it was self-sabotage to an incredible degree. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because, first she, of all... All you had to do was not say all of those terrible things. <laughs> but even if she had, she probably still would have, like, it's transformative. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, now, of course, that doesn't necessarily system. mean he'd win, because it's the court like, system. Court process. Yeah, but but still, like, it's, he's got a better shot than she has. And that's before she said, I'm abusing the court system to make money. <laughs> 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 just, oh, yeah, stupid. Um, as... Uh, Upsman, I dislike Australia. One of those spiders made it stateside. Hi, Rags. Oh, boy. Hi. It might well have, yeah, hitched a ride in a ship. Um... Sorry, I'm just, I'm still thinking about that. The, did she, so she said, like, she can't wait for Sargon to not be able to, like, take care of his kids. Yeah, she was bragging she about how he wouldn't be like, able to, what? um, put them through college or whatever because he wouldn't have the money what? for it. What is, She's like, well, what is wrong with kids, you? That's not my problem. <laughs> What is what the? Oh. Well, she. I was gonna say you should look at coverage of it. Some of the stuff she said on the Twitter just makes it so it's impossible to be on his side. Like, Man, she like is that. A, like a oh. horrible. She she is a fucking horrible bitch. 
How do you relish in the idea that you're destroying other people's lives? She's a bad person. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. There's not, yeah, there's not much. You can't get around that one. Holy crap! He's just vindictive and cruel and. That's cruel. And yeah. Mean. Yeah, it's very cruel. I mean, because I remember I was in uh, Asda and I was just watching coverage of it, and I, I had no fucking clue it had gone this far. I was just like, why? Oh, you know, just yeah, it's really bad. We, 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 it feels like we're in a post forgiveness world sometimes. Like it feels like we're getting worse on that aspect, doesn't it? I feel like we're getting worse. I absolutely think we're getting worse. Um, I don't know. It just feels like we're not in a world where people can for forgive or change or redeem themselves. Like if you do a mis if you do if you make a mistake once, that's it. You're done. Piece of shit. Fuck you. You don't get to Move exist to in society person, anymore. Yeah. And I think that's the awkward part. Is like the people who get like absolutely over the coals on like social media they don't cease to exist after you've forgotten about them yeah like, they still are alive think, oh they're off twitter they're not part of society anymore right well oh so well, what i mean is like the consequences of this like they end for you because it has nothing to do with you but like that person is still alive like they still exist they still need to find work they still need to eat and be able to pay for food like it doesn't stop when you when you stop giving a shit um I don't know. It's just, it's weird. It's its this weird inversion where it's like things that people did 10 years ago, like that's really bad, but I don't need to think about the future, like the next 30 or 40 years of your life. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I like my redemption stories. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that kind of came up with the Hello Games stuff, which is like, we like to know that there's a pathway for people, no matter what, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and even yeah. with uh, this uh, Keela Hughes person, I'd be like, fuck me, I hope you've learned your redemption. lesson and you stop doing this shit. Yeah, like if we found it out- It seems like that isn't know. the case with her. She's well, it just made her more angry and more vindictive <laughs> and more just but upset I guess, and cruel. What what good is what good is that for you at this point? You've lost and there's nothing you can do about it, so you have to move on. Purely emotional. Yeah, I guess it's just it's not helping you out, you know. Like you should just move on and oh god, try look and at, look. We're doing oh, the look. scene. <laughs> yeah, it is the scene. Oh no! Look at those ghosts. Oh, look at his face, Milton. Oh no! Oh, look at Damn him. Damn you, soundtrack! <laughs> no, look. <laughs> we did it. This was some high-tech stuff back Whoa. in the day, you know? This was like the peak of animation in, in video games. Such a great scene in the movie. Yeah, and I wouldn't mind doing... I wonder if Indiana Jones could work for out movies. It might do. To sync up with the fifth one? Uh... <laughs> well, if we started now, that might I was going to say, even if we were to start now, we probably wouldn't be in time because of just the backlog mm, of yeah. editing that's to be done, but, uh, maybe. Um... UPS uniforms are brown. Fringy hates the brownies. Damn. Jesus. I don't know, I don't know. yeah, maybe, maybe. Sure, sure, Australia oh. is real, just like the Queen of England or the Loch Ness Monster or Canada. Hashtag I stand with rags. Man, you don't even think Canada's real. Is there I mean, just it's, it's empty space of the north of the border? There's it's just in, nothing there. I don't know. I'm more, in, I'm more inclined to believe in Canada. Why? Huh? Why? 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 Oh, I, yes. I feel like Canadians. You know, I don't think they even have the capacity to lie about where they're from. Oh, but Australians do. Jeez. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, I, and I, I, I just feel like you. Australia is some made-up continent that's in the middle of, like, what, the, the ocean that's around, like... Yeah, Everything yeah, is in sure. the middle no one, of the ocean. No one's, from, if, no one's from, gonna go know. and... No one's gonna go and check that. But Canada? That, like, it's a massive... Hey, like, it's just an extension of North America. It's right in the there in the border of the, the U.S. Nah, they, they wouldn't be able to get away with that. Nah. Too many people I, would be there. I, like, I don't want to ignore... Everything is in the middle of the ocean, technically. Rags just has no response for that. Yeah, in the middle of the ocean. 
Yeah, technically. Is ev- everything's in the middle of the ocean? Yeah, you could say Ar- that. Well, Arkansas is not in the middle of the ocean. No. Yeah, it is. The whole continent of North America is in the middle of an ocean. Oh, the, the, the continent of North America. Does that include, like, South America being attached to it? or? Well, South America North technically North isn't attached to North America, right? Thanks to the well, Panama I mean, it's Canal. One, it's one land mass that we put a dividing line and say this is North and South. I suppose that's... Yeah, so, like the um, whole land mass of North and South America, um, the, the middle of the ocean. Um, I guess that's what I'm saying. Is there any reason to say that that's not in the middle? I mean, it kind of is in the middle of the ocean. The ocean is bigger than all of the the land. So in a certain sense, the land is the anomaly, right? I, mean, I guess I'm thinking... I, probably, I would say so. What, if the majority the of it is water, the land is the exceptional part. Well, which which point would be in the middle of it? Wh- which point? Everything is well. Oh, when there? I say in the middle of it, I mean everything is in it. Like everything is in the the, the sea. So does that mean that two uh, different continents cannot simultaneously both be in the middle of it? No, I w- all the continents are in the sea. So like, if you said Afro Eurasia, if you treated that as one big landmass, it's it's in the sea. It is because the sea surrounds it. Now, if the land is... It, the land is all connected yes. underneath. So, um, as part of the crust of the Earth. And there's more sure. crust than... There's more, like, crust and stuff than ocean. So does that make the water the anomaly? Is there... Is there hold on. Is there, so how, is the how water deep is the crust? in the middle of the land? Really? How deep is the Earth's crust? The Earth's crust is between 50 to 70 kilometers. Right. Okay, yeah, so I guess there would be more crust than Earth, for sure. Um, but like the, but the thing is, is when, but when we talk about land, we talk, we're not talking about the crust, or at least not super. We're talking about the, the land that peaks above the uh, above. Just the, water. the parts above the ocean, just like from a topographic... These fucking nerds, am I right? If you're at the bottom of the ocean, you wouldn't say, I'm standing on land. You like you're. That's not what we call land, the stuff at the bottom of the sea. What if you were a deep sea diving penguin? If you're a deep sea diving penguin, you'll still return to the surface. I don't know. I feel like the those are special penguins. However, I feel like we're getting a little sidetracked. Um, what is the what about the moon? Is the moon in the middle of the ocean? Well, the moon. Well, I, I'm so glad you asked, Rags, because a lot of parts of the of the moon are referred to as seas. Did you know that? But we, we understand, though, that that's, like, metaphorical. It's not actually um, water. I mean, I guess it depends, right? Like, our definition no, of sea on the moon water. is... Oh, I know it's not water, but is that is that what is that what an ocean must be? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> the ocean. I mean, also, I'm... the sea or the ocean wor- or the world ocean is a body of salt water. Yeah. <laughs> so can can an ocean have multiple middle points? Um, ha- well, it, I guess it's um no, right? They can only have one middle point. Like if we so divide, only one continent can be in the middle of it. Well, it depends. Are we talking about the? Hmm. So we are talking about the ocean because we're talking about all the oceans. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess just the water in general because it all the no. The, all at the that point, there is no middle point. There would be no middle point, but you don't need to be at the middle point to be in the middle of something. Mm-hmm. You just have to be within it, and all of the continents are within the ocean. As long as the land compromises, well, based on the shape of the oceans, would the middle of the ocean be still a a, a part of the ocean that doesn't have land in it? If it's um, the middle of it. I suppose it would be likely that it would be, um, because more it's more likely that you'll land on the ocean than not. Like if, in terms of you know, if you if you drop the points on on the world map, it's more likely than not to land in the ocean. Again, seventy one percent of the Earth's surface is, is water, so it's a good a lot I, I, of water. I feel like the sh- I feel like the shape of the oceans will determine whether or not land masses are in the middle of it. The problem is that it's tough because we need to either divide by 
Well, the issue is that the way that we define oceans is based on where they are relative to the continents. So, like, most oceans are between continents, but that's from one point of view. The other point well, of view is that the, the continents let's themselves... Let's just use the water, water. right? For, the, for this, when we say ocean or oceans, we're talking about just the whole, all the water. All, all, all the, the water, water on Earth, sure. So, I think that the location of the land masses in the water will play a big role in whether or not it's in the middle of it. Because you could rearrange all of the land masses into one one land mass. They would never do that, of course. Mm. It's very silly. But if there was one one land mass, I could say, okay, so that land mass, that one, there's only one of them. I can say that's in the middle of the ocean because there's no like other... Cause part of this has to do with the fact it's a sphere, right? Or an oblate yeah. spheroid. So yeah. how do you have the middle? Because uh, I see the middle is the core of a sphere. Well, the middle of Earth is is the core, yeah. So how so if we're we talking about the middle point? of the oceans and we take that three-dimensional shape and then transpose that onto a two-dimensional surface, we'll get a bit of an odd shape, like unpeeling an orange and flattening it on a table. The problem is that we need to still define the point from which we peel it, which is basically the middle point of earth and so like on earth the way that we do it would be these the the universal the equator time would well, no that would be if we were peeling it from the middle up like up and down as opposed to peeling it from like out left and right you know so in is the reason that we do it one way instead of well, the other that the is the problem is that if we if we peel it from the the middle out then the middle of the ocean would be either the arctic ocean or or the middle of Antarctica. It would be totally yes, one way. Thank the other. you for letting me know that Pan Gaia was a thing. I know. How is that relevant to our discussion? Because I was, because I was, I said jokingly discussing, the, yeah. the absurdity of there being Remember? a single land mass and how that would never happen. And it's, people in chat are like, there was, it was called Pan Gaia. Remember, it's not assume, it's assume. And similarly, it's not a discussion, it's a discussion. Discussing. We, we Pangea, be discussing. not Pan Gaia. I don't know. I, I feel like. I feel like if, I think most people say Pangea, but for whatever reason, my mind wants to say Pangaea because of the, the like, way root words of it. You know, fringy is is not fringy; it's fringy in the same sense. Pan Pangea, it's Pangaea. Is it? I've only ever heard it yes. pronounced Pangaea. Because the fringy rule of how to pronounce G's after an N is uh, is that because it says. Pangaea is disambiguation of. Well, let's see. Because it's P A N G A E A. I'm, I'm literally just looking for what is it commonly pronounced as, rather than. Let's... I think it's. I think it's more commonly pronounced as Pangaea, but let, I don't know if that's see. a cultural thing or if people have just. If that's just something that caught on that wasn't originally the pronunciation. Um. Let's let's see pronunciation of because it pan, comes from pan Pangea. for all or entire and Gaia for land earth. or mother yeah. earth right so okay, I guess my so... my mind goes to pan Gaia the words that make it up or well, it's derived from according to Google it's Pangea okay that's oh, but, but well well hold on. Yeah, Pangaea. <laughs> How would you would you pronounce it the same way if you were Greek? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. If it comes from Greek root, I don't know. Well, if it but right because it's Gaia, so why would it be Pangaea if it's based on Gaia? I don't know. Maybe is I don't know if that is just like an eventual adulteration that's occurred maybe, from it, true. or it just caught on. Yeah, um, like assume because. Or like maybe, assume maybe. rather, yeah, like maybe. assume uh, because assume was the way that it was originally said. Was it though? I don't know. I I'm not sure. I suppose we'll never know. That's true. Maybe we, will never know. we might not. Um. Anyway, the the point is that all the continents are in the middle of the ocean. Well, only I thought only one of them can be in the middle, right? And the other ones will be like well, different. Still... Now that we've established what the but middle they, is, they're we all have in it, right? They're all still They're in, in it. the I ocean. I guess the next question but for not... me is where isn't the middle on Earth of the ocean? Yeah, because like 
not all of the chocolate chips are in the middle of the cookie, right? Right. One of them they can are, be. They are in the cookie, though. They are in the cookie. But okay. they can't all be in the middle. Like, two of them can't, unless they are connected and they cover up that middle point, two chocolate chips cannot both be in the middle. Okay, I mean, I'm okay Maybe it with... was one of the top and the bottom, but that's a product of the shape of the cookie. Well, you know, look, I'm big enough that I can admit that I don't know where the middle is, but I do know that they're all in it. But someone smarter than me can probably tell you where the middle of uh, the ocean is. I'm, I'm happy with keeping the phrase in the middle of the ocean as just a colloquially understood thing that you yeah. have a lot of water around you. Yep. Like all the consonants. You shouldn't have conceded that, Rags, because... Uh... That pushes you back to you said why would anyone care about uh, believe australia was was real when it's in the middle of the ocean and then yeah said, well so i was using that's it. right well, here's the that's thing. i was using it in the cloak it's it is over. far away right it's far and away besides, from that's you still <laughs> it still actually works it's far no, away from it everyone because no, it's it like doesn't. a concept and it doesn't it's, even exist no it's, it's um you, but you, it, it still works for me because even if it was bridge in the middle of the many. ocean in a more literal sense one that bridge. would still this is remarkable you forgot to blow up remarkable bridge I used it. and now the allies <laughs> are rolling across that bridge to <laughs> take down the reich <laughs> that's this is remarkable oh, bridge and you forgot to blow it up solidly in fact and nothing's changed at all I'm gonna scream at this guy. Did nothing. Why is this person invincible? <laughs> I've done everything. I threw a chair at him. I you. killed you. Look at this with one punch. One punch, man. Oh, why yeah, he's just being the show. This guy is the hardest dude in all of Indiana Jones trilogy. Oh, you gotta throw the, round? you gotta get the swords yep. and throw to the gong. Or, 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 See now, if I remembered color? the events of the film better, I would have been able to intuit that. But like, that is so yeah. unfucking intuitive for a video game to defeat this man. You must collect the sword and throw it at the two gongs. <laughs> like, what? Why? Oh, come on! You should have figured it out. In fights, I don't see what's. Oh, dude, look at this! That. This is why the Lego games kick ass. That's a neat touch. <laughs> This is the thing, I, I am due to watch the Indiana Jones trilogy. I haven't seen it in a long time at this point. Yeah, me too. I haven't seen it in a long time. Man, wait, wait, wait. It's been a few years. Bringing up one punch like we Mean don't it. know it's a manga slash anime. And we just said you're like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an awesome show, okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Three, two, one, two shots on Joe. Something, so something, something. Probably offensive. Well, if I'm saying something, it's okay. No, just to not remember the lyrics, but also claim you're a big fan. That's going to upset people. That's like when right. you say it's a laser sword. It's like a laser sword. Oof. Do I just run this into Yeah, the jet. That. Uh... Oh. Okay. They see me rolling. Um, I've recently gotten a fully evolved objective reviewer brain. Not all media, new media is bad. The problem is often the great writing that goes unrewarded. Um, yeah. that's definitely a problem. Yeah, that is certainly an issue. I found great new content this year, but no one seems to care about them. The El Cid is like Game of Thrones Season 1, and Jamestown is Bly Manor levels of good character writing with little success or praise. Yeah, well, I mean, yes, I I think I've only ever heard of those briefly, so... If they are good, then good. Briefly. Black Widow is in a parallel universe. You can tell because Kid Natasha says she wants to stay in Ohio, which isn't something a human would say. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's fair enough. Pretty neat. Good catch. Well, I mean, Ohio's probably not, like worst place ever right do you have to be in the worst place ever to not want to leave it to want to leave it rather want to leave it uh no but but to say that it's unbelievable that anybody would be like ah you know i like it here in ohio i don't know maybe it is that unbelievable i've never been there and there must be a good reason why manner is dot 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 okay stop it <laughs> <laughs> you'll be okay for you you'll be okay you can survive you're so oh, argumentative. Just, oh, <laughs> just let people hate things, alright? <laughs> oh. Don't worry, one day we'll we'll cover Bly Manor and we'll we'll 
explain in great detail why we think it's much better than just okay. And maybe we'll convince a few people. Maybe we won't. You know what? That's the maybe. beauty. That's yeah. the beauty right there. Um, how do you guys say February? Uh, February. We uh, around here we just say February. That tends right. to be how it comes out. Yeah. That's probably how it comes out for me, but I'm pretty sure correct is February, right? I, I mean, I'm starting to wonder now, is the R silent typically? Because, like, I only ever really ever hear it February. Uh, Google. Tell us the answers. Yeah, February is correct. Really? I just don't hear people yeah. say that, like, ever. Because it's, it's really tough. February. Yeah, February. it just sounds, it tangles February. you a little bit. Oh, one of them Feb says February. Google. Huh. <laughs> How could you? Well, Google's giving me two answers. One is February, and one is February. No, what I'm saying. It's like, I am outraged at Google for giving you two answers. It would so, never be that one. Uh, on the Wikipedia, it says it's either, it's either, and that most pe okay. many people drop the first R. Right. I'll, let me look up the, the etymology of it. Where did, where did hmm. it come from? Uh, history. So, the Roman month Februarius was named Februar. after the Latin term Februm, which means purification. So, like, the Rua, the the Febra, seems to be, like, a really important part of the origin. Februarius. So, Roman month Februarius was named after yeah. the Latin term Februm, which, which means, means purification. purification, which is what I just so read if, out. <laughs> no, so, Februm, if there's two U's, you, you, you pronounce them both in Latin. Februum. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm That sounds like some witchcraft shit to me. It is. I'm, now I want to figure out the etymology of, of like, because I know that August was named after Augustus, and Oct October was Octavian. I know where like, they named, how they named come. It'll be an interesting origin for that. Let's see. <laughs> September. <laughs> I thought it was skipping. Yeah, it's just <laughs> like, it. <laughs> Let us begin the cub adventure. Let's start with September. <laughs> That'll take us to it. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, it wasn't. Oh, no, wait. I've screwed it up. So, yeah, July was Julius. That's right. Yeah. Um, And wasn't Oct because it was eight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Stupid. August was Augustus. Julie, 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 Julie. And November was nine, but November is the eleventh month of the year. Yeah, and that's October true. is the tenth month of the year. Yeah, September was well, the, the ninth month of the year. Yeah, it doesn't quite work when you change it the other way, but the name sticks around. Mm. It's like a vestigial meaning in a way. Kind of, yeah. It's the it's the tailbone of the Gregorian calendar. Um. So the film Nobody is as good as John Wick three. Oh, I haven't seen it. I don't know. I hope it's good though. Chat, what's the current take on Nobody? Is it a Goodman or Badman, or is or it on par with John Wick three in the way that you think that John Wick three is good? In which case, that's <gasps> fine, but. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's great. It's bad. Uh, nobody's awesome. Not as good as one. Better than two and three. I haven't seen three. It's a fun movie. Meh. Oh my god, we're getting every opinion. Gambit. For which movie? Nobody. The movie where oh. Bob Odenkirk is beating up a bunch, I think. Or beats people up. Um, hi, Longoid, Plagueis, and Doggo. Hello. Oh. Oh, hi. Any plan on watching slash riffing on Space Jam 2? Yes, actually, but none of these things are going to be happening uh, sooner rather than later. You know, it, it's rare for something like Cruella to happen, where we, uh, we watch it as it comes out, and then we get it out straight away, rather mm -hmm. than see it out ten years after. Yeah. Jay's talking about P in chat. Stop scaring our locals, Jay. We're not, they're not ready for P. Mm-hmm. Uh, hi, Rags. Have... Hello? 
Have roguelikes gone out of fashion? I feel like there's too many people doing it the same way and not being creative enough. Thoughts? Uh, a lot of the ones that I've played have been quite good. Um, whether it's Risk of Rain 2 or Streets of Rogue or things of that nature, I, I think there can be quite a bit of variety. I'm sure they're going to have, you know, you're, you're going to have the... There's going to be enough of them that some of them will share a decent amount of similarities, but... Like, Enter the Gungeon plays absolutely nothing like, um, oh, I guess another one would be, um, I don't know, like, like another one, you know, it's just, I, I don't know, I think there's plenty. I don't know if they're going out of style or out of fashion. They're probably, probably because they're, a lot of it is randomly generated and you don't have to have a big budget to make them necessarily. There's always going to be different takes on it, but I'm... I don't feel that way myself. Hmm. Uh, the girl in Dress Park 2 didn't die. Look it up. They mentioned it later in the film. Didn't die. Might just be a throwaway line to prevent rating. Oh. I always thought she should... Well, whatever happened to her... Mum screamed at it. So I guess it wasn't exactly the most friendliest thing. But, uh, yeah, I always thought she died. I guess I missed that line. Uh, often bears begin feeding before their prey is dead, so there's that. Yeah, bears don't care if you're alive or dead. They're gonna get chomping. Uh, a lack of oxygen alerts the parts of your brain that make you panic. Death by suffocation slash drowning is the worst one psychologically. It sucks. Right. Is that true, though? Like, it's the worst way to go psychologically? I feel like that's gonna be a... It must be hard to, to say, though, because we don't know, like... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I believe that fully. I believe it's horrible, but, like, the worst one psychologically, it's like, hmm. Um, Y'all should watch Ryan George and his stuff on Pitch Meeting as well. Especially the Black Widow, Loki, and other Tismi Marvel ones. He mentions many of the same problems we do, but doesn't get backlash. Makes me think he watches EFAP. So it's, it's because he presents them in a very joking way. Like, you don't have to take it seriously. It's not really a flaw. It's just some funny observations. And I think people are much more happy with that than when you say these are flaws and they shouldn't have made these mistakes. Mm -hmm. <gasps> but uh, yeah, I recommend his videos. I've seen, I think we mentioned last uh, EFAP. Some cool stuff there. Uh, you wouldn't die of dehydration in the middle of the ocean. You would die of hypothermia fairly quickly because no ocean is warm enough to not kill you. Um, well, there you go, I guess. Unless there's anything else to add to that. I assume that's true. I got nothing. If you're in the middle of it, probably. It's probably really cold out there. There's nothing to warm it up, like a beach or nearby land or anything like that. Uh, Fringy, have you ever had heat stroke? It's terrible, and that's not even close to death. People who have drowned and been revived say it's peaceful. Okay, we're getting way too much conflicting information. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm meant to do now. I've never had heat stroke though. Can't imagine this fun. No, no way. Me neither. Just be Loki and Contra Blanky. Yeah, that'd be a way. That's, that gets people though. That that's one of those things that gets people. It, it catches people off guard. Heat, heat stroke and heat exhaustion. Yeah. They'll, uh, that that that's what gets like people at the Grand Canyon. People just don't think about drinking water and stuff. And you but you gotta do it. You gotta drink water. Of course. Yeah, you know, sometimes That's the body the cool doesn't water. always let you know exactly when it needs it. Gotta pump it full. Us humans love water. Yep. Why doesn't my car work on here? I'm outraged. I just crashed through here. I'm, I'm on board with this, if that's true. Um, a potential new guest question. Would you rather fight a wolf with your bare hands or a bear with a sword? The dual meanings can be fun, too. I feel like I'd rather take on the wolf. Um, I'm really I think the not wolf sure. Would be more willing to quit. Yeah, but I feel the wolf like I have a very strong bike. To be honest fight. with you, I'm not confident in either one. I feel like I'm losing both, potentially. Wait, one wolf on its own? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I guess it depends on the wolf, right? Because if it's like a particularly well, large and aggressive one, like me it a with fight my to fists, the death or might it run away? Um, I feel like the wolf is more likely to run away because it's a predator if you damage it. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. If 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 we have to kill each other though, and the wolf isn't going to retreat, then I'm not so sure. Can um, I, I think I'd still go for the wolf. I feel like I got a better chance with the wolf. I think even even if I am barehanded. I think I agree with that. Yeah, I just uh, all I'm saying is I just, yeah. I'm not confident about my winning in either. I guess I just I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if, yeah, I think, I wonder, it, I would probably phase the wolf a little bit more if I started fighting back, like aggressively fighting back against it. While the bear I feel like just, that's something wolves, yeah. yeah, a bear probably just won't give a shit. And it probably won't understand the implication of the sword to be afraid of it in the way that you aggressively um, resisting a wolf would, be would maybe to, phase it more. It would be tough to pull off, but like if you did get that perfect strike into the bear's head with the sword... As the fight Maybe, begins, yeah, that's... you know. But if you don't, but like, if you it's don't, <laughs> it's not yeah. gonna work but out like so well. You, I feel like a sword with a bear. Like I, I feel more competent grappling a wolf than I yeah. do like and trying to get well, that good hit in with a sword. As I get, like I think just the like sure it'd be scary either way, but I would be terrified as a look going in front of a big ass fucking bear even if i did have a sword i want to know shad's answer i wonder if his confidence with a sword would make it so that he'd go against the bear mm. and no. i feel like i could i feel like i could choke a wolf like yeah, i could maybe. strangle a wolf i could just get what it is... under my arm if i could you know just strangle it what's the biggest just wolf squeeze. they're probably fucking big as shit uh, <laughs> Because that's what the question I, probably needs as a qualifier for which wolf and which bear. I think if you hit, I think if you hit a wolf just right with a rock on the head, you could just take it out. Yeah. But I think a bear has just got it's so like big and it's. Yeah, I, I'm gonna take my chance with a. I'm gonna take my chance with a rock with a with a wolf. I think that's fair. I, I think I think I'd probably I'd do that too. Chances, yeah. Uh, hey Rags, look up Wargrove. Oh, sorry, Wargroove. War Groove? There are Shebas in it. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> so that'll be your favorite. Those movie are the guys. Uh, is that that's on the Switch, right? Is it on PC? I do not know. Or is it on Wargroove right. PC? Uh, it is on Steam. Yeah, I think the people... Chucklefish made this. Um, I, uh, it's, it, it looks like an Advance Wars-ish, Fire Emblem-ish sort of game. Um, 81% recently, so not bad. I don't know if it's... Uh, hmm. I don't know how good it is. Um, I'm curious, how much do you guys and Doggo know about the history of the Three Kingdom? Is that... I don't know what that is. Sound like anything to you? I don't know what that was referring to. History yeah. of the Three Kingdoms? No, I don't. Um, also thoughts on Final Fantasy XIV versus WoW storytelling? No idea. Funnily enough, I just happened to watch a video no about clue. this from my recommended. Asmongold was going over it, and, uh... Well, from what I understand... Oh, I can't remember how it was summarized now. This is, there's a bit of a big fight between the two games right now, because... One of them is... I can't remember what the dichotomy was. I think it was Final Fantasy is better for story, but WoW is better for, like... Long term? I'm probably getting that wrong. Okay. Um, Investment? Like, if you're going to invest yourself in a game, you get better returns with World of Warcraft? Possibly. I can't remember what the argument was, and I don't want to misrepresent it. Someone in chat's going to know. Probably all of chat's going to know. But, um, yeah, there's a, there's a fight going on between the games, and I think the concern right now is that WoW is having its players sapped away by uh, Final Fantasy. Um, I've seen more people talking about Final Fantasy. Yeah. Well, like, like so... I've just seen on... Some streamers, uh, WoW streamers, are moving over, and they get, like... In serious trouble with the WoW community for this. Oh. Because this is the thing, you have to remember, right? Nerd rage, plus if these streamers move away, the less people will be invested, because, you know, it's just how it would work. Yeah. And so they see the move as, like, you are fucking up World of Warcraft when you move away. 
I see. Um, yeah, the the conclusion I've I've been seeing from a lot of people is that Final Fantasy is just offering more than WoW is, or something like, or offering and something that people want. Now it's it's even worse for them because people are just like boycotting Blizzard stuff out yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. All so. that stuff that's happening. That's, yeah, I haven't played a Blizzard game in years. People are saying, "Ask as, call as." As isn't fucking here. Like <laughs> I can't just summon him, but he would know he the answer like, to this. Right? Yeah. Just yell, yell for him. As, you want? as I need you to join the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna send you a link, and then you have to wait for the sound waves, and then in the distance you'll hear. Okay, I'm ready. Don't fucking call me when I'm sleeping. That could be it. I'll ask him if he's awake, and we'll summon him to explain the situation. Just send him that phrase, is he awake? <laughs> uh, what country do you want to visit the most? Um, I don't know. Um, you've already been to the UK. I'd like to go like to like South Korea or Japan, maybe. I, you know, I want like to visit America. Like groovy places. Yeah, I, I mean, is it is it a generic answer to say America because instead of more specifically a particular state or place? Oh well, I most want to go to the Pacific Northwest. So whether that means the U.S. or Canada, either one. But America would be my pick. There's just so much to see. It's a big country. Um, one of the things I saw when I was watching uh, Grand Tour was Jeremy Clarkson was driving through Colombia and he was like, it's not only one of the most gorgeous places ever, but it's also incredibly varied. Like, for every mile you travel, it feels like a completely different biome, but also a beauty. Right. So I, I remember looking at that and being like, man, that'd be neat. Sorry about my phone making noises, but I literally just summoned Daz, and he said he can come if you if we want. <laughs> can explain the situation. If 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 we really want to talk about Final Fantasy fourteen, oh, I meant it'd just be fun. Craft. He sure. can just hang out if he wants to, but also just give us a. I mean, I'm I'm interested to know what the quick version is, especially with sure, everything yeah. falling apart for Blizzard now. It'll be interesting to know that part of it too. Yeah, because I don't play either of those two, so I don't really know much about them. Um, years and years ago, I played WoW for like three months, so that's basically all I know. Yeah, I uh, I know fuck all about WoW. Actually, you know what? I know everything I know about WoW is from South Park. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know if that's embarrassing or not, but hey, what? Do, yeah, how did WoW players feel about the South Park episode? I think they love it. Rags, did you say where you would uh, want to visit? I might have missed it. Yeah, I was saying maybe Japan or South Korea. Hmm. What about Mars? Is there a safe way to explore the surface of Mars? Does that sound enticing to you or boring? That would be my peak choice if there was a safe way to. You yeah. don't. You wouldn't worry that it might the novelty would get dry in like five minutes. Maybe, but it would be like a really invaluable experience to me, I think. Just being going to a different planet. Yeah. I'm not even sure that it would wear dry after five minutes. I mean, I know so I'm picturing, there, I'm picturing like walking in a very dry biome um, again. And and it's like yeah. red rock or whatever for the most part. And you just sort of walk and you're like, yeah, this is this is my... I think the, the feeling of being on a different planet is probably what would override my... Uh... Yeah, exactly. Like, I wonder if that's... If you could visit any of the planets safely, which one would it be? Um... I... The problem is I feel like Jupiter... Well, hmm... I think I might pick Jupiter or Saturn if I could do it safely, because it would be such a foreign experience, because they're not... They're not rocky planets. Um... Oh, like, cool. you'd pick the one that's the least safe because you have the automatic guarantee of safety? Yeah, like, yeah, like, it'd be really interesting to see what it would be like to be, like, on Jupiter. Yeah, um, look at, look at Jay just engaging in bad faith. Mars is a shithole soaked in radiation, you need to live underground with no windows. The deal is it's safe, alright? If it's safe. Yeah. You have your little Iron Man suit and you can fly around, do whatever you want. Gosh, ruining it. 
ruining it. Anyway, hi, Az. How you doing? Oh, uh, hi. Uh, someone mentioned, asked us what our opinion on the difference between WoW and Final Fantasy is, and then I was like, oh, there's like a huge fight going on right now for that those two games, right? Um, in terms of like player base and what they offer and stuff. Well, it's sort of it's sort of a one-sided fight at the moment. That's what I've heard, and uh, yeah, I was just curious. What is, what is the battle? What what happened with those games? What's going on? Well, uh, essentially, World of Warcraft is they've got a gun and they just keep pointing it at their foot and pressing the trigger. Mm. Um, they've got you know they've had an unbelievable customer base for a long time, even before World of Warcraft came out. Um, because of Diablo, because of um, Warcraft 2, Warcraft 3, uh, they built themselves up some real hardcore Warcraft fans. So World of Warcraft, you know, came out and it was an absolute phenomenon. Um, but uh, as things tend to do, Blizzard just seemed to get complacent and, and the game just hasn't been particularly good for a long time, like years now. It's just... Uh, the same old, same old with a lick of paint and they don't innovate, they don't tend to give uh, their audience much to do. So, you know, there's been a loyal audience which has stuck around for a long time and, and, and I, you know, I dropped off a couple of years ago. I tried to give this expansion a, a go. I lasted about three weeks, I think, um, before I was just bored off my head because it's just the same old, same old with a lick of paint. Um... And uh, even the most stalwart of, uh, of of WoW kind of fanatics uh, have now had enough. They really are. And they've, they've been speaking up and they've been speaking out. And, you know, they've been doing this for a, a long time now, saying a lot of the stuff I said about four years ago. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Don't worry about it, guys. It's fine. And, um, and they've kind of reached the end of their tether. And Final Fantasy XIV, um, which has got just a crazy history behind it because it originally came out in 2010 and it was well we, we kind of discussed this didn't we on uh, uh efap a few weeks ago uh, and it was just absolute garbage and um the uh the uh, <laughs> like president of the company sent emails to everyone who had bought it saying we're gonna stop the subscription fee with immediate effect uh, so you don't have to pay a subscription fee to pay. We understand that this game isn't to the standard that we expect, nor nor should you. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and repair this damage for you. And then a few weeks later, we we got another email from him saying um, we can't do it with this team. We're getting rid of this team and we're getting a whole new team in. In effect, so they they got a a, a new a new lead dev. Yoshi P and uh, he tried to fix things with the game he he said uh, after some decent tries you know he, he said I, I can't I can't do it with what I got I need a new engine I need this I need this I need this and so uh, Square Enix made the unprecedented uh, you know I'm really sort of like basing this down by the way there's a lot of there's great documentaries um, on, on YouTube about this but um they said, okay, uh, we're going to shut the game down then. So you can rebuild it in the, you know, in the image that you want it to be. Wow. So they, they, they shut the game down um, and uh, said, we're going to rebuild. Uh, anyone who purchased the game, you will automatically qualify to be uh, a beta tester when it comes available for beta testing, beta testing. And... Uh, and and they released it again in 2013, came out three years later, 2013, called A Realm Reborn, Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. And it was so much better, just so much better of a game. And because of uh, the way that they just went above and beyond that you just wouldn't get with a company nowadays, uh, it, it garnered them, you know, a lot of favor, a lot of curry, and, and people fell in love with, with Yoshi P and his, his uh, work ethic and the, the work ethic of the team. Um, they, uh, th yeah, they incorporated the relaunch of the game, as somebody says there. They, they incorporated that into the storyline, um, which was, which was really clever as well. So the areas were the same in as much as they were the same by name, but they've been drastically altered by the events of the, 
uh, the umbral, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and so uh, throughout the next few years, the game started to gain traction and um, uh, people were just exceedingly happy with it. The first expansion, Heaven's Ward, was received with huge acclaim. And that just happened to coincide with World of Warcraft's release of, uh, uh, what was it called? Warlords of Draenor, fuck me. And that was just an absolute pile of dog shit. And so uh, quite a few WoW, subscriber, uh, WoW subscribers defected over to Final <laughs> Fantasy XIV there and then. I don't want to like, it's, it's funny to me, but it is to be treated that way, right? Like it's like, you will- Yeah, defecting like, is the word, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like, I was mentioning it earlier, but like haven't streamers gotten in trouble with their communities for switching games even temporarily or, or, or people, they get in trouble with like the fans of the games because it's fucking up the, um, let's say the engagement of the game overall. Because if, if a huge streamer moves from one to the other, mm -hmm. that's like a chunk out of that game's support in a way. Well, I mean, we, <laughs> Uh, we've seen that recently, of course, with, with Asmund Gold. Um, he's, he's like, you know, he, he, he gets colossal numbers on Twitch to watch him, uh, normally within three figures. Definitely when he plays WoW, 40, you know, 40, 50,000 plus, mm -hmm. depending on what he's doing. And, uh, he had never, you know, he, he'd sort of toyed with the idea of giving Final Fantasy 14 a try, but he'd never gone ahead and actually done it certainly hadn't done it on stream and um there were there were a bunch of other wow subscribe uh, wow streamers obviously not to the size of him by any stretch of the imagination who had started to move over and play final fantasy 14 uh people like Bowilar, who who was you know he'd do a lot of uh, good stuff for world of warcraft uh, even he was playing final fantasy 14 with his crew and and stuff and uh, so Bowyla decided to give, uh, sorry, um, Zach uh, Asmongold decided to give it a try. And uh, his stream got something insane, like 210,000 people watching. And yeah. a ton of people just flooded to, to Final Fantasy XIV because he's got such massive pull. Yeah, it would, that would do it. Uh, and uh, he, he, I mean, even without Asmund Gold, the game is kind of so popular at the moment. Whenever you log on, you've got a little queue to get in. You're not queuing for long. You're queuing for a minute, maybe maximum. But there's always like a little queue. You know, the server's full. It's, there's your number 30 something in the queue or 45 in the queue or maybe 200 in the queue. And you normally win within a couple of minutes or so. But yeah, a streamer of that sort of magnitude coming on. Wow, you're going to you're gonna bottleneck those servers in in no time and so you're saying how many of them both communities no he didn't piss off communities at all uh it, in actual quite the opposite because uh before zach did it before he went and actually did his stream i do recall before i was booted off twitter mm -hmm. that uh he put out a tweet and his tweet was something along the lines of an i'm paraphrasing uh i might just actually give final fantasy 14 a, a, a go on stream and, and, and uh, Square Enix actually responded to that and went, do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the, the Final Fantasy, uh, you know, main account said, do it. Uh, and so, yeah, so I don't think, you know, I don't think it caused... There, there were some issues with some existing uh, Final Fantasy people. Um, and I wouldn't call them fans per se because uh, the, their attitudes were appalling. Uh, they they just didn't like Asmund Gold, and you know you can like somebody or dislike somebody. That's fine, you know. Um, but they were purposely trying to get him banned during his stream, uh, and there were people who were purposely trying to uh, prevent him from speaking to quest givers, etc., uh, etc., et trying to impede his his uh, progress. Um. And that, that's not how you introduce people to your community, you know, to, and I hate, you know, we all kind of hate the word community, but that's, that's not how you, you introduce people to uh, a game. Um, particularly the, the people who are interested in trying the game because of Asmongold, because of that he played it, who wouldn't normally have even attempted to play the game. Uh, some of them might really enjoy, you know, some of them might really <clears throat> enjoy and, uh, and some of them uh, could be enjoying it, but just found that, 
you know, people dicking around and impeding them was was just going to cause them too much uh, hassle. Do you reckon? But uh, this... um, gone. That with all of this happening and with the newest stuff with Blizzard, that WoW is going to get dethroned. Uh, well, wow well, is its own worst enemy. Uh, I said many years ago now. Uh, I said that the 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 MMO RPG that's going to defeat World of Warcraft is World of Warcraft. That's the only one that's ever going to defeat them. And it's gonna, they're going to defeat themselves through uh, complacency and hubris. And, and that's exactly what they've done. Um, because the game over the course of the last, I mean, I would argue six, seven years now, has literally, they've just turned it into a model of minimum effort, maximum profit. Uh, in terms of the shop, in terms of the content that's given, uh, it, it's, it's just not, it's not engaging. It's not fun. It, you, your brain is a very clever thing, <laughs> and it realizes very quickly uh, when you're just doing the same thing with a with a lick of paint, and that's what Wild just became. Um, whereas Final Fantasy fourteen, they're always trying to do something different in terms of content. So you'd always have your uh, you'd always have your um, you know your specific contents, your dungeons, raids, etc. Uh, but um, they were they were they always tried to put something unique in uh, player housing, guild housing, hunt uh, hunts. Uh, the way that you get your main relic would take you to completely different areas. Uh, treasure dungeons, uh, treasure hunting. You know there was just there's there's loads of different things. Um, I don't know if Preach has, has done with WoW. I, I've never had a, a relationship with Preach, so I, I don't know. Um, the last I, I heard about Preach, he was actually very pro WoW, but that was probably maybe a year, 18 months ago now. Um, uh, and so World of Warcraft doesn't have any what you would call like non-combative downtime content. Uh, you know, nothing to kind of like chill out to, nothing to really kind of aspire to. It's always sort of fight, 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 some variation of fighting, fighting, always fighting, always fighting. No sort of player housing to chill, no hunting or crafting to to build stuff for your your property. You know, you know, just the lovely little geeky things that us geeks love to do. Oh, apparently that the guy um, you're talking about, he's he released a video today saying he's done. Apparently. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so preach is <laughs> done, is he? Okay. And he was like I said, yeah, maybe only about eighteen months ago he was very pro. Uh, pro wow. I don't know if the preach decision has got anything to do with the lawsuit or anything, or maybe yeah, it's it just. Do. Might had enough or whatever um but uh yeah it, it wow just has refused with its amazing and it has had an amazing uh player base it really has i mean they are insanely loyal uh you know anyway I, you know yeah, I, 17 I, years jesus yeah, yeah i and and then some of the you know there's a lot of investment which goes into the game in that time by people and i do you know i think there's also a fear from them that if they were to, you know if they were to leave oh, yeah they would feel that they're just just wasted the time however you know we're now getting the biggest people who have been on the game for the longest of times who have Moving got away. god knows what amazing things you know the most uh rare of rare objects in the game just going i've fucking had enough you know i've, I've had enough um because it just doesn't appear as if Blau uh, blizzard care they just don't care about the game it's just a property to be milked and um just the effort that yoshi p i mean yoshi p, i mean you know people might find this sappy i find it beautiful myself <laughs> but um but yoshi p when they had their uh recent um like fan fest and stuff they have like multiple fan fests they go around different continents so they'll have a fan fest in america fan fest in europe fan fest in japan so they'll have like three fan fests and uh he was just like brought to tears by the support from the audience you know and it's like god this guy, you know when you just see how how much somebody really genuinely cares about their product and he does he he massively i mean he's not gonna say yes to everything you know he's actually you know quite like you know no can't do this it's just not gonna happen sorry <laughs> you know so he's not afraid to to say what they can and can't do but He'll bend over backwards to try and make something happen if if the community really really want it. 
Do you think that um, there's any issue of complacency with the World of Warcraft they've... because it's like the most oh, popular? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I think they got they got to a point where they thought um, our customer we've probably got a solid X million, right? Yeah, loyal fans. So even if we lose the casuals, fuck it. Um, yeah. These people are spending. I mean, they, they are spending insane amounts of money, uh, race changing, uh, gender changing characters, faction changing you characters. Have to pay to do that. I know, and Blizzard is putting the most crazy prices on them as well. Like crazy prices. Jesus. Um, I feel like Blizzard has been nickel and diming in every game they make, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I think for the last ooh, the last four years, maybe. Um, the P in your P stands for precious. Uh, but yeah, I, I yeah, I think. I mean, look, you know, it's it's the same with the Overwatch community. They're not they're not uh, happy either. Yeah, like heroes it seems of the like storm. Overwatch, they gave Overwatch. you know they gave up on that star. Uh, yeah. Star what's it called? Starcraft. Starcraft given up on that. It's just every everything's just been given up on. And where's the new IP? There's no new IPs or anything. And. Um, uh, Final Fantasy XIV is going in exciting places for the player base. This coming expansion, which releases uh, November of this year, is actually going to be the final expansion of this story, which started in 2013. This story is coming to an end, but the game isn't. No, the game will live on clearly because yeah. it's really popular it's now. It's just, it's just crazy yeah, they, to think well, about like that this is happening. They're going to create a new story. There's going to be um, a new story, a new pathway to go, a whole I new... Guess, is it crazy that this would happen? It's like you have a game that is just... It's always been on top of the world. They can mm. do no wrong. It's Blizzard. They're great. They're awesome. Um, and then, meanwhile, you have like this other game that because it's not on top, they have to work their way to the top. They have to try harder to be better. And eventually, it becomes impossible to ignore that there's another game that is better. By the sounds of it, I don't, I don't know shit about World of Warcraft. Or no, like no, I, I get what you're both. saying. I, yeah. I, but what I would probably say, and this might ruffle some feathers, I've never ruffled feathers on an EVE <laughs> at all. Um, I think it's got to do with work ethic. I really do. Uh, Maybe, yeah. I think it's got to do with the the work ethic of of this Japanese company versus the work ethic of these wow devs i mean i've always been very um sort of combative with the wow devs because they've just always come across as people who just have no spirit no love no true desire they've always come across as boring and dull and well like you know you feel could it be also explained by the fact that they're just trying to generate better and better ways of making more and more money rather than yeah yeah easily yeah yeah this seems really disappointing uh, to me. It makes a lot of money. World of Warcraft makes a lot of money. It makes a lot has. of money. I mean, even even this last expansion, which um, it's you know it's not particularly, like I said, I lasted I think three weeks before I was just like, I just can't be asked. Maybe sit, I think actually maybe, yes, three weeks, three four weeks, and I was just like, I can't do this anymore. This and it kind of shit. kind of feels like the only reason they get away with it is because they have for a long time. I feel like. Do, that, hey man. do you still have to pay 15 bucks a month to like play this game online or? Well, I I think, um, you know, feel free to disagree with this one. Uh, but I think people like um, Bellular, Preach, um, Method as a, as a guild, Gold, I think those those hitters have kept people playing the game. Maybe, I think yeah. if, if, true, if yeah. they... If if they didn't if they weren't playing wow if they weren't supporting wow the way that they they had done i mean by the looks of it they're all i think you know, pretty much on the bail now we'd all but... agree that they've had a significant impact we just don't know i guess we don't know how much of an impact compared to exactly the I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't, quite, yeah couldn't quantify what it is but i but i definitely think it's you know probably tens of thousands of players at oh. the very least so that's the interesting thing i remember from watching one of those videos is that um uh Final Fantasy players to new people are like, they're encouraged to be friendly and helpful, or they are, while WoW is a lot less friendly to new players or something, right? Um, yeah, I mean, there's, um, I mean. there's just, well, it's not just attitudes, there's actually inbuilt game systems to help new players, uh, even if you're an existing player. For an example, um, Final Fantasy XIV has a mentor system where you can apply to actually become a mentor. Uh, and that will give you like a, a symbol next to your name and uh, new players can talk to you, uh, can ask you questions and you are 
like designated as almost like a you know a helper for them um so so you know it's a great way for a, a new player to come in and be able to ask answer, ask questions and a cool be able to without being called all, all names under the sun and even without the mentor system I mean, the mentor system is great because it, it specifically uh targets people who really want to help which is great uh but even without the mentor system i mean i remember you know playing and being a complete noob and uh trying to discover things out and find things out and you just you just whisper somebody and go hey excuse me do you know how to do this and they just, just be like oh yeah you just do this do this or go there Whoa. You know, but but, if you, but normally if somebody went into the trade chat in WoW, for example, and just went, hey, I'm new, can somebody tell me how to, I don't know, queue up for a dungeon? You just get people going, oh, fuck off, you fucking noob, you retard. You know, you just, they'd just be, it just suddenly, and then everyone just start fighting with everyone in trade chat, as trade chat kind of does. Um, so, you know, I mean, that's, eight, I mean, just kind of being typical, it's not always the case, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it, there's definitely, definitely uh because i played final fantasy 14 since you know as day one 2010 uh yeah 2010 uh and i've been subscribed to it ever since um so uh you know i've had a a, a lot of experience with the game and it, it is poles apart to world of warcraft in terms of how friendly players are to each other how they help each other and like you go into a dungeon you go into a raid with with final fantasy 14 and you just say, hey, this is my first time here. And they'll be like, no problem. And normally somebody will like just like give you the tactics uh, on the boss fight. Um, because the game sort of um, highlights some of it, you know, it's up to you to just like do your own dodging. There's nothing they can do about that. But if there's any specific mechanics, they tend to just say, you know, this, this, watch out for this mechanic when this happens, do this or, or whatever. And it just tends to be, in general, just much more helpful. Um, and uh yeah it just it just breeds far better sort of cooperation between players because you, you like like the boys season two you get things done women get things oh done oh my you know? god knew it mm. <laughs> yeah it's uh, uh, quite, yeah. quite a situation for them to be in though because of with these lawsuits and then also the game having a great competitor it's just like man this could be the beginning of a huge downfall for blizzard well, this is this lawsuit is kind of this has come at the most disastrous probably time for Blizzard because already people were we're done with with right, and now but, now people are like oh you're like really shit to your employees too yeah Jesus. yeah, like, yeah. What the hell is going you're, on? you've got a Bill Cosby room and you you bring yeah, people that, up. That yeah is. what I uh, it's so a room weird. that a room that hands out sweaters kind so, of sweater it's, puppies it's maybe bizarre um and also like the fact that a bunch of employees are just like not refusing to work it's like man and you don't even have people who can like fix your fucking games anymore either because like they just refuse to work for you remember well, when uh, starcraft yeah. was a thing <laughs> yeah once upon a it, time it used to be massive starcraft this is really bad pr for like you know there was very nearly a, a, a starcraft like mmorpg like wow that's what that's what people were waiting for. They were all waiting for the announcement at BlizzCon for StarCraft World or whatever it would have been called. Um, mm -hmm. That's how popular that was, and now it's just nothing. But yeah, at the moment, I mean, one of the developers at uh, Blizzard uh, said uh, a couple of days ago that um, uh, work on World of Warcraft is just ground to a halt right now. It's just there's nothing happening. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. Um. And it, and he kind of intimated that that's probably going to be the case until something happens with this, you know, uh, lawsuit or whatnot. And and anyway, I mean, this expansion has been heavily criticised. The latest expansion was heavily criticised because they just weren't putting out any content. They just were not putting out any content, and it took, I don't know, something was it like, you know, if there's somebody here who's actually playing well, it's about nine months until you got your first nine point one patch. Um. So yeah, I I don't know. Cosby did nothing wrong. I have to take that back. I didn't say did anything wrong. I just said there's a Cosby room. That's what I said. Yeah, you're implying that all those things he did are wrong. So I don't, I don't know. No, there's chat. I mean, yeah, there's chat. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying like maybe I don't know. 
What, what were they wearing? That's all I'm saying. Oh my He's a free God. man. He is a free <laughs> man, that is true. You know who else is yeah, free? He's, yeah, he's a free man. man. Amber Heard got away scot free too. Yeah, well, for now. Yeah. I mean, I doubt anything will come of like that. Which is probably fine. Uh, I don't know about like career wise, but like in terms of. I don't Do you know there are still general, people I'm aware of, like on Twitter stuff, discussing how uh, Fantastic Beasts wasn't just destroyed because it was poorly written, but because of Johnny Depp? I'm just like. Oh. Um, right. Okay. They're, they're like, what he did is like what helped destroy that franchise. I'm like, what he did. Okay. What he did? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. A lot of people. A lot okay, of people yeah. think that, that direction, you know? Um, but yeah, hopefully that was a good answer for the super chat asking us what do we think about the <laughs> WoW vs. Oh, Final what? Fantasy. Oh, that was literally just a super chat, okay. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, a lot of people were like, you need to get Az to speak on this. It's like, well, I can't just summon him. And then, uh, I guess you I You underestimate my power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he went, oh, wait, no, I can summon him. I have a summoning ability. Yes. So yeah, you are, you are welcome, spell. obviously, to... Not that you were demanded to come here, but you're welcome to do whatever you want. We're, we're, we'll probably go for a little longer. Uh, we're, just, we're just answering Super Chats. Catching up as you okay. do. That's fine. If, okay, yeah, if there's any questions, I'll just stick around just in case there's any questions about it. Sure. Um, I should mention you can build and create your own dinosaurs in LEGO Jurassic World. Stay massive and high fringy in rags. Hey. My goodness gracious. When you say create I your own dinosaurs... I thought all of the dinosaurs... Well, all the dinosaurs were created because it's all a plot by Satan. Jesus. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> plot by Jesus. <laughs> this is like Jesus and Satan working together to make dinosaurs. I can see it. <laughs> we're going to make them believe that they're... Yeah. God's like, Jesus, you Jesus hang out with Satan again. And he's like, no. <laughs> no. No, dad. Don't Jesus come down wanted, here. He wanted the birds, and then Satan wanted the, the demons, birds. and so they ended up creating <laughs> a mixture of them dinosaurs. I was gonna say, this dinosaur creator in the LEGO Star Wars game, can you make a T-Rex with Velociraptor legs? So it's just like, this horrible thing that can barely move. I don't know, I feel like that would be cruel. Like finally, big arms. <laughs> uh, you tell that frog, Rags, America and Canada for the win. Canada. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Frankie? Is that all good? Mm-hmm. Oh. Entitled to your opinion. Alright. Um, didn't receive a notification for this stream, and now I'm late to the brothel. Hello, y'all. So, yeah, if you don't know, I guess it may have been a misspelling or something, but AT80 chat said, like, don't get tangled up with Mola, he'll send his brothel after you. <laughs> oh, brothel? <laughs> Which I'm just he like... He must have <laughs> what? a different word, surely. I think Where he meant brood, but, it, like, the toxic brood, but he said brothel. <laughs> Sending oh. my brothel. Maybe he meant... Maybe he meant brothel? Brothel, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's you, you wait, you're like you're supposed to be like insulted by him, like sort of messing around with you, but you just sitting there like, what, what are you, what is happening? Why are you saying this? Uh, do you have fresh water, Fringy? Hmm, thought not. Hmm. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Does it count if you import it all from Freshwater Island? Freshwater <laughs> island. It's an island made of fresh water in the middle of salt water. Yeah. Or or just or that's what a lake is. It's a freshwater island. I suppose so. What is the natural way that Earth re removes the salt from water into like drinkable in streams and stuff? I I think it's well, rain, it right? goes. Is it rain? Yeah, it goes from streams to the ocean. Mm -hmm. So, oh. oh, so I forget because I fucking remember being taught all of the process. Rivers of... tend to start in mountains. That's the main thing. Rivers tend to flow from higher. Wait, so up what is their and... source? Is it rain? I think so. Yeah. The source of streams. Uh, yeah, it'll generally be rain. It's usually from snow rainy melting, areas. Huh. And uh, underground uh, springs. Yeah. I think. Boing. And it, as for like weak. how how water gets converted from salt water to fresh water. I'm pretty sure it's evaporation. Oh. The yeah, more you know. Evaporation just takes the water yeah. and leaves the salt behind. And then do, it goes do, downhill. Do, do, do. 
you know what? I don't else know. Is... These are questions for geologists and things. Like I don't. <laughs> well, you know I what, Ryan? Know... You, you did a fine job of answering it, even though you're not a geologist. So nice. Thanks. Do my oh, best okay. to try to put two oh. and two together whenever I can. I contributed. Yes. Oh, I mean, I, f I feel like I feel like everybody had a hand in it. You know, you don't have to just single yourself out there for any geez. Nice one, Rags. <laughs> I wish you told me it was like su it's a super chat. I wouldn't have gone on for twenty eight minutes. Oh, I, mean, I was I was fine with that. I, 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 this will be useful information going forward. Now I yeah. will know. So when people yeah. say like, "Oh my God, have you heard about the newest thing with Blizzard?" I'll be like, "I know all about it because I listened to Heal versus Babyface." <laughs> and they'll be like, "What kind of fucking name is that?" <laughs> yeah, he, he was what? Is, he it, um, is it Mister? Is it Mister Babyface or Mister? I, I guess I'm so I don't. I... Mister Face. I was watching. Uh, I was watching a stream the other day, a couple of days ago. From um, have you seen? Bat in the Sun's Batman film that they did recently, Dying is Easy, fan no. film. No. Okay, it's it's really good. Oh. It's it's really good. It was crowdfunded and um they they made it and it's it's really good. It's like 25 minutes long or something. Uh so I, I recommend that if you're into into actually watching some some good Batman, uh go check it out. And uh the, the director was uh was just doing like a you know live stream he'd just been to the gym or something and was just about to drive away so he's it's sat in his car just doing a quick little live stream q a and because i really liked the um the the fan film and i i had missed the crowdfunding you know period i didn't i didn't realize they're even making it i uh i just chucked you know i chucked a a, a you know a, a a nice donation at him to say, you know, thanks. I thought he's great. And he he reads my name out as as Andrea Babyface. <laughs> Andrea Babyface. He's just like he, he thought you were like a stripper or something. That was your name. Calling me she. It's like, oh, that's a, this is a really nice team chat she just gave there. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> You know, if you want to reach Andrew out on on, uh, on Instagram and say hello, <laughs> I'll be more than happy for her to to do that. And I'm just sort of like there, like so. Oh, he misgendered no. you, huh? He misgendered wow. me. Damn man. As uh, as like yeah, could it like be an Andrew, Andrew or, or Amelie Babyface. So I think it's actually the first time in my life I've been misgendered, and possibly hit on. <laughs> uh, remember when RLM criticized the Phantom Phantom Menace? Phantom Menace, fucking hell! I say the other one too much, so I just confuse them. <laughs> the Phantom Menace <laughs> for having perfect choreography. How did good choreography become a reason to hate the prequels? Um, well, if you remember, Red Alert Media were a big fan of the uh, TFA sort of styles of like hacking away at people because they said it felt a lot more real than perfect choreography. Um. I think there is an argument to be had, depending on who holds the lightsaber and stuff. But fuck me, I will take the prequels choreography a million times over yep. before seeing the sequels one again. Yeah, sequels are... Ugh, they got some... Their fights are just... I don't believe them. They're too... So, the choreography of the prequels, I can believe that these are extremely experienced Jedi having a fight. But the sequels come across as, these are just actors who practice some moves. Well, it was in the um, documentary thing where the guy was like, I was supposed to spend like three days teaching Daisy how to do this, but she learned it in like an hour, so we're all good to go. It's like, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, it's just an hour. She's that, she's just that good. I think uh, the joke E.R. made was she's a Mary Sue in real life. <laughs> she just fucking wins at everything. I don't know. I, uh, I kind of liked the choreography in Return of the Jedi. That's the choreography I kind of liked. Well, um, I'm a we, fan of a lot of the OT stuff. I really like the Luke Vader fight in Bespin. Yeah. It's fucking great. Yeah, that's awesome as well. Um, and yeah, I just hope going forward we... I don't know what the fuck they were doing in the sequels. They didn't give a shit. Like, which, which is hard to say sometimes, right? Because like you see the behind-the-scenes stuff for all of the effort they put in for the throne room fight. But like... They didn't. They didn't wait and work really hard to get all the best cuts, the best 
because there's so many fucking mistakes. And you might be like, yeah, but they, you know, it's a really hard thing to do. And I'm like, yeah, but that not that the hard part is to go until you get the right, you know, takes? <laughs> isn't that the, what we call, point? Like, you, like you, 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 the everyone Kubrick has the... Wasn't that's the thing, man. Didn't he do like a thousand takes of the blood elevator? <laughs> like, he's... <laughs> he's something he's like 50 takes or something, wasn't it? It's crazy. He's like, yeah, he's known for that. He'll just do a bazillion takes till he gets the one he thinks is correct. Um... I'm not gonna say that you have to do that, but Jesus, like, when you have so many people waiting for their cues because so many other people are missing them or whatever, and you're just like, oh man, are we going with this? And that's how I wonder if maybe Ryan's just too friendly as a director, where he's just like, that's fine, let's move on. And you're just like, oh. Friendly or doesn't care. Complacent, you know? <laughs> maybe. Yeah, take pick one, really. I mean, well, he, he writes his script originally and, like, puts random little notes in a, in a book and then just compiles that into a script. And, uh, as, as we know, it was, what was it, 70% the first draft? Which to me oh. is like, man, Star Wars episode, just coming right after TFA, and that's how it was done. And you might be like, well, someone could make a great script out of that. And it's like, yeah, someone could, but, <laughs> like, it wasn't could. him. And that person is not Ryan Johnson. Uh... No. I still stand proud that I've never seen the Rise of Skywalker. However, I did watch Mauler's Rise of Skywalker video. Which is difference? 10 minutes shorter than the film, I think. So, valid criticism. <gasps> Dang you. <laughs> I win. Um, Bob Vids did an excellent video on how Bluba team, devs of Layers of Fear, ripped off a ton of assets for nearly all of their games. Check it out. Damn. I might check that out because I, was a, I I liked Layers of Fear when I first played it, but if, if it's all like ripped off stuff, that's gonna make me feel a little bit oh really uncomfortable. Uh, that's on my wish list. That's one of my save for later games. Oh, uh -oh. check out this video. Uh oh. Um, you know else? Oh, and, hey, best wishes to Bob Odenkirk. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, that is a man who's worked very hard, and. I w that's what I was worried about when he first said it, that he collapsed, like, oh god, please don't tell me he overworked himself, and he, like... Because, mm. um... Yeah, that happens to a lot of actors, where they just they just keep pumping content out, and eventually just go... Yeah. It is his heart. We do know that. Yeah. But we don't know what, like, permanent damage there he's, is, if any. He's okay. Yeah, we, do, we don't know the permanent... He's, they, they said it's... There will be a, a long time of rehabilitation. And so, uh, yeah. Sad, because uh, nobody's really good as well. I did enjoy that. I just feel bad for... Well, he just, he's just a good actor. Everything I see him do anything in, he's mm. just really good. So, um, I appreciate Very his... natural actor. Yeah. Yeah, I remember first seeing him all that time ago in Breaking Bad the first time. I was like, holy shit, this guy's good. And then it turns out he's had like a Saul. huge career before that. Yeah. So like, he's yeah, got you know, a unique voice. He does. Yes. Um, you know what else is funny? A week yeah. ago, I thought, huh, why do we say Ooh. when Wednesday when there's a D in there? Look it up. It's neat stuff. Wed Wednesday? Wednesday. Do you guys, do you guys, do you guys know right. why it's silent? I have no idea. I, I do either. not know. Anybody want to Google that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious as well. You don't have let me, to. Yeah, let me do it. Wed... Uh, let's see. Wednesday. Wednesday um, is what it used to be. According to chat. Wednesday. Right. Comes from... It comes from the old English word Wodenestag, which honors the Germanic god Woden. Mm. Um, so, is it... Uh, but yeah, when, everyone says wins day, um, but I don't... Let me see. Why it's not pr approached the way it's spelled, it's pronounced the way it's... Uh, um, doop do. Adapted over time, did the thing. The as it moved to Old English to Middle English, spelling change. Uh, letters appear in word spelling, but not in pronunciation. I don't, I don't care. It's just 
like I guess when it changed languages and something, it just sort of eventually kept the D that was in there. But just the, I guess that's what happened. You like it when they keep the D. <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, I don't. I want them to give the D. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe there's room for both. They took I do not the want D. it kept. I don't want it kept from me. It's mine. I deserve it. What <laughs> if it's, it's kept mine for now. you temporarily? Like, like if it's saved for like me, you... like until I get yeah. home. Yeah, you deposit it perhaps in mm. some oh. form of a pocket, and they keep it safe in there until you wish to have it. Like retained. someone else? Go sure, anybody. I don't know. Maybe that's kind of hot too, in a way. Yeah. See. Gives gives off those gives off those stud vibes. Mm hmm. Mm. I know all about that. I'm playing the Lego games. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Lots of studs in those. You gotta you gotta collect them to become a true Jedi. Uh huh. True adventurer in this game. Oh, a true adventurer. Yeah, this is an Indiana Jonesy onesie. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. <laughs> um. Shut up, man. Joke's on you, Stop Mola. It. We can yell at the internet and summon as praised unto the blessed heel on babyface. Yeah, apparently it worked. <laughs> so nice. The kind of spells was they can cast. Just about to go to bed and then I ruined just your about night. To shut everything off and yeah, and then then I I I uh, just like the Ghostbusters 2016. I answered the call. You oh, oh. yes, beautiful. Nobody's answering their calls anymore. I saw a tweet from a, a, a uh, blue chat mark today, and it was uh, complaining, obviously, about the uh, the Ghostbusters trailer from yesterday, as they do. And uh, it's and they said something along the lines of, um, wasn't Ghostbusters like meant to be? funny i didn't think there was anything like funny. oh yeah uh patrick willem said that he thought ghostbusters was supposed to be funny after watching the trailer to me i'm just like i mean the trailer doesn't really tell you what what movie we're getting for sure it's just giving you a, a tease you yeah know? it's a tra it's a teaser trailer yeah like I, <laughs> or, yeah a, a trailer supposed to be telling you everything that's in the film and also how dare you restrict how much they can do with their story it maybe feels... they will tell us Feels, story feels weird. Felt felt really weird to read. Yeah. Well, the irony was I I decided to look at the uh, the bio for the person, and uh, they were a Saturday Night Live writer, and I thought, oh, oh. okay. Are they are they allowed to? Hmm, that's so interesting. they don't they don't know how to identify funny things. They don't. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. They they wouldn't have a clue with funny anyway. I'm surprised they, they would anything. publicly shit on a. Okay, maybe that is becoming more accepted as a thing. I'm not against it, obviously. Because a lot of be allowed to uh, shit on things. The fucking Saturday Night Live actors were in the 2016 Ghostbusters, right? They were. Maybe that. Maybe, maybe that that's it. To maybe do with that's it. the connection. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. How there are right. a lot of Saturday Night Live actors in that. How dare you? <laughs> it deserved a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Night. actually thinking that? Mm. Oh, I'm sure they all did. I'm sure they all they had the sequel hook, you remember? Uh Zool was on the phone. Yes. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> yeah. <So> just die. <laughs> <laughs> just just stop. Die and stay dead. <laughs> Nobody this likes is another, you. <laughs> this is another film that I'm proud to say I I never watched it. Never well. watched. I drag Ghost these guys into an EFAP movies for it. I recommend you watch us watch it through that. Well, I wasn't in that EFAP movies. Oh, were you not? Yeah, I watched that. No, I watched I've that. just seen it. I watched the EFAP movie of you watching it. <laughs> yeah, we watched, Shitty we dragged improv. Drinker into it. And Drinker said he's seen it like three times in total now in his life or something. And I was like, oh god, oh. What, have we, what have we done? Many, too many times to watch that. Yeah. Can't help but feel real bad for him. Hope he's okay. There's a lot of... Uh, yeah. <laughs> he has a lot of bleach to <laughs> really make sure that it doesn't stay stay a long term memory. Longman, I'm now convinced you are a level 100 summoner for well summoning as from the ether. <laughs> What's next? Necromancy? If so, please bring back Christopher Lee and be on standby for old Charles. Oh hell yeah, yeah. Oh hell yeah. Imagine if you had the power to bring back one like person in history man that would be such a fucking difficult choice wouldn't it oh, oh hitler yeah. easy no question 
Would <laughs> just want to ask him questions? Is that why? Or... Sure. Guess what is it with you and Jews? Mm hmm. Can't you work it out? Can't you what is, what is it with you and Germans? Hitler, I want you to see all of the media about you now. How does that make you feel? <laughs> That's your legacy. What do you think? I think you'd be, you'd be like, fuck off. Like, really? I wasn't that Trip bad. Session. <laughs> Hitler, do you know that your I, name... I said earlier I thought that he, he had he was a talented artist. Oh, you, you yeah, you let him know that. But I I just uh, to tell him that the the culture has moved in such a way that if anybody is doing anything that's like an extreme bad, it'll be compared to you immediately. Like you're just the go-to. I wonder if he'd be like, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. Oh. Well. Of course, as they say, history is written by the victors. Not necessarily never the, the truces. <laughs> The truth of who I am as a person. Everyone asks why Hitler, why? They never ask how Hitler, how? I thought we knew how. I'd want to watch Jojo Rabbit with him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I want, to see, I want to see what he has to say about Star Wars. <laughs> Dude, imagine he hated TLJ. He's just like, what, oh, hey, Hitler, Hitler, how do you, what, what, how do you what feel about Star Wars, Hitler? I thought it was shit. See, he's not all bad. Like, he's but how he's is, not all what, bad. Whatever became of Germany, what happened to my country and my homeland and my people? It's like, that's not important. I need TLJ. you to watch this, these movies. <laughs> I, I brought you back from the dead, you know. He's like, throw me a bone here. He's really unhappy that he has to do it. He doesn't want to talk, but then after that f little bit of the opening scene, he's like, Wait, does the bombs drop because of gravity? Or is it, how is that happening? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, why is there gravity in space? I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> all, all of why, my people helped, they... you, helped you get to the moon. Why have you done this? Why would this Hux person be in charge? He's stupid. <laughs> What has his mother got to do with anything in this scenario? And it's very confused. Hitler reacts. This, this you know that'd be an incredibly this, popular channel. This, this poor Dameron fellow. He's I like his fighting spirit. He knows when. Why to do attack. they punish him? He, he is kind. <laughs> yes, he strikes when the iron is hot. He he's a proper blitzkrieger. And the only hot take he has is he's a huge fan of Holdo. He's like this Holdo person. Active. I just I her like sense, the purple her hair. Very striking <laughs> of her. <laughs> and then I everyone like would want to know Hitler's back. opinions on everything. People wouldn't stop. They'd be like, please, Hitler, tell us more. <laughs> what do you think of the new Hitler? Hitler? What do you feel about Crocs with socks? <laughs> I mean, we have to know. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate that everybody has a choice when they have this fashion. I understand the potential comfort and the utility, but it looks very <laughs> silly and it must be stopped. Hello, what about pineapple on a pizza? He's just silent. It looks at you. <laughs> a what? A what? What is a what is a pizza? I oh, finally know. the Italians made the thing that was not a complete failure. <laughs> oh my God, a sassy Hitler! That would be fucking great. <laughs> oh, you know he'd be sassy. <laughs> Imagine the pressure, though. It's just a channel Hitler reacts. You, uh, if you got to choose to bring one person back, all of the people who would want you to pick whoever, you just end up going with, like, a random guy called Bill. You just, you just don't want the pressure of getting the wrong ones. You're just like, that guy. He's, like, yeah, a really Hitler wholesome dude. The fine brothers. I, I almost feel like you're playing with fire, you know, like, never meet your heroes. So you like you get George How Washington in, in reference to Hitler? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, like it. <laughs> like if you, if you, if you mean like George Washington or something, and you brought him back in time, or back to life, could you imagine? Like if he was an asshole? Yeah, I just. <laughs> like, would you be worried that Abraham Lincoln would slip the N word out? And he would, you know. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, I guess no. what I'm saying is that would that not be incredibly concerning? I liked you better in Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> I liked you better as a vampire hunter. Hitler thoughts on wow. vampires. Oh yeah, we we, we, 
We, this was a biography that was done a few, a few years ago. <laughs> Tell how us accurate. how accurate it is. <laughs> what, what's, what did they call it? The the Great Emancipator? Did they call it the the Freer of the Slaves? The the the, the, the Paragon of the Union? The man who, who brought the Civil War to a close and kept this great country united? Like, no, it's called Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> how old are vampires? They played, like, what do you they know what they pretty straight. <laughs> Oh. I, I do not recall saving any vampires in my day. I don't need to be like, why are we the persecuting the vampires? <laughs> I did not slay the vampires. Is this in an allegory? <laughs> no. Don't appreciate. I did not slay any vampires, and I cannot tell a lie. <laughs> Uh, Rig time. Never Hitler, was. Did you kill any vampires? Never was a fan of Asmongold. I didn't like his attitude toward Dark Souls. He kept saying they were easy while fat rolling for the most of them. In fairness, <laughs> that is a valid way to play them. What is fat rolling? It means that you. Is that what a fat person just like rolls? I don't know. Is that the process of becoming very fat? Is fat rolling? Um. Like I'm gonna go to the TCBY and fat roll. I'm off to Pizza Hut to fat roll. I'm off to Pizza Hut. I, I'm taking Hitler to the Pizza Hut so he can <laughs> yeah. fat roll. It does sound like it could be that. Like, the process of becoming fatter involves fat rolling. And you're like, what is that? It's like, you just gotta roll up your fat. You gotta really get it in there. You know? All right there, sugar. I got your order ready. Uh, your number is 17. What number, uh, what name should I put on the ticket? Uh, Adolf? Thank you. <laughs> How did he sneak into this other joke? <laughs> That ain't You've been playing by what, credit he card. He invaded this other joke. <laughs> yeah, is that what you're saying? He said like in Poland. <laughs> Never meet your heroes. <laughs> what is a credit card? I don't understand. Understanden. So Understanden. Oh, I know my German. Did you ever find those portals to the Nether world? Um, but yeah, I don't know if so. If you. Uh, do a strict, like, full armor set, and, and you level up really high, and then you go after the enemies in Dark Souls, and you say, that's easy? I'd be like, I mean, kinda, yeah. Um, maybe try it without the armor, see how, see how you go, just for a bit of fun. Just see, see if they... Funnily enough, I'm saying all of this, when a lot of pro players consider the game easier without armor, so... Um, because obviously it's a balancing act, so... Yeah. Um... I don't know, if you watch YMS play Dark Souls, alright, you'll understand a new form of nightmare. Um, oh my god, I'm surprised you're even allowed to ask questions like this on YouTube. I feel like TOS would prevent you. Um, uh, hello, Rags. Hello! Thoughts on George Floyd? He died of that overdose, right? I, I, I think it was a little bit more controversial than that. Uh, well, it's controversial. Oh. Is it controversial? I don't, I don't know. Like, like the, the, the event of I don't, that. I've met him. Oh, sure. The events themselves are controversial, but I mean, the events. Why are the guys kissing on the screen? Indiana Jones. Ah, uh, Doctor Jones. <laughs> um. Yeah. He. Is that? I don't want to talk about that subject, <laughs> but uh, we we can yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's to this day. Well, I mean, there, there's a court case over it, right? I, I'm not gonna. I, I'm and not he was shit. convicted. Yeah. So, uh, we'll just. I'm just gonna skid on by that one. Um, I was, I'm curious. I guess I'm curious what the leg on his neck had to do with his death. I don't like. I, I'm not sure. Are you? Is are you that, fucking was, around or like? Or are you, you like joking? No. Was it? <laughs> I thought it was like. Was it a heart attack? Like. Like I don't know. I I, I don't know what the thing is uh for what i understand he couldn't breathe from the oh that's not good you can't do that so given your takes on oh, hitler <laughs> let's go get back to hitler <laughs> <quickly>. <laughs> hitler's less controversial <laughs> Uh, given your takes on Atla, I'm scared to ask, but thoughts on Samurai Jack excluding the last couple of episodes of season 5? I have not seen it. 
I have not seen enough in a long time to really form opinion on Samurai Jack. I saw an episode here and there when I was young, but that's really the extent of my Samurai Jack knowledge. I got, I got none. I just know that it's a neat show that people really like. Did it have a bad ending? Is that, is that what people are referencing? I don't know. It came back recently, and uh, I'd kind of heard a couple of not so good things about uh, the way that dealt with this this him coming back. But his old series used to be amazing. It used to be really cool. That's what I hear. Yeah. Um... I used to love me some Samurai and Johnny Bravo. I did used to like some Johnny Bravo. I've seen well. a lot of Johnny Bravo. I only remember liking it. Mm -hmm. Is he going to get remade and ruined? I feel like that's a... Oh, yes. they won't remake Johnny Bravo. But would they He's remake too... it and ruin it, though? Uh... If they remade it, they would ruin it. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Like... But it won't be remade. I don't think it would be remade. I don't think he'd come back as an, uh, like a female ally or something. <laughs> Jane so, Bravo. Yeah. Jenna Bravo. Mmm. Johnny is Johnny like Bravo's in jail. incredibly talented. Well, would they make would they make her really hot or really ugly? Uh fat and ugly. Fat and ugly. <laughs> Wait, but, people, is it... so, but are people still gonna like really, really find her hot regardless? No. Maybe they'll They're tell you find to. Her disgusting. But that's oh. the point from the showrunner, the show, and be like, "Not for you." You not tell me we won't be able case. to fap to Johnny Bravo. That's unacceptable. Yeah. This, this is this is what you can't fap to anymore, boys. Your time's up. Challenge accepted. Feminist. <laughs> Fem <laughs> you just said feminism. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Uh. Keep forgetting to ask, but who was your favorite character in Atlam usually? That is Iro. I honestly don't even know that it's a competition. He's, uh, he's, he's I can't remember, I've, I think someone asked me this before on stream. I had a second, I think, but Iro is, is, is boss. Um, and, it's oh, hard yeah. to choose from that incredibly rich cast of incredible characters. You no, know, Rags, I could have gotten through it without mentioning that in any way, shape, or form. I could have just said Iroh was my no, favorite. No, no, what, what, I was just, I was just asking. I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't, I don't, I did because you know, clearly, I don't know anything. So I was, I was just asking for your, you know, thing. absolutely. But if yeah, you don't know, I, that's fine. That's well, fine if you don't know. That's, you know, that's you don't I'm saying Iroh is that good that it makes the decision easy. It's not the little Asian oh, the edge. Fair enough. I did. Sure, I yeah. I abuse the Lego characters all the time in this. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, see, Lego games let you kill children, so they're more edgy than most games. Uh, more edgy than uh, Fable. The Fallout games don't let you kill Eld kids, right? Elder Scrolls. Bioshock Infinite didn't let you do it. <clears throat> There's lots of games which don't let you kill the kids. Can't kill the kids. Can't kill them. Yeah, bad bad games. Lava. Ugh. Why did they ruin all the fun? <laughs> any any game that prevents you from murdering children is a bad game. Absolutely. <laughs> On principle. Yes. Children should be treated like they're treated in Jurassic Park Reality. 2. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I thought you were going to say the oh, Children's that. Crusade. The Children's Crusade? What's that? It's a crusade where they send uh, a bunch of children. Yeah, it's oh, no. about twenty, about twelve, twelve ish. Yeah, twelve. Well, not 12 -ish. that long ago then. <clears throat> I think it was a bunch of French and Italian. It would. Be. Uh, kids were, uh, were were going to peacefully march on Jerusalem, and peacefully peacefully convert um, Muslims to Christianity, and uh, they they got to Italy, where they thought that the is it the Red Seas on Italy and the coast of one of... Anyway, they got to the Red Sea where apparently they thought it was going to part for them to cross over. And it didn't. And then they all just got sold into slavery. Damn. Yeah. Well, Bummer, huh? Yeah, that's not a yeah. happy ending for them. No, yeah, it's just a good thing a God works in mysterious ways or I'd be upset. Yeah, he's like, could do with a few thousand slaves. But apparently there was like uh, twenty to thirty thousand kids that uh, marched down. That's uh, that's a lot of slaves. 
Fuck yeah. I think they. I think it was just. I think the French just decided. You know what? Fuck kids, man. <laughs> like I want to go to. I want to go to swingers parties and snort oxy <laughs> and all. And I can't do that with all these kids around. So I just. We just. We're just. We need to get. Oh my, my god. Style. Oh my god. We. I've got an idea. How to get rid of all the children? <laughs> Call up the Pope. <laughs> I've got. I've got a real banger. <laughs> And so Banger. history was made. Yeah. <laughs> Some funny old things when it comes to crusades in the Middle Ages. And see, like the follow up super chat said, I bet it was Iroh. He's a Giga Chad. There you go. They knew. They already knew. Um, uh, almost forgot. Here's another donation from the Sycophants. Hashtag Mola's Goons rise up just to point us next to Twitter Brickhead and we'll destroy their feelings. Yeah, I was on oh, wow. Twitter the other day and someone had said that, um, so, so someone was arguing with me and while they were arguing with me, they got reported for having something in their banner and it like, they got temporarily deactivated until they fixed it. And then they, they put out a tweet saying Mauler sent his goons to report me. No. Not as <laughs> I was just like, I don't have any goons. <laughs> oh. We're not good. Okay. Hired goons. You, you mentioned sycophants. Do you think that veterinarians just love that joke when they get to work on an elephant and they're like, oh, I guess he's a sycophant now. <laughs> nice. They like chuckle to each other and that's just their life. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I totally do. There's a lot of, um, especially in this country, a lot of need for veterinarians to deal with uh, elephants. Oh yeah, that was another one. So Elephants are native to uh, Wales, I think, is where they're from. What, really? Yeah. What? No, <laughs> they're not. It's like, right, it's you, you, you have me at they're, your, they're, your fingertips. You can convince me of anything in this moment. <laughs> they're absolutely not native to Wales. Oh, I almost want them to be now. I love the idea that they all came from Wales. <laughs> They go around. So Dude, do elephants in Africa have look at this I'm cultural we'll, appropriation. We all came from Wales. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Look what I just did as Indy. Is this allowed? Wow. You made a good fourth movie? <laughs> just put a tip in on. <laughs> I feel like this is. You're going to cancel the Lego games. This is it. This is where it starts. <laughs> this is where it ends. <laughs> this is the beginning of the end. Chad prequels versus Virgin Disnoid garbage. All right, I don't know about Chad prequels, okay? Yeah, we need to calm the fuck calm down. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> calm down. The prequels get to sit at the table, but the OT is on the, the throne, table, okay? Adjacent <laughs> to the main table where the adults are. The uh, the sequels are the paddling <laughs> pool. <laughs> la, la, la. This family only has like two normal people in it. <laughs> they're just trying to keep. They're just trying to keep all of this together. You know. Where the fuck is my spanner? You're looking for spanner. I am. What I'm doing. One of these guys hmm. have a spanner. Oh, do I have to kill him? Come here, you bastard. Okay, maybe I need to throw yeah, he's got, yeah, he's jumping around. He's like, you're not touching me. How am I supposed to get him? Ridiculous. Move, move your, move your people into position, then jump into them. Oh, oh, this like does. Nice this position is doing something. I, I don't know what it's doing. There you go. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He's a bouncy bastard. Do I need to throw Yo, something at him? Maybe. Hit him. You hit him. You hit him. Are you bouncing out? Um, you <laughs> know what was... I meant, Fringoid. If you tasted our fresh water, not your plebeian water, you'd be dying to live here because of it. Tastes so good. Ooh. I don't know where, where's there, where's here. Like, where, what does that mean? I guess anywhere that has fresh water, because you do not have it. That's, that seems to be their their claim. Ah, uh, we have fresh water. I was gonna say, man, it must suck in Australia if there's no fresh water. Oof. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think because of sh I think because of shipping, it's always stale by the time it gets there. That oh. would be if we shipped it, which we don't. So yeah, that's how you get out everything in Australia. You have have to have it shipped in on uh, boats and trains. Does anything happen naturally in Australia, or is it like Dubai? 
I'm pretty sure natural things happen in Dubai, what with it being part of nature. Like, because it's the world. You know what? I don't even believe Dubai is real, so I'm going to have to disagree on you with that. Apparently man made its own city. From? Like, I just, wow. where, where's your oil come from? Fucking everywhere you, else. You get it then. There's loads of oil in the- Fringy, are you telling me you don't believe oil comes from anywhere other than Dubai? I'm just saying, like, it's, it's one of the places where it comes from. This is, this is what we call a straw man. Because you said, are you saying, and then it was followed up by a completely false thing that I never said. That doesn't sound like a straw man, it sounds like a question. Not a very meaningful question, but that's okay. So you just lied. We'll, we'll, get, there. we'll get there one day. You just called me a, a straw manner when I didn't even, so... I said it sounds like a straw man. I didn't say that you did no, a you straw said, man. No, you didn't. You said that's what we call a straw man, so... Yeah, I didn't gonna... say that you said it. I just said that it was a straw man. <laughs> You're gonna have to try real hard to slip out of this one. <laughs> I don't need to slip out of this one. There's nothing to slip out of. Slippery Mauler. <laughs> no, slippery <laughs> you! <laughs> you can't just call a slippery on someone when you slip around. Racism. <laughs> Slip. Wait, you're the one slip. It's alright. The Theo just said this is professional gaslighting. He's talking about you on me. No. I knew Theo would back me up because Theo's honest and intelligent. That's the two requirements to back me up. I got a question about um Hitler? this what this what this Activision Blizzard business. Oh, okay, all right. All right. Mm -hmm. How many? Characters in Overwatch are they going to turn gay to try and reduce? Sorry, can I pause oh, the you? New Apex Legends the... character is gay. Can I pause you guys for just one second? Fucking Thunder in chat just said, Molly, you have to activate the statues with your turban on. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> no is that the, way. Is that the answer to the fucking question here? I don't even know what. Are oh my god, you're right. I do. Just... I have to pray to the statues and it doesn't work unless I have my turban on. Oh, you have to have the proper garb. <laughs> There's uh, no way this game is getting remastered. No. Wow. It Imagine worked, everyone. It worked. On. You got him. You go. Oh, he got blasted. <laughs> oh god, wow. I really did kill him. Jeez. Oh, his hair fell on his face. Oh no. Oh. That's worse than. Oh. I don't know. I don't Cancel know. Lego. Kiss me, Indy, kiss me! Oh, yeah, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Lego, man, it's a different time, okay? <clears throat> He's like, nah, I got shit to do, one. Uh, any movies you guys are looking forward to? Uh, the Suicide Don't Squad, honestly. The Suicide Squad, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. <laughs> There's others, <laughs> potentially. I mean, porn? I guess, but I just yeah. not. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> the trailer for No Way Home because it will generate insane levels of discussion from everybody. That'll be mm -hmm. invigorating because it it'll probably end with like some line from Tom Holland saying like I don't know if we could do this, and then it'll have Tobey Maguire Spider Man going, "You're not alone." You're like, oh. When's the trailer due? No idea. No, but no idea. Oh, I'm sure that that. I've never be seen there. a trailer for porn. They have ads I'm sure for porn, right? Just... Yeah, yeah they, porn they, ads. I, I've seen trailer for porn. I've seen, I saw but a trailer for proper, Captain like... Marvel. Oh, okay. The Axel, what's he called? Axel... Rose? Not Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Axel... The Axel Braun. Um, the Axel Braun, the, the, the Axel... Axel Braun guy. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen trailers for Wheel? his porn. Axel Spin? Axel... Ax Front Axel. Axel Craven? Like Slade Craven? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Axel yeah, I, I, I do know then. I do know. Yeah, there you go. Axel. Bro, see, I was right. I didn't, I didn't pretend it in there. I got it. I got it. I got it eventually. Oh, you know what? I, actually, I took over you talking about Blizzard versus, um, thingy. What, what were you gonna... What was that all about? Oh, I just, I just did the typical everyone in Overwatch is gay joke. That's all. Oh. Yeah, yeah. and then I said, yeah, because the, the new character in Apex Legends, he's gay. Ah, there Good. you go. Yeah. How many people do you think will be gay like, in the new Indiana Jones? Gay, that, that's not yes. Activision, is it? You reckon they'll make Indy gay in the fifth one? 
You should be asking how many people so. will be straight. This is yeah. a Batwoman rag. Yeah, it's got so bad at Blizzard that they're now turning over what's going to straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we know we lost sight of our vision. <laughs> we made straight characters. We're so sorry. We're we're, yeah. we're reverting the canon immediately, and we're hiring J.J. Abrams to make standalone <laughs> films for each of the characters. We're revamping the series. We're so sorry that a straight person <laughs> slipped into our roster. God, that could happen someday. They apologize, so we'll be straight. Need it? It'll be funny. <laughs> It could happen. That's the thing. It could happen tomorrow. It's a ticking time bomb. Any moment, we could get that announcement, and I'll have to make sure that it's not a parody. But even if it was, I'd believe it. Wouldn't be able to. I thought you'd be able to tell if it's parody or not. That's the horrible thing, or is that the beautiful thing? You know, there's there's horror and beauty to find in most things. Mm. Like um, uh, Hitler. Yeah, his art was pretty pretty. <laughs> um, rags, peen. That is what you have kept from me. Oh, that's the that's the Zod line. Oh, You've taken what my you gun. have taken from me, gentle folk. I'm I'm going to bid you adieu now. All right. Bid us adieu. My or adieu. My my bladder is is uh, calling me to the toilet, so I think that's probably a good time to. Yeah, man. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for the yeah. info on uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the the flumps and the shrooms. Well, I'll, I'll catch no you around problem. the interwebs. I hope that person that did that one dollar super chat got value for. <laughs> <laughs> they got their answer. Hopefully, I think I think they said, "What do we think of the story comparison between the two games?" So hopefully, they got what they were looking for. The story, well, the Blizzard story's just gone all over the place now. It's, they're in the bloody afterlife. They're in the afterlife. Oh, God, don't even get me started. Uh, it's just all gone cray-cray in the Bray Bray. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I, I will uh, no doubt speak to you too. Sprecken, as Hitler would say, yes. uh, to you soon. Uh, and thank you uh, thank you for, letting me, for summoning me, I guess. Well, thank you for... Being summonable. Being summoned, <laughs> That's a yeah. positive quality. Uh, yeah, thanks for popping in. I'll, I'll catch you around soon. Yeah, see you later, chat. Take care. Have a good one. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Yes. Van can only hope, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good night. Off you go. Yeah, goodbye. Um, make Hitler watch those YouTube memes subbing over his dialogue in that movie. Lol, Hitler, what the hell is this? I didn't say this. Why is the letters lying? <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, yeah? <laughs> the vest is built upon lies. <laughs> the letters, they lie. <laughs> <laughs> did, did Hitler speak English? I don't actually know. Um, um, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if he understood it. Hmm. Um... No, people just in Europe have to learn multiple languages typically, whereas you speak English. I hope he did because all the memes English. almost require him to speak English a lot of the time. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh... Yeah, if 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 I rub the genie's lamp and I got two wishes and I could have anything, the first one, bring back Hitler, have him understand English. Boom. Two wishes. Yeah. Easy. And you know what? Whoever judges yeah, you for those means. two wishes, they just don't understand. They're gonna have Hitler to deal with. <laughs> What's your opinion of pineapple pizza, Hitler? I have a final solution for people like that. Oh my good god, I get it. I understand the reference. I'm going to give them some pizzas they like, and that's okay if we have differing opinions. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm, it is kind of funny. There's a statue right here to unlock the thing. It's like, I can only do that if I have a turban <laughs> character. It <laughs> <laughs> has to be. Every character, you have to, every character is an atheist except for him. <laughs> he can unlock them. <laughs> you have to choose, you have to unlock the theist characters. And he's like, don't you think this is proof then? And the, the, the atheist characters are like, hmm, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, it seems kind of weird. I have I don't no know. idea. Yeah. No idea what the mechanism for this is. Let's yeah. be honest here. Your guess <laughs> I don't know is if it's just mine. The, the fact that you have a turban seems to be the requirement. I know. So. Is there just, someone just... here pulling pulleys or? 
I'm like, give us your turban so we can test it. He's like, no. Yeah, sure. Nine. Uh, ask Hitler's what his thoughts on the Jews are. I have a feeling a lot of historians may have taken some liberties with his opinions on that. I can't imagine yeah. he fucking liked them. Uh, considering. He might have been pretty moderate on the Jews. I mean, there's, there's a chance that he didn't actually give a shit and scapegoat them or whatever, but I don't know enough about uh, history to be able to make any claims on that. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't. Uh, they didn't do too well under his um, rule, though. Mm -hmm. Super chat about Hitler, then George Floyd, then a few about Atler. Talk about a minefield. Mueller's gonna goons gonna rise up. Yeah, there's the question of which is the most controversial subject. <laughs> Probably Atler. Read our sycophantic drivel until the end of time. No new e fapsal videos from you, good sirs. Take my money, you balls above wang massives. Hi, rags. Hello. Um. At Babyface just watched the. Bar bar tin Bait in the Sun, I think. Uh, fan film. Oh, Bat in the Sun, right, fuck. Uh, because of your recommendation. It wasn't very good, sad face. Oh. It wasn't. Bat in the Sun? Apparently that's a fan film, Bat in the Sun. Or it was made by Bat in the Sun and it was called Dying is Easy, I think they said. Which? Bat in the Sun Productions, Flashpoint, like, Batman Dying is Easy, oh, by Bat in the Sun. Mm-hmm. It's 26 minutes. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I don't know. Though, I feel less willing to pass judgment on, like, fan stuff, because it always feels awkward. Mm-hmm. It's just like, you you guys, you know what, you, you, you keep at it. Um, especially in our day and age. Then again, The Batman is what the new one's gonna be called, right? We're hoping that's good. I hope so. The Batman, the Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah, remember the Predator. So uh, the Predator. Did we do the Terminator, or they they just did Terminator subtitles of Terminator? Well, the, the original movie was, was the Terminator. Right. So the the way they would do it then would have to just be removing the the, just calling it Terminator. Yeah, they just call it Terminator. Exactly. It's funny. I always refer to the original as Terminator rather than the Terminator. Yes, yeah, so do I. But it is the Terminator. Because they did Predator, The Predator, Predators. Like, we're running out. Subtitles, so, so that's where we're going to go next. Predatory instincts. Predation of men. Man. The greatest game. Most dangerous game, that's it. Most dangerous game. The most dangerous game. The Pit and The Pendulum. Uh, do with Lego Indiana Jones 2, it's even better than this one. Um, yeah, I mean, we could do it out. Well, so wait. I've heard people say that Lego Indiana Jones 2 is all four movies, but I guess they do, like, the. it's mainly the fourth one, and it's, like, open world. I was like, what the fuck did they do? Oh. Like, how do you do that? But, alright. Uh, but people say it's it's good, so, you know, we'll, we'll probably give it a little look-see. See how it do, what it be. It'll obviously be the the Terminator, yeah. The the finest upgrade. All right, give me that key. Indy. No, wait, that's a spanner. All right, we'll take them both. Um, you guys make fun of Hitler all the time. You got to respect the hell out of the man. One of the best KD ratios in history. Um. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people who compete with that. Didn't, um, what is, like, the, 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 the war that cost the most lives ever? Uh, World War II cost the most lives. What about, like, singular, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, Well, I'm ways pretty to... sure, like, the, the bloodiest battle in history was Stalingrad. Mm. World War II. Might have been the Somme. Um, yeah, World War II was the deadliest one. Um, not, I think... Oh, I thought you As meant I thought you meant the song World War II, and I thought it would be sung to the tune of ABBA's Waterloo. And instead of going Waterloo, they sang World War II. Yeah, yes, I could do that if I want. Yeah, well, um, I think I can't. I know that it's a different war for like the amount of human beings on Earth, and then the amount of people killed, like the relative one. I think that was like some some rebellion or something in China, like like a thousand years ago. Um, but yeah, World War II was the de the costliest in terms of deaths. Uh, 
Uh, there's a suspicious amount of Hitler references on this podcast. Everything we need to know. Anything we need to know, guys? Hmm. And, oh, it sounded like he might have been a hero of one of ours. Certainly not mine. <clears throat> uh, you gonna watch Jeepers Creepers? Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah. Reborn this. What now? Halloween. So excited for it since it's been 18 years since the second one, and this is a direct sequel. Jeepers uh, Creepers. Reborn. Yeah, we talked about it before. Um, I. You know, I'm all for the Jeepers Creepers fans getting their Jeepers Creepers uh, stuff, but like, I, I just, I really didn't care that much at all about the uh, the Jeepers Creepers franchise. You know, I guess I'll listen out for whether or not it was any good. Can't say I would know. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm assuming you guys haven't even seen the other two, so. I don't think. No, so. I have not seen Jeepers Creepers. Hmm. Is there anything? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, get out a shovel. Oh, I don't have a shovel. You have shovel. No, don't scream. Um. You know what? I'm I'm pretty lost on exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Did I not spin the key? Oh, I gotta get Indy up here, but then. Is the machine? The machine's missing a part. To get that part over here, I need to. Be able to travel. Oh wait, can Indy just grab it? Oh my god. That's genius. <sighs> now I need you to drop it, buddy. <clears throat> uh, with all the recent talk of time travel, Fringy, you should check out Dark on Netflix. Molly, you've seen some of it, right? Yes, but I got lost. After I watched, I think, two and a half seasons, and when I realized I couldn't follow any of it anymore, I was like, I think there's no point in me seeing it anymore. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to watch a show that I might well get lost on. Well, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll really love it. Um, I thought it was mm -hmm. pretty great from... I can't, like, give it any criticism writing-wise. I just uh, didn't keep enough of a big brain about it, like, remembering who everyone is and where everyone's going and stuff. Right. The problem is we deal with, like, four timelines. Mm, <clears throat> that, yeah, it can be difficult. Um, to keep track of mentally. But yeah, you know, um, more power to them for trying to make a storyline that works like that. Uh, I'm sure there's breakdowns on YouTube that, like, go over how uh, intricate it is, probably. Yeah. Raid. I, uh, you know, if I was to rewatch that, I'd probably give it a much more attentive look. But uh, it was a spooky show. Nice and aesthetically satisfying in terms of approached all that and good acting and stuff. If you're a time travel uh, fanatic, if there's such a thing, I'd recommend it. You might just get a I'm, I'm always time traveling. Always. You? Always very slowly in forwards. That sounded relative. You know, you were saying slowly. And I would argue That's relatively. Right. We're not even time traveling. We're just... Just existing, you know? The boring version. Then again, I feel like if we invented time travel, it would be inevitable that everything goes to shit. Uh... Well, I mean, uh, Richard Dawkins had his, um, not Richard Dawkins, Stephen Hawking, he had, um, his time travelers party that he set up, um, some years ago. The whole idea being hey, if you're from the future, come to this party. Uh, nobody showed up, so time travel probably isn't a thing, I guess. Or well, they just didn't want to go to that party. <laughs> well, well or, I mean, that's that could pot, that could be the case. Just makes you wonder, though. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, oh, there is some really interest there. Like, talking. we should have seen it by now if it was ever going to happen, but then... Uh, I guess it's just a matter of how it would all work. Yeah, because who knows, really. Uh, I think you guys would like the channel. Oh no, it's oh no, it's Alex. It's a newer channel on the come up. Oh, okay, that's it. Also, Fringy, did you get the golden donut? All right, that's in the comic. Um, spoiler. You know, a, you know, it, it would be a spoiler. If Sounds I told like you. a prize for fucking horses. Um, it's not, but you'll just have to wait and see on that one. There's more to come in terms of the adventures relating to that golden donut. 
golden donut. Must well, it's be worth just a, lot. a golden donut. Well, it's not made out of gold. It's edible. It's just gold. That's all. Bringy, hearing you lose your shit over me calling Cosmo a chalk licking R word was a great joy. Here's some human money. Green man. Chalk <laughs> chalk. Yeah, that was really funny. Was, it was just a, a funny insult. <laughs> yeah, you know, this, there are some nice tasting chalks out there, I'd say. Probably is at least one nice tasting chalk. Uh, they might chalk, make them yeah. specifically for that. They call it chocolate. Yeah. I, I think one of the ones I used to use was doorknob liquor. Yeah, that makes yeah I guess it's the thing of why the hell would anybody ever do that? <laughs> yeah, of all the th licking doorknobs? Like, what the fuck? What are you doing? What's happening? I'm gonna go home. Yeah, because everyone knows, you you know, some people out there, yeah, they'll, they'll lick some chalk, Don't but doorknobs? Jesus fucking Christ. Calm thy tits. They call them Tums. Dum. Uh, I think, so, w w that's probably probably good to stop there, in fact, since we're at six hours. Okay, and, uh... Oh boy. <laughs> six hours? I thought it was longer than that. Huh. Well, uh, yeah, according to me, it's six huh. hours, 13 minutes. Oh, it's because I, I woke up first and sat here, just... Alone. Chilling. Yeah, what life alone. Is all about. Just... Kind of, yeah. I was just sitting there thinking, like, man, is this what it's all for? Just to live and then and then die? Could like, hang out with what, Mantle. What is, He's good in an existential what is the... crisis. What? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, probably is. Um, I don't know. You just you have those moments when you sit there and you're like, man, like, what the fuck is the point of all this? Oh, <laughs> we live just to suffer and die. <laughs> and then none of it matters anyway because there's other know. fun bits for me gosh i, I guess there are, ever i guess there are fun bits of being alive but you know it's a it's scary you see like you see the birds out in the sky they're chirping outside they don't have to worry about this shit their life is oh i'm gonna fly and eat a worm oh yep that worm was delicious all right back to flying again I'm gonna hang out on this line here, this power line with my buddy, uh, Chet. Hey, Chet. Hey, um, Bill. How's the weather out there? Oh, you know, it's the same as here on this power line because we're outside. Oh, that's a good point. Wanna go fly around? Yeah, sure. And they get to do that while we're here, getting mad at each other about politic and media. I don't know. Just makes you think. The bird's probably getting the angry at some coming. stuff. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. Who knows? Maybe, 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 like dogs and shit as well get really mad about stuff. Rags watched any of the Winnie the Pooh movies? Yeah, um, I watched uh, the the Pooh's Grand Adventure. I yeah, liked I that, that one when I was growing up. That had a, it really had a sense of like actually a grand adventure to it. Um, especially if you were a really young kid and you were watching it, you're like, oh shit, they went to some, like, places were arrived at, like a journey was had here. They went to a really creepy place for a Winnie the Pooh movie. Uh, I saw the Tigger movie. Yep. Um, I, I saw that. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day, which had the flood in it. And it also had the Honey Song about the Heffalumps and Woozles. Um, I saw, and I think there was the other one, Winnie the Pooh and um oh what was it i can't remember i remember blustery day but i can't remember the other one you guys remember the rugrats movie where they tommy nearly yeah. killed his brother i don't remember that i barely even tommy remember it. i just not watched it he's like considering killing him because of the amount of trouble he's caused him it's like a rainy night in the forest and it's like a lightning strike and he's got like a rock and he's gonna hit him with it and he decides not Jesus. to Jesus dark Christ. as fuck we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna fucking genesis oh, style Jesus Christ chat who remembers he's about that I've got a load Kane. right there's <laughs> Kane the rug rat oh my god that was so awesome I mean <laughs> man oh, Jesus I remember. But it was a broken bottle. Jesus, was it? I guess oh, I don't know if that's still better than a stone, but you know. <laughs> Man. 
I don't think a baby. I think I think the bottle would be better. I don't know how many times would a baby have to hit another baby to kill it with a rock. <laughs> I guess Rugrats wanted to answer that question. Jesus Christ, Tommy! He must have hated that bastard. What was the name of the the brother? I forget. Do you remember? I barely remember shit about Rugrats. Epic gamer moment. Yes, so. I remember. Um, Tommy, wasn't there a Thornberry movie? Wasn't that a thing? Yeah, yeah I think there so. was a crossover, wasn't it? Um, Thornberry's and Rugrats. Between the Rugrats and I yeah, you, I Wild think Thornberry's you might be right. Rugrats, right? And then there was um, do you remember a show called Recess that was on Disney Channel? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, they had a movie it for that out, too. Man. Wasn't the the main character was um, what was his name, RJ or something? Or am I thinking of Over the Hedge? PJ <laughs> maybe. It, I, it was something J. I, th um, I think it was CJ. You might be right. Because, be. yeah, RJ, he had RJ the hat was on. Over there. Yes, that's and right. the jacket. Yeah. That's, yeah, there we go. No, people are saying, yeah, people are saying TJ. Oh. TJ, it could have been TJ. In fact, TJ sounds right, yeah. TJ does sound right. The only right. CJ I know about is CJ from Grand Theft Auto. Oh, kind of, Cynical Reviews is crying. Cynical Reviews. And also, I was talking about fictional characters, but if we're going to include, like, real people. Okay, CJ. He's out there. He's shedding a tear. Somewhere out there. Uh, one of the lyrics in that song... Oh, I just know the song that was in South Park when a... a uh, a rat with a dick on its back was singing that song. Oh, I thought you were referencing Community. Pale Moonlight? It might have been from Community. I don't know. Yeah, but they, no, have, they have that's to sing a, it. To oh, a is match. that the song from um, the Fievel movie, An American Tale? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, that's right. But in South Park, it was. There was a, a, a rat with a, a dick on its back that had been growing from <laughs> Mrs. Garrison. <laughs> Because he, he, he wanted to transition back to being a man. Um, and so they, oh yeah, my they grew god, a I remember that. <laughs> and it escaped. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> well, because remember, his balls were blown up because they were used, they were put in a cut, they were put in Kyle's legs. Because he wanted to be <laughs> tall and black. Yeah. And then when he landed on them, they exploded. <laughs> Mrs. Yep. Garrison. My just... balls! <laughs> And then, and then Gerald turned himself into a dolphin. <laughs> um, you know, South Park, they just do a lot of different storylines. That one was, uh, super distressing because they actually showed real footage of a, uh, They a did. Transition. It was yeah. horrifying. Yeah, I oh, oh, no. You remembering? Oh. Is that the problem you're having right now? Yeah, the, the images are flashing and they're gonna haunt my nightmares. I'm gonna go to sleep and... I'm not going to be able to. Oh, uh, you didn't finish my last message. Oh yeah, they said, here's some money, green man from fake country. Oh, it's not fake country, but thanks. And a Monopoly man. How come the Kangaroo boss is court. Go through you? Ooh, yes. Again, I do like the idea of a, a sitcom called Kangaroo Court, where the main character is a kangaroo. This is last name Court. No. Oh, okay. His first name isn't Kangaroo either. It's it's something else. Like I don't know. Wilson. Uh, well, Kanga and Roo were characters in Winnie the Pooh, so it all comes back. Hmm. The shit out of Kanga. Well, maybe it'd be like a Crash Bandicoot spinoff where Ripper Roo, he's, he's, he's sorted himself out, he's off the cocaine, and he's, he's made a career for himself. But over the course of the season, he struggles as his addiction sort of comes back. Um, but, but he finds a, a girlfriend and she, she helps him, you know, get, get rid of that stuff and, and realize his full potential as a, as a kangaroo solicitor. A wholesome story. It is it is a nice wholesome story about Ripperoo, the 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 kangaroo court uh, barrister. Um, which is worse, Terminator Genesis or Dark Fate? The eternal question. Ah, uh, yeah, that one is. Uh, we're never gonna get an answer to that one. I don't know. 
Would Genesis be worse in the sense that it's more retroactive or something? So there um, are things they both do that it's hard to figure out which is the worst thing that happens. I yeah. tend to cite that uh, Dark Fate has a certain legitimacy to it that makes me angry um, in a way that, like Genesis, I can easily pretend doesn't exist, but Dark Fate's a lot harder to pretend because they have Linda Hamilton in it. Right. It's like, oh, this is like legitimately like a sequel. It's so funny that in, they in... decanonized Genesis to make that one. Yeah. It's like, well, they yeah. decanonized all of them except for um, <sighs> one and two. And yeah, and, and I, I am forever debating with myself what I find more insulting, because John Connor grows up, and then he's killed by a Terminator, and infected by one to the point where he's turned into a Terminator, and he is the boss. It's like, yeah. right. This is, cool. you see, you know, de-aged fucking good old John Connor, eventually days after the events of T2, just get shotgunned to death by an Arnie Terminator. Yeah. It's like, thanks. Yara yeah, didn't even see it. So like, uh, they're both insulting. It's like, eat them both. You know, it's you're a relic from a deleted timeline versus fucking fuck. What what was the line in in that shitty movie? What was a line? I mean, uh, I I don't even what 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 are I, can't, I can lines barely remember. Fate? Yeah, like I don't know. Yeah, I have to go to the bathroom now. Oh, wait. Oh, no, he's probably gone. Um... Maybe it maybe means as. As is indeed gone. Yes, yeah. Oh, I yeah, meant... He left with quite fanfare, it, you know. I uh, thought I thought you said you wanted to take a piss or something, and I was about to ask if you were still yeah, here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Um, hey, EFAP crew, hope you're having a good one. Mauler, af or, or go one in general for everybody. Uh, Mauler, after Indiana Jones, I suggest Lego City Undercover for next Lego game. It's the Lego vision of Simpsons Hit and Run. Content rich, fun humor, and some of the best levels. Oh, well. Yeah, that's the one that keeps getting recommended. It was on Wii U. It's like an actual open world Lego this is game. because, I don't know, the way my brain works, I almost like dismiss ones that aren't. IP based, I'm just like, oh yeah, whatever, random Lego game, but it's like, there's a good chance they probably have the best gameplay, it makes sense. Well, I mean, it's like an actual video, you know, like, it's it's a an idea, an original idea, something valuable about that, I think. What have I missed about this fight? Because th mm -hmm. Oh, they, they can be thrown at him? Can they not? I'm very confused. Gib Dinamite. Oh, it does work. Okay. Um, what would Hitler think of Movie Bob's tweets? Oh, he'd say, calm the fuck down. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Jesus. You like stream. You need to chill. You need to chill. Also, you're not the Ubermensch. You're big and fat and ugly and stupid. You'll never be one of us. And then Bob's Go like, ahead. I wouldn't want to be. And it's like, eh. I, I don't, I don't believe you. Inside, you are being emotionally distressed by this news. You're tearing yourself apart. Ugh. Robert, this is the end of you. Robert. You must become a new person, Robert. You must be born again. You must become what you never were. I've got hurt, but I don't want to push. I don't want to. In a movie, I was going to be like, well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. I feel like I'm actually superior. Were you bullied in school like I was? <laughs> there would be like, yes, Remember I was, that? but I rose above that. I became a great leader, an icon. That was a weird video we covered of him doing all that stuff. Weird, weird stuff. Robert, you must go into the chamber of self-transformation. And and then movie I was gonna say, well, but what what's in there? And Hitler says, only what you take with you. Oh, like the doya. Alrighty. That's what? that. Yeah. Whoopee. Um, not even Hitler wanted 75% of suffer, just saying. Well, 
Do you mean you wanted them dead, or like not? The to Jews something? were a tiny minority compared to Republicans and centrists. <laughs> um, but yeah, that should about do it. Uh, trust me, we're totally catching up on these super chats. We did it. We, we I got rid of all. We did. We did all the stream labs. We caught up with them and. Wow. Yeah, and nothing awesome. else, right? I don't know what you mean. So, that, <laughs> dude, that was a real fun Jesus. time. Uh, hey, we didn't get ourselves deeper in the hole. That's yeah. something. And yeah, so uh, Saturday, there shall be another EFAB, as expected. And then we will likely re return the following Wednesday for more Indiana. For okay. more Jones, yeah. I don't know. Um, and yeah. He's uh, working us like a goddamn fucking, like with Shadow chat. <laughs> Speaking of, you you put out a video. They should anybody who doesn't know. About oh, that. yeah, Twelve Angry Men. It's on my channel. Go check it out. <laughs> we'll do we'll do a more thorough uh, mentioning of it on the EFAB episode. Okay, but yeah, if you if you like sure. hmm, that freaking guy, he does videos. He's got a new one out. It's about a movie. You guys like movies? About a really good movie. Really good one. Man. Yeah, um, those are my notes. Please write more. Well, he, they're dead now, but like, yeah, if they were still alive, I'd, I'd tell them to write more movies because they're really good at it. Oh yeah, whoever wrote that film, it would be cool to talk to him about like character writing and stuff. Oh, hell yeah, because he just, uh, he he just he knew what the f he knew what he was doing. Rural Ural. Wait, hang on, one more Morley, you gay? Wow. wow, wow. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Everybody for hanging out. Thank you for the donations. And with Absolutely. that, absolutely, that stream was quite a journey. Yeah, went through I feel all like we of covered the a lot of topics. Um, and so we bid you, as as did adieu, adieu, totally adieu, adieu. adieu. Bye bye. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Good night. Uh, Until we meet again. Das be done. Yeah. Bye bye. -bye. Au revoir. Eat your vegetables. Sayonara. Um, what, what else is there? Um, ciao. Yep. Uh, and also goodbye in uh, that language called English. Yeah, that's a good one. We have to do it in Swahili. Ukuli bab. Emba ak emba e ump o. That's how they say it in Swahili. That's. It's not. It's not racist. They talk like that. No, if you you, you have to do it. I like thought we. Jones. You have to I thought we them. covered this. That's why I'm ref. I'm, that's why I'm saying it. Ah, I it's see. Like a callback to the thing. It's, uh, it's, it's, I, I mean, it, a callback or a cleverly disguised revealing of who you really, <laughs> really. Oh my! Uh, I, it turns out Rags really is fluent in Swahili. Nice. <laughs>